Aleluya. Aleluya. Gloria al Señor. Glory to the Lord. Bendito es el Señor. Blessed Aleluya. Is the Lord. Aleluya. Bien, estamos aquí, mis hermanos, una vez más, reunidos en la presencia de nuestro augusto Señor Jesucristo, quien se levantó de la tumba y ha aparecido en nuestros días victorioso, hizo desaparecer toda tiniebla de duda, de confusión, puso seguridad en nuestro corazón. To pass, he has dissipated it. Uh, we want to greet you in the all sufficient name of our beloved Lord Jesus Christ. Todos nosotros estamos reunidos hoy día. Bueno, All el, of us el, are gathered today. Decir, es el, el día final de esta Let's say de it Pascua. is the last day of these Easter meetings. Pero creemos que esa palabra todavía We believe en that word still continues in us, unfolding, until we can be taken out of here. El hermano Branham fue quien nos dijo que Brother esta Branham era is the one Pascua. who told us that this was our Easter. Desde que el, desde que el juez supremo descendió este Since nuestra Pascua. the Supreme Judge came down, Uh, this is our nuevas. Easter, the good news. El Evangelio de la Resurrección del Señor Jesucristo en nuestros días. The gospel of resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ in our days. Eh, hoy día tendremos algo especial una vez más. Today we have something special once again. Hemos, hemos, hemos transcurrido a través de estos días de manera Throughout these days, eh, we have continued in a wonderful el, el way. Primer día, el primer día vimos aquí como the first day we visitó, saw here how the Lord eh, visited us nuestra, and it fell, las reuniones, uh, the lot fell on us to begin the meetings, del poder vivificador, talking about the quickening power visión, between the sixth mayor, and the seventh major vision. Después de eso vino nuestro and after that Itac, came our brother Etoch and he en spoke, spoke to us about what is happening in the time of the delay. Fue, fue, fue it was Pero wonderful to see what the Holy Ghost was opening to our understanding, illuminating our understanding. Y, uh, ayer, And yesterday, the second day of our meetings, Felipe, we had our brother Felipe showing us how there was a way to have the book open. Y, y ese camino, And that way, abierto, es, to have the book open is Señor, the Easter. We needed the Lord cruz, to go to the cross. We needed a Calvary so that he could come and show us the reality of the open book for us. Pascua, Without the Easter, we would not have that open book. If he would not have gone to the cross to rise up, el sol, the sun, the rising el of the sun, the S-O-N, In the day of the SON, then how could we have the book open? That is the gratitude that is in our heart. And you know, it was something very special as well yesterday to hear our brother Simon, who came to give us an exhortation through the book of Luke, showing us how it was necessary. There in the midst of the Bible, in the ministry of the Lord Jesus Christ, how it was necessary, according to God's foreknowledge, that Jesus would be delivered in a conspiracy a conspiracy against the word in the church of the message of that day there were people that had sold themselves for money for a position in the system that's how it had to happen what happened there is the same thing that is happening in our day it is what we were seeing our brother came and spoke to us about these things showing to us the Holy Spirit has announced to us we should not be uh, surprised because these things are happening And you know, the surprise of all this is that our brother Simon is very special to me, a very beloved brother, very sincere, but he is quite shy. So even just to convince him to speak to the Lord's people was a little, it took some work, but we're happy that he has accepted and that we were able to hear a little of what God has placed in his heart, the gift that God placed in him. And so after that, in the evening to close uh, that meeting, our brother Vin came, and that was so special as well 
to show us ¿Cómo es que esto? Hay una, how this, un there is a testimony un te, un que Enoch tuvo. that Enoch had. Que Abel tuvo. There's a testimony that Nos Abel had Abel, and showed us how from Abel, el de the Adán, first one from el, Adam, el de Adán. and Enoch, the seventh from y Adam, cómo es que it was showing us este how that would come in this time. ¿Cómo es que el how the seventh in this day would be connected to the teaching, to the revelation that the first one received, Paul. We had to be convinced that through the connection of knowing that a lamb had been slain for us in the mind of God, the message came for the first messenger. The one that laid the foundation stone and said that no one could preach a different gospel than the one than the one that he preached, that is the gospel. And then came another one at the end in the seventh day who preached exactly the same things. Our prophet, Brother Branham, but he being the leader of the group that would go in the rapture because Enoch was a type of those that would leave here by uh, bypassing death. We don't have to go to the grave to go to heaven. We that are alive, that is the word that is fulfilled in this day. So it has been very special, brothers. And today, uh, it was commended unto me that we could make the introduction uh, to do this introduction and then present the, the preacher for this day. We are so happy to see what God has opened for us in this day. So I just want to read a paragraph here. It is the rising of the sun, paragraph 135. Y luego estaremos llamando a nuestro hermano, a nuestro hermano Alfredo Pérez allá en And México. then we will call our brother Alfredo Pérez there in Mexico, amigo. a tremendous friend. Recuerdo también el tiempo en que nos contactamos. I remember the time when we uh, would reach me. He contacted me by, by phone. I didn't know who he was. And then after he invited us to go visit him, after many phone conversations, hablando de las cosas de Dios, Talking about the things of God, the Lord gave us the opportunity to travel and to meet personally or in person, and God gave us a friendship that, that becomes stronger each time, a fellowship in the mystery of God. And so he will be the vessel that God will use in the first part of this meeting. Today we are convinced, brother, the Lord will continue pouring out his blessings in our hearts. Here we know that everything depends on that opening of the word, uh, this, our Easter, that third rising of the sun, the third uh, rising of the S-O-N this time, the Son of Man. And Brother Branham says, do you believe it? Because he had been making a comment before about how we don't have to be saying, uh, shall I reach it? It's not a question. It's not a doubt. It's not something that is being supposed. This is a security that has to come to us. Since the sun came out, there has to be a conviction in us. It's not that he will resurrect. It's not that one day it'll come to pass. That took place. It is living in our hearts. And so he was saying, don't say I, I will or I may, but I have already had that experience. I didn't achieve it. He did, he did that for me. The sun came out for me. We don't have to be saying, will the Lord come down? No, the Lord already came down. So this paragraph 325, just a comment, brothers, waiting until the preacher comes, who the Holy Ghost will use. So in this paragraph, the prophet says, do you believe it? You believe that? You believe that he's already here, that he's in us, that he did that work for us? Brother Branham says he didn't take the book for himself. 
él, él no necesitaba el libro para él mismo. He didn't need the book for himself. Ese libro fue entregado a la raza humana. That book was given to the human race. Desde que cayó, el libro fue llevado allá arriba. And since he fell, esperando por el Redentor. that book was taken to the uh, sanctuary waiting for the Redeemer. And when he finished his intercession ministry, his mediatorial work, he had to claim that book and bring it back to the heirs, to us, to those that dwell on the earth. It is he who achieved it, not us. We were not those worthy to take the book and loose the seven seals thereof. It was him. He overcame to take the book. But he brought it for us. We are the beneficiaries of that. So he says here, you believe that? Of course we believe it. That's what it's about. The Holy Spirit comes to speak to us of these things. We do believe it with all our heart. So he says, you believe that? Nosotros subiremos. We shall rise. Es la hora en la que estamos aquí. That's the Para hour that we're sol. in now. That's el what the sun came out for. The message came to el convince us that there is a rapture. It came to convince us that we are those that have to go up to meet with him in the marriage supper of the Lamb. We believe, do we believe that we are in the rapture? Yesterday, the, the Lord told us that we're in the process of the rapture, not a shout. The prophet already came with a shout. But in the process, in the stage that followed the voice of the archangel in us, we shall rise in him we become part of him the Easter the revealed secret of God like it was then the revealed secret of God like it was then of life after death he says we are now alive who were once dead in sin and trespasses. The true Easter seal has broke death from around me and I'm alive. The true Easter seal, the one that was loose, the seventh seal, when the word was brought to plain light, to plain sight. That loosed the seal, and now I am alive. He says, uh, the true Easter seal has broke death from around me, and I am alive. The Easter seal at the beginning broke the seal of the Roman seal, the Easter seal, that he was sealed up. You see what was stopping him? Today it's the same power, the Roman power, the fourth empire. The harlot, the daughter harlots. All those things trying to stop the sun from coming out. But it is here in our souls. It has risen. That's why the message says it is the rising of the sun. He says, and men when they died was gone. But he broke the seal and revealed the secret. What is the secret that he revealed? And now God, by his Holy Spirit, has broke the seal from around our lives, and Christ is revealed as he lives in us. What is the mystery? Here he's saying he revealed the secret to us. And now, by his Holy Spirit, has broke the seal from around our lives. That was the secret that was waiting to be revealed for this hour. He took away the seal from our lives. The, the seals were loosed from the book of our lives. That is the, the mystery of Easter. We that were dead, he took us, he brought us to life. Glory to the Lord. So it is wonderful. It's wonderful to hear that these things have been dedicated to us. No one can believe these things, brother. No one has the ability to receive them. Only the bride of the Lord Jesus Christ. Brother Branham told us that, the seventh seal, the seal of his coming. In this hour, the coming in the form of the voice of the archangel, him in the form of the bride. Who would believe these things if not us only? So we are happy that these things are being opened to our understanding, each time more clearly placing us in condition to leave here.
Una de las cosas que dijo el Espíritu Santo, One of the things that the Holy Spirit fue, said through our brother Etoch no was not believing in the fullness of the word, explicado. that is sin. La palabra que se ha abierto para nuestros días. The word that has been opened for our days. Ese es el pecado. That is unbelief, that is sin. Bien, hermanos. Well, brothers, es la parte que me tocó that's ahora, the part that was allotted for me today. El siervo del Señor, the part to introduce este turno, the este servant of the Lord turno. in this turn, in this first turn. Que tengo el honor so de I have the honor to Sagrado, call to the sacred desk a nuestro hermano Alfredo Pérez, our pastor, brother, pastor allá en la parte, eh, pastor there in el, Monterrey, sí, Monterrey, in Mexico, Montaña del Atardecer, el tabernáculo, Sunset Mountain Tabernacle. Aquí, de este cántico, He will come here after this song that, that we're going to enjoy, that we're going to uh, enjoy uh, for the Lord. Aquí, And after that, the servant of the Lord will be here directly. Para tomar la palabra del Señor. Dios les bendiga, mis hermanos. To take the word of the Lord. God bless pues, you, my brothers. Con esta so let us worship with this song. Silencia y hambre y guerra en todas partes, violencia consume la tierra.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lord. Glory to the Lord. God Glory to the Lord. God bless you, beloved brothers. We are happy to be once again here in the house of the Lord to worship him, to bless his holy name. Aleluya, aleluya, gloria al Señor, aleluya, no escucho al hermano. Aleluya, glory to the Lord. Aleluya, aleluya. Bueno, es, well, estábamos teniendo algunos we inconvenientes. We're just aquí. having some technical difficulties here. Pero creemos que el Espíritu Santo está en control de todas las cosas. Is in control of all things. Creemos que él tiene cuidado de cada detalle. We believe that he cares over every detail. No estamos atrasados ni We're not delayed, we're not ahead. I think this is one of the things that the Holy Spirit has come to reveal to us, the believers. The Holy Spirit taught us how important it is in this hour to enter into the rhythm of the Word, not to enter before or out of time. 
sino entrar en el lugar cuando el Espíritu Santo but to dice, enter in the este place when the Holy Spirit says this is the time to go in. Así que estamos contentos que el so Espíritu Santo we are tenga happy that the Holy Spirit has control of all things. Y como cantábamos hace un minuto, as we sang a moment ago, que, que gran regocijo hay en nuestro corazón, el what great rejoicing in our hearts to know that there is a refuge for us. Cuando toda esta adversidad When está all this sobre la tierra, adversity is coming upon the earth, hay un lugar de escondedero para nosotros. there is a hiding place for us, there is a resting place for us. Y por eso nos sentimos tan contentos. That's why we feel so happy in this evening being here. Al llegar aquí a la culminación de estos servicios. As we reach the culmination of these events. Y hemos sido tan grandemente bendecidos desde que And we have been comenzó. so greatly blessed since this meeting began. Al escuchar a los siervos del Señor. As we heard the servants of the Lord. Ya tomaron sus turnos en estos servicios. Who took their turn in these services. Creo que la fe ha crecido a un nivel, I un believe punto, that faith has grown to a level que nos ha hecho más fácil para nosotros, where it has made easier hora, it has made it easier for us that come at this time at the end con un poco más de libertad, porque ya to come with a little a little more liberty because an anointing has been placed upon the people el pueblo ya entró en esa atmósfera the people para recibir lo que already entered into that atmosphere to receive what we need el profeta decía, mientras el the prophet said pulpit, while the minister is here in the pulpit y el pueblo clamando, and the people crying out el Santo in desperation ministro, the holy spirit can move that minister to places donde el ministro no pensó ir. where the minister didn't think he would go Así que creemos que esta noche so we believe ir that this evening we can go as far noche. as you are pulling drawing from that que podemos entrar en cosas we divinas. believe that we can enter into divine things si el pueblo comienza a jalar, si el if pueblo the people begins to draw a crear la if the people begin to create the atmosphere to create these things bueno, agradezco mucho eh, este turno que me fue dado. I thank you so much for this uh, time that has been granted to me. Eh, agradezco la confianza de su siervo, nuestro hermano Vin. For the confidence of his servant, our beloved brother Vin. Quien hace unos días atrás nos hizo una convocación para tener estos servicios. Who some days ago uh, gathered us to, to have these services. Y yo, y yo en realidad me siento como, como el hermano Itok. And I really feel like brother Itok. Apenas un pequeño aquí que just a favorecido. little one here that can just do something in favor. Al sentarme alrededor de estos ancianos que ya son guerreros, veteranos de batalla. Doing a small favor around these great veterans who are already veterans of, of the battle. Hombres experimentados en el campo de batalla. Experienced men in the battlefield. Que creemos que el Espíritu Santo los ha tomado después. We que believe that the Holy ido. Spirit has taken them after the prophet had left. Y así me siento yo apenas un pequeñito aquí. And this is how I feel, just a little one here. Pero agradezco el favor de Dios para darnos un turno. But I thank God's favor for having given us a turn in the meetings. Y bueno, contento de, de poder well, estar aquí esta noche. And well, happy to be here in this evening. Envío mis respetos para todos los ministros. I send my respect to all of the ministers, the pastors that are together with their congregation. A nuestro amigo, nuestro hermano Ever. Our friend, Brother Ever. Hermano Felipe Chiriboga. Brother Felipe Chiriboga. El hermano Samuel Roldown. Brother Samuel Roldown. Un amigo que apreciamos y estamos deseando en algún momento que el Espíritu Santo A friend that we appreciate nosotros. and we're praying that the Holy Spirit may bring him here among us Como personally. Como los ministros. As with all of the ministers. También eh, nuestro hermano Simón Carrión que está ahí en San Luis Potosí. Also our brother uh, Simón Carrión there in San Luis Potosí. Eh, y el hermano... And also brother... Glory al Señor. Glory to the Lord. Creo que hay hermanos también en Vietnam. I think there are brothers in Vietnam as well. Y también a nuestro hermano Nelson Sarabia. And also que está our brother Nelson Sarabia there uh, with his church in Nueva Guadalupe in El Salvador. Así que mis respetos para todos los siervos del so Señor. So my respect to all the servants of the Lord. Y, y les pido que oren por mí esta noche. I ask that you pray for me this evening, that the Holy Spirit may help me. Estoy aquí con muchísimos nervios. I'm here with a lot of uh, nerves or uh, nervous por el a but it is nervousness because of the respect i have towards you and the respect i have towards the word Así que bueno, esta so noche i podemos want to invite you in this evening to stand to your feet y vamos a tomar una en and let us take a scripture in revelation 17 
Vamos a leer del versículo 1 en adelante. Let us read from verse 1 on. Y bueno, también quiero agradecer a todos los traductores. And I want to thank all of the translators, the interpreters. May God bless you and use you in this evening. Y a todos los equipos técnicos de And all of the tech teams from Trinidad, Peru, Brazil, Sangolqui, here in Mexico. May God bless you, brothers, for all of your work. It has been a tremendous work. Nosotros aquí testifico aquí en la iglesia. Me here I can testify to you that here in the church nuestros hermanos no han ido a dormir. Our brothers have not gone to sleep. They've they've had a, quite a few days without any sleep. Y esto pasa en un instante. And this happens just in a moment. Estos cánticos duran cinco minutos y The songs last five minutes and that's it. Pero detrás de eso hubo un gran trabajo. But behind that there is a great work. Great labor. Agradecidos por estos valientes And we are grateful for these mighty gentile warriors. Que pueden entregarse para hacerle un servicio al Señor. That can give their lives to, to give a service unto the Lord. Este trabajo, and the hermanos. saints that have done all this work. Glory al Señor. Glory to the Lord. Vino entonces uno de los siete ángeles que tenía las siete copas. And there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vials. And talked with me, saying unto me. Ven acá y te mostraré la sentencia contra la gran ramera. Come hither. I will show aguas. unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. De todo el movimiento religioso que existe sobre la tierra. Out of all the religious movement that exists over the face of the earth. El secreto de la destrucción final. The secret de of the ramera, final destruction of the great harlot. Le fue dado a uno solo. Was given to one. Esa verdad no la obtuvieron luteranos, pentecostales, Lutherans bautistas. did not have this truth. Esa verdad le fue entregada al séptimo ángel. Or Baptist, it was given to the seventh angel. Por medio del ministerio de él es que conocemos. And by his ministry is that we know. A qué punto llegará la iglesia católica. What point the Catholic Church will reach. Si no hubiéramos recibido ese profeta, no entenderíamos nada de lo que está pasando. If we wouldn't have received that prophet, we would not understand anything of what is going on. Versículo 2. Con la cual so verse 2. Los reyes de la tierra. With whom the kings of the tierra. earth have committed fornication and the inhabitants of the earth. Se han embriagado con el vino de su fornicación. Have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. Y me llevó en el espíritu al desierto y vi una mujer sentada. Mm -hmm. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit Sobre una bestia llena de de upon a scarlet-colored beast full of names of blasphemy, que tenía siete cabezas y diez having cuernos. seven heads and ten horns. Y la mujer estaba vestida de y escarlata. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color. Y adornada de oro, de piedras preciosas y de perlas. And decked with gold and precious stones and pearls. Y tenían en la mano un cáliz de oro lleno de las abominaciones. Having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations. Y de las inmundicias de su fornicación. And filthiness of her fornication. Y en su frente un nombre escrito, un misterio. And upon her forehead was a name written, mystery. Esto no estaba plena vista, hermano. This was not in plain sight, brother. Esto no se podía ver. This could not be seen. Esto se necesitó un profeta para que estas cosas pudieran abrirse. A abrir. prophet was necessary so these things could open. Un misterio. A mystery. Babilonia la Grande, la madre de las rameras. Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots. Y de las abominaciones de la tierra. And abominations of the earth. Ahora mira lo que está viendo, hermano. Now look at what he's seeing, brother. Vi a la mujer ebria de la sangre de los santos. It says, and I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints. Y de la sangre de los mártires de Jesús. And with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. Y cuando la vi, quedé asombrado con gran asombro. And when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration. Fue tan impresionante la visión. The vision was so impressive en la cual está entrando Juan aquí, that John is estas entering cosas, into here receiving these things por manos de un ángel que tiene las copas. by the hands of an angel who has the vials. Hasta el so now let us jump over to verse, verse 16. Que viste en la bestia, estos aborrecen a la ramera. And the ten horns which thou sawest, Upon the beast, these shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate. And naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. For God hath put in their hearts 
el ejecutar lo que él quiso. To fulfill his will. Ponerse de acuerdo y dar su reino a la bestia. To, a, and to agree and to give their kingdom unto the beast until the words, until the words of God mujer, shall visto, be fulfilled. And the woman which thou sawest que reina sobre los reyes de la tierra. Is that great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth. Now, uh, let's go to the scripture in Nahum, chapter 1, verse 1. Libro de la visión de Nahum de Elcos. The burden of Nineveh, the uh, book of the vision, vision of Nahum the Elkoshite. Jehová es Dios celoso. God is jealous, verse 2. Jehová es vengador. And the Lord revengeth. De indignación, se venga de sus adversarios. The Lord revengeth and is furious. Para sus enemigos. The Lord will take vengeance on his, on his adversaries. Para la ira y grande en poder. And he reserveth wrath for his enemies. Inocente al culpable. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. The Lord hath his way in the whirlwind and in the storm, and the clouds are the dust of his feet, it says the clouds are the dust of his feet. Now let's go to verse 15. Los montes. Behold upon the mountains. Hay buenas nuevas. The feet of him that bringeth good tidings. El que anuncia la paz. That publisheth peace. Celebrad, oh Judá, tus fiestas. O oh, Judah, keep thy solemn feasts. Perform thy vows, for the wicked shall no more pass through thee. He is utterly cut off. He is utterly cut off. Let us pray. Our beloved Heavenly Father, we are here in your august presence, Lord. Recognizing our deficiency, Lord. We see that something definitely everything that will happen here is your intervention. What could we do, Father, if you didn't come to help us? De tu presencia entre nosotros. We need your presence among us. Porque mientras hemos cantado, as we sang, Lord, y orado, y para and venir este servicio, have prayed and pre made ready for the service, tú ya estás aquí con nosotros. we know that you are here with us. Palabra, que ella pueda correr, Señor, esta noche. May your word run this evening. And may the streams make glad the city of God. Take us to those places where only you, the seventh dove, can take us, your eagles. We give you thanks for this precious opportunity. We ask these things in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. You may be seated, brothers. We continue 
In the book of Nahum, chapter 3, I just want to read one more scripture. Wait for the inspiration of God. Woe to the bloody city, it is all full of lies and robbery. The prey departeth not. The noise of a whip and the noise of the rattling of the wheels and of the prancing horses and of the jumping chariots. The horseman lifteth up both the bright sword and the glittering spear. And there is a multitude of slain and great and a great number of carcasses. And there is none end of their corpses, and they stumble upon their corpses because of the mul multitude of the whoredoms of the well-favored harlot, the mistress of witchcraft. That selleth nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcrafts. Behold, I am against thee, saith the Lord of hosts. Y mostraría a las naciones tu desnudez y a los reinos tu vergüenza. And I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, and I will show the nations thy nakedness and the kingdoms thy shame. Vamos a brincar hasta el versículo 13. Now let us jump to verse 13. Será como mujeres en medio de ti, las puertas de tu tierra se abrirán de par en par. A tus enemigos. Behold, thy people are in the midst of thee are women. The gates of thy land shall be set wide open upon thine enemies. The fire shall devour thy bars. Draw thee waters for the siege. Fortify thy strongholds. Pisa el barro, refuerza el horno. Go into clay and tread the mortar. Make strong the brick kiln. Allí te consumirá el fuego, te talará la espada. There shall the fire devour thee. Te devorará como pulgón. The sword shall cut thee off, it shall eat thee up like the canker worm. Multiplícate como langosta, multiplícate como el langostón. Make thyself many as the canker worm. Make thyself many as the locust. Glory, al Señor. Glory to the Lord. Bueno, esta noche quiero... Well, this evening, I want to speak about a small subject. Repentimiento gentil bajo la señal de la resurrección en Jonás. Gentile repentance under the resurrection sign in Jonah and the end of the Gentiles under the vision of Nahum. I pray that the Holy Ghost may help me to be able to continue seeking in the scriptures we find that Nineveh was the capital of the Assyrian Empire. Como fue, hermano, que fue 
the, pro the prophecies that were spoken against this nation Nineveh they were by a prophet named Jonah and by a prophet named Nahum. Now, if we trace uh, the, identif the identification of Nineveh, we find the origin in Genesis, we find that it was one of the cities edified by Nimrod. Even the word Nineveh means Ninus's habitation, dwelling, the, habita the dwelling of Ninus. The house of Nimrod. And this city, this capital of Assyria, ¿Qué fue dicho por el profeta Jonás y Nahum, hermano? Y a esta ciudad fue enviado un mensaje por medio del profeta Jonás y el profeta Nahum. And a message was sent to this city by the prophet Jonah and by the prophet Nahum. Es, es extraño, es curioso, que siendo profetas judíos, it is strange, it is curious that being Jewish prophets, era un profeta judío. ¿Quién era, hermano? Porque Jonás era un profeta judío. Because Jonah was a Jewish prophet. Era un profeta judío. And Nahum was a Jewish prophet. And these men that were Jewish prophets were taking a message to a Gentile city, a Gentile nation. God sent a direct message to a Gentile nation. Now, brother, if you see these two books, Jonah, Nahum, and Jonah, you will realize, speaking specifically about Nahum, his prophecy was to Nineveh. Nahum, no fue a Nineveh. Nahum did not go to Nineveh. It was a uh, judgment to Nineveh. And uh, Nineveh, uh, Nahum is revealing to Judah about the destruction of Nineveh. Sí, me estoy escuchando a mí mismo, mi hermano. Es difícil traducir así. Sí, escucho, me escucho a mí mismo por su línea. Mi propia voz. Glory to the Lord. Probando, probando. Todavía, hermano. Me escucho todavía. Probando. Probando, probando. A ver, ¿podemos intentar así, hermano? No, todavía me escucho. Uh, ¿Cambiaron algo, hermano? Probando. Probando, probando. Uno, dos, tres. Todavía me escucho. Probando, probando, probando. Todavía. Probando, probando. 
si sigue igual. Probando, gloria al Señor. Todavía igual, hermano. Aleluya. Gloria al Señor. Gloria al Señor. Probando, probando. Todavía, hermano. Probando, probando. Uno, dos, tres. Gloria al Señor. Uno, dos, tres. Uno, dos, tres. Uno, dos, tres. Uno. Sí, mi hermano. Probando, probando, uno, dos, tres. Todavía sigue igual. Eso comenzó a hacerlo ahorita, hermano, o ya lo estaba haciendo. Ah, casi desde el principio, hermano, de cuando comenzó a predicar. En la lectura de la escritura. Probando, probando. Uno, dos, tres. Aleluya, aleluya. Sí, todavía. Probando, uno, dos, tres. ¿Hay, hay algún canal abierto aquí, hermano? Probando, uno, dos, tres. Ah, me parece que es una señal entrando a la misma computadora.
Gloria al Señor, probando, Gloria probando. Uno, dos, tres. Glory to the Lord. Glory to the Lord. Aleluya. Gloria Aleluya. Glory to the Lord. Aleluya. Aleluya. Gloria. Glory. Gloria al Señor. Glory to the Lord. Aleluya. Aleluya. Gloria. Glory. Gloria al Señor. Glory to the Lord. Aleluya. Aleluya. Gloria al Señor. Glory to the Lord. Aleluya. 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 Señor. Glory to the Lord. Aleluya. Gloria. Todo bien, mi hermano. Ya, listos. Aleluya. Glory al Señor. Glory to the Lord. God bless you, brother Miguel. Can you go tell brother? Can you go ahead and preach? Tell pastor. Well, well, pastor, pastor Alfredo. Gloria. Puede seguir adelante, por favor. Gloria al Señor. Puede seguir. Aleluya. 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 Gloria. Glory. Gloria al Señor. Glory to the Lord. Aleluya. ¿Me escucha ahí, hermano Miguel? Sí, hermano. ¿Ya está bien? Ya está bien. Gloria al Señor. Bueno, estamos teniendo well, algunas luchas. We are having some battles here. El enemigo está molesto. The enemy is definitely angry. Pero confiamos que el Señor But ya we trust that the Lord has overcome already. Confiamos que él tiene el control. We de trust todo that esto. he has control of all of this. Así, hace un momento estábamos Just diciendo. Just a moment que... ago we were saying. No podemos ir adelante de la that sinfonía. We cannot go ahead of the symphony. Salir de la partitura. We can't leave the the sheet music. Tenemos que estar ahí en el ritmo de la we palabra. We have to be right in the rhythm of the word. Así que oramos que el Espíritu Santo So we pray that the Holy Spirit may take all of these equipment para que él pueda glorificarse en medio nuestro. That he may be glorified in our midst. Ahora estábamos diciendo, hermanos. So we were saying, brothers. Estaba hablándote sobre el arrepentimiento I was telling you gentil, about gentile repentance bajo la señal de la resurrección en Jonás, under the resurrection sign in Jonah y el fin de los gentiles bajo and la the end of the Gentiles under the vision of Nahum. Te decía que son estos dos profetas, I was telling you that these two prophets, aun cuando fueron profetas judíos, fueron even when they were Jewish prophets, they were sent para llevar un mensaje a los gentiles. to take a message to the Gentiles. Eh, específicamente hablando un poco esta noche Specifically de Nahum. speaking tonight about Nahum. Él, él no fue físicamente a, He a did not physically go to Nineveh. Mas su profecía fue para hablar However, de his la prophecy de esa was to tell us about the destruction of that city. Y esa predicación fue exclusivamente And para that un preaching was exclusively to bring an awakening sobre Judá. upon Judah. Sobre el, sobre el grupo de gente que eran on reyes. the group of people that were kings. Ahora, si tú miras estos dos libros, hermano, Now, if you see these two books, Nahum y Jonás. Nahum and Jonah. Es, como te digo hace un momento, As I was telling you a moment ago. Específicamente Nahum. Specifically Nahum. Su profecía fue para traer una advertencia a Judá. His prophecy was to bring a warning to de Judah. La destrucción de Nínive, speaking to them about the destruction que la of Nineveh. Estaba cerca. That the destruction was close. Y, y, y al, y al ser destruida esa nación, al ser and by that nation nación, being destroyed and annihilated, eso iba a traer una liberación para ellos como it was pueblo. going to bring a deliverance to them as a people. Pero tú miras como Jonás, But you see how Jonás, Jonah, talking about Jonah, él sí entró directamente a la habitación he de Nimrod. did directly go into that dwelling place of Nimrod. Porque esas cosas están hablando de algo Because those things are talking about something that, that updates the thought of God for this hour. Because we have two men there. One that is going directly into the house of Ninus or Ninus. And another one prophesying about the destruction of Nineveh. Glory to the Lord. Y, y, y cuando Jonás entró hablando de Jonás, and when Jonah went in talking about Jonah él visitó la habitación de Nimrod, he visited Nimrod's dwelling y él llegó a ser la señal de la resurrección. or that seat of Nimrod and he came to be the Predicando sign of the resurrection preaching directly a la casa de Nimrod. To the, to the house of Nimrod Ahora, si tú recuerdas la predicación de Jonás, now if you remember Jonah's preaching 
produjo un arrepentimiento. It produced a repentance. Pero ese arrepentimiento, cuando tú lees la Biblia, te das cuenta que fue un arrepentimiento temporal. But that repentance, when you read the Bible, you realize it was only a temporary repentance. Fue un arrepentimiento solo, solamente por un tiempo. It was a repentance only for a time. No pudieron permanecer. They couldn't remain. No pudieron permanecer en la palabra. No pudieron They permanecer couldn't remain la in the word. They couldn't remain under the anointing. De eso que ese profeta había traído. Of that which that prophet had brought. Algunos años después. Some years later. Encontramos. We find. Que esa ciudad sería destruida. That city would be destroyed. Y Nahum captó el tiempo, hermano. And Nahum caught the time, brother. Para que eso tomara lugar. For that to take place. Y comenzó a predicar y a profetizar. And he began to preach and prophesy. A un pueblo llamado Judá. A Judá. To a people a called reyes. Judah. To Judah. To the kings. De donde los reyes tendrían que venir. Where the kings would have to come from. Y comenzó a profetizar porque reconoció la hora. And he began to prophesy because he recognized the hour. De esa destrucción. Of that destruction. Ahora cuando leemos Apocalipsis 17 y Apocalipsis Now when we 18, read Revelation 17 and Revelation 18. Nos muestra el escenario de la sombra allá atrás. It shows us the scene of the shadow back then. Lo que fue puesto allá atrás en el Antiguo Testamento. What was placed back then in the Old Testament. Porque esos libros, Jonás y Nahum. Because those books, Jonah and Nahum. Están mostrando el arrepentimiento del mundo gentil. They're showing the repentance of the Gentile world. Y la destrucción del mundo gentil. And the destruction of the Gentile world. El mundo gentil fue arrepentido. The Gentile world repented. Bajo la señal de la resurrección en un Under the resurrection Jonas. sign in a prophet named Jonah. Gloria al Señor. Glory to the Lord. Escucha esto, hermano. Hear this, brother. El verdadero arrepentimiento gentil fue producido por un profeta True llamado True Gentile Jonas repentance was produced by a prophet named Jonah with the resurrection sign. Gloria. Glory. Y la destrucción de los gentiles. And the destruction of the Gentiles. Fue predicada por la visión que Nahum tuvo. Was preached by the vision that Nahum had. Ahora. Now. Si, si pensamos un poco en Jonás. If we think a little bit on Jonah, the resurrection sign. Aprovechándonos que esta es la temporada para que estas cosas tomen lugar. And taking advantage of the fact that this is the season for these things to take place. Es como han dicho todos los, los esta es Because, la as all of the preachers have said, this is the true Easter. Este es el del poder this is the true time of the quickening power. This medios. is the real hour when there would be a genuine conversion of, in the believers. Entonces, cuando, cuando enfocamos a Jonás y traemos la sombra de atrás para, para mirar el pensamiento. So when we focus on Jonah and we see, we bring that shadow to bring the thought in this day. Encontramos que el, que el, que el, que el procedimiento al arrepentimiento. We find that the advancement to repentance of the Gentiles. Vino por medio de la señal de la resurrección. Came by the resurrection sign. Gloria. Glory. Y entonces bajo Jonás. And bajo so el under de Jonás, the ministry of Jonah. Esa ciudad fue arrepentida. That city repented. Y siguió por un tiempo, hermano. And it continued on for some time, brothers. Pero cuando la profecía de Nahum comenzó When a salir. When Nahum's prophecy began to go out. Su tiempo ya había pasado. Their time had run out. Tuvieron que mostrar sus colores. They had to show their colors. Gloria. Glory. Porque las mismas personas. Because the same people. Que recibieron el ministerio de Jonás. That received the ministry of Jonah. Y por medio de su predicación se arrepintieron. And by his preaching repented. Y humillaron su corazón. And they humbled their hearts. Y se alejaron de sus viejos caminos. And they went away from their old ways. Y decidieron caminar por la senda estrecha. And they decided to walk by the narrow path. Esa misma gente. The same people. Esa misma gente. That same people. Ahora estaban entrando bajo un juicio. We're now entering into a judgment. Ahora cuando pensamos en Jonás, te das cuenta, hermano. Now when we think about Jonah, you realize, brother, que Jesús mismo señaló a Jonás como una señal. That Jesus himself pointed to Jonah as a sign. Y no cualquier señal, sino que dijo era la señal del hijo del hombre. And not just any sign, but he said it was the sign of the son of man. Y entonces el pensamiento de Dios se clarifica más. And so the thought of God is cleared up even more. Porque Dios envió un profeta a los gentiles. Because God sent a prophet to the Gentiles. Para que ellos se convirtieran. So they could convert, repent. Y se arrepintieran de sus caminos. So they would repent of their ways. Y ese profeta aquí tenía And la señal de la resurrección. And that prophet here, he had the resurrection sign. 
Él era la señal de la resurrección. He was the sign of the resurrection. Hermano, ese, ese, ese ministerio Brother, that ministry no era para los judíos. was not for the Jews. Ese ministerio era para los gentiles. That ministry was for the Gentiles. Porque la sombra allá atrás Because the shadow back then muestra que Jonás shows that Jonah con la señal de la resurrección with the resurrection sign fue un mundo gentil antes de que fuera destruido. went to a Gentile world before it was destroyed. Y ese pueblo se arrepintió. And that people repented. Se convirtieron de sus caminos. They repented of their ways. They Gloria. turned back from their ways. Glory. Este ministerio. This ministry. La señal de la resurrección. The resurrection Jonás, sign, the ministry of Jonah. No era para judíos ni samaritanos. It wasn't for Jews or Samaritans. Era para gentiles. It was for Gentiles. Y cuando, cuando tú miras... Eh, Lucas, and when you look at Luke, porque es en Lucas donde habla Jesús de Jonás. Because it is in Luke when Lucas 11, Jesus speaks about Jonah. Luke 11. Como, como el mayor Jonás. He places himself as the greater Jonah. Porque aquello era una sombra. Because that was a shadow. Pero esta era la verdadera esencia. But this was the true essence. Gloria. Glory. Y eso estaba mostrando una resurrección mayor que la que Jonás And that was showing a greater resurrection than the one that Jonah Estaba mostrando al mundo gentil allá was en el showing Antiguo the Testamento. Gentile world there in the Old Testament. Porque aquí, Because here, como hemos dicho, como han dicho los as we have said, as días, the preachers said these days, hablando de ese poder vivificador, talking about that quickening power, hablando de esas tres salidas del sol, talking about the three risings of the sun, hablando de la verdadera resurrección, talking about true, resur true resurrection. Este es el verdadero día, la verdadera hora donde esa señal apareció. This is the real day, the hour where that has appeared. Así que esta es una resurrección mayor que la de Jonás. So this is a greater resurrection than the one of Jonah back then in the Old Testament. Porque Jesús dice en Lucas Because Luca Jesus 12, says in Luke 11, si me acompañas, if you go ahead and together with me, bendito sea el nombre del Señor. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Lucas 11, versículo 29. Luke 11, verse 29. Y apiñándose las multitudes. And when the decir, people este were gathered no thick together, he began to say, this is an evil generation. Demanda señal. They seek a sign. Pero no les será, pero no les será dada sino la señal. And there shall, there shall no sign be given it, but the sign of Jonas, the prophet. Ahora observa esto. Now notice this. Porque así como Jonás fue señal a los ninivitas. For as Jonas was a sign unto the Ninevites. También el hijo del hombre. So shall also the son of man be to this generation. La reina del sur se levantará en el juicio contra los hombres de esta generación. And he says the queen of the south shall rise up in the judgment with the men of this generation and condemn them for she came from the utmost parts of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon and behold a greater than Solomon is here. Now Jesus is talking about a greater Solomon to talk to talk about the woman that came to listen, the queen of the south. But if there's a greater Solomon, there has to be a greater Jonah as well. Una señal más de la And a greater sign of the resurrection. Esta es la Because this is the true resurrection, brother. Esta es la verdadera esencia de la resurrección. This is the true essence of the allá, resurrection. Allá Jona, allá Jesús dijo, There, Jesus said, Hablando de Jonás, la sombra Talking de about Testamento. Jonah, the shadow in the Old Testament. Porque como Jonás duró tres días en el vientre del pez. For as Jonah was uh, three days in the belly of the, of the fish. Así el Hijo del Hombre estará en el corazón de la tierra. So the Son of Man would be in the heart of the Por earth. Tres días. For three days. Ahora eso es solo para entender, hermano. Now that is only to understand, brother. Cómo se apoderó de nosotros la resurrección. How the resurrection took a hold of us. Porque nosotros también aquí tuvimos esos mismos tres días. Because we here, we also had those same three days. Hasta que el Hijo, el Sol, volvió a aparecer. Until the, the Sun, the S-O-N, appeared again. Porque el profeta lo enseña. Because eh, the prophet teaches it. En la simiente no heredará con el forro. And the seed shall not be heir with the shuck. Y entonces dice Lutero, Wesley y Pentecostales. And he says Luther, días. Wesley and, and Pentecost, uh, the Pentecostals talking about those three days. Lutero, el primer día, Wesley, Luther, el the first día, day, Wesley, the second tres, day, tres and the Pentecostals, the third day. And in the morning, women appeared saying, he has risen. Gloria al Señor. Glory to the Lord. Y aparecieron mujeres diciendo, él ha resucitado. 
and women appeared saying he has risen. Ahora, con esta señal de la Now with this sign of the resurrection, brothers, la of the word resurrected, because es es that's what the prophet says, the de word has resurrected from a, such a dark denominationalism. La palabra resucitó. The word resurrected. En los días de nuestro profeta, In the days of our prophet, our Jonah, la palabra resucitó. the word resurrected. Y con esa señal de la de la and palabra with that sign of the resurrection of the word resurrected, nuestro Jonás, our Jonah, también entró a la casa de Nínive, also went into the house of Nineveh, a la habitación de Ninus, to the dwelling of Ninus. Porque Apocalipsis 18, versículo 1 y because 2, Revelation 18, verse 1 and 2, nos habla de eso, hermano. speaks to us about that, brother. Mira lo que dice, después de esto vi a otro ángel. Look at what it says decir. here. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven. Apocalipsis 18, 1. That's Revelation 18, 1. Con gran poder y la tierra fue alumbrada con su gloria. Having great power and the earth was lightened with his glory. Y clamó con voz potente. And he cried mightily with a strong voice. Diciendo, ha caído, ha caído la grande Babilonia. Saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen. Y se ha hecho habitación de demonios. And has become de the habitation mundo. of devils and the hold of every foul spirit. Así que tú miras aquí a un profeta. So, you see here a prophet. Yendo directamente a la casa de Satanás. Going directly into Satan's a la seat. De Nimrod, to Nimrod's seat, his dwelling. Con la palabra resucitada. With the word resurrected. Ahora quiero leerte algo, hermano. Now I want to read something to you, brother. Que dice el profeta en el mensaje, ya ha salido el sol. That the prophet says in the message, it is the rising of the sun. En el párrafo 52. In paragraph 52. Él dice esto, hermano. He says this, brother. Dice, por cuanto yo vivo, vosotros también viviréis. Because I live, you shall live also. Yo vivo en vosotros. I live in you. Y las obras que yo hago. And the works that I do. Juan 14, 12. John 14, 12. Me, me identificarán a mí entre vosotros. Will identify myself in you. Qué tremendo mensaje. He says, what a message. Con razón hemos tenido un mundo lleno de tinieblas teológicas. No wonder we've had a dark world of theology. Pero habría de haber luz nuevamente en el atardecer. But in the evening time there shall come light again. Escucha lo que dice, habrá una resurrección en el atardecer. And listen to what he says, there will be a resurrection in the evening time. Habría luz en el atardecer. It shall be light at the evening time. Una resurrección en el tiempo del atardecer. A resurrection in the evening time. Gloria. Glory. Déjame leer algo más. So let me read something else. Párrafo 202. Paragraph 202. Recuerden. Remember. El poder vivificador. The quickening power. Fíjense bien lo que hemos visto en estos días. Notice what we have seen in these days. El poder vivificador. The quickening power. Ha llegado hasta nosotros para abrir los siete sellos. Has come to us to open the seven seals. ¿Para qué fue dada? ¿Para qué fue dado el poder vivificador? What was the quickening power given for? ¿Para qué vino a nosotros el poder vivificador? What did the quickening power come to us to do? ¿Con qué vino a nosotros ese profeta que fue enviado aquí? What did that prophet that was sent here Con come ese with? ¿Con poder vivificador? With that quickening power. ¿Para qué? To do what? Dice, para abrir los siete sellos. He says, to open the seven seals. ¿Qué fue aquello? He says, what was that? ¿Fue acaso la inteligencia de un hombre? Was it the intelligence of man? El profeta está diciendo, esto se logró abrir porque soy muy hábil. The prophet is saying, was this open because I am very capable? O más bien es esto lo que fue skilled? prometido. Or is this what was promised? Que si el mismo espíritu que a Cristo había resucitado. That if the same spirit that raised Jesus. Viniera a nosotros. Would come to us. Vivificaría vuestros cuerpos mortales. It would quicken your mortal bodies. Traería una resurrección. It would bring forth a resurrection. Ahora. No fue más bien el poder vivificador de Dios. Now, it was the quickening power of God. El poder vivificador de Dios nos predijo que esto sucedería. See, the quickening power of God foretold this would take place. Qué tremendo que el poder vivificador, que el poder de la resurrección, How tremendous hermano, the quickening power, the power of the resurrection, brother, nos predice lo que acontecerá. Foretells us what will happen. Te estoy diciendo estas cosas. I'm telling you these things para que entiendas con qué poder entró este profeta aquí. so that you understand with what power this prophet entered into this. Porque ese, porque ese poder, because that power 
predice lo que acontecerá. Foretells what would take predice place. lo que sucederá. It foretells what would happen. El poder vivificador hizo que el mundo testificara que esto es la verdad. See, the quickening power of God made the world testify to it. It's the truth. El ángel del Señor. The angel of the Lord. El cual les he dicho que, que está en esa columna de fuego. I told you was around in a pillar of fire. El poder vivificador. Quickening power. Permitió que el mundo testificara que Let es la the verdad. world testify that it's the truth. Y eso es. And in that. Y en eso ellos no sabían lo que era. In that, they didn't know what it was. Y nosotros, los que estamos viéndolo de la manera correcta. And we knew, just look at this away. Vimos que era nuestro Señor. Just look this away, and it's our Lord up there, you see? Vimos que era nuestro Señor. We saw that it is our Lord. Cuando los sellos fueron abiertos. When the seals were opened. Y nos predijo las cosas que sucederían. And he foretold us the things that would take place. En eso nosotros. In that we. Quien, quien estábamos atrapados en la habitación de Ninus. Who were trapped there in the dwelling of Ninus. Vimos a nuestro Señor. We saw our Lord. Aleluya. Aleluya. En eso nosotros vimos a nuestro Señor. That is where we see our Lord. ¿Ven ustedes? Él fue you see, abrió esos sellos. he is the one who opened those seals. Él es esos sellos. He is those seals. Porque toda la palabra es Cristo. For the whole word of God is Christ. Y Cristo es los sellos que fueron abiertos. And Christ is the seals that was opened. Entonces, ¿qué fue la apertura de los sellos? What is the opening of seals then? Fue la revelación de Jesucristo. Revealing Christ. Los mismos siete ángeles representan... A las siete iglesias. And the Todo very seven completo. angels, which represented the seven churches, all completed. Y nosotros, si no lo podíamos entender, and we couldn't even see it. Fueron aquellos los que tomaron la fotografía, no fuimos nosotros. They did, they took the picture, not us. Y ahí él está parado, el juez supremo. And there he is, standing there, supreme judge. Mostrando que él es el alfa y el omega. Showing that he is alpha and omega, the beginning and the end. Qué tremenda identificación. What identification. El poder vivificador hizo eso por nosotros. Quickening power did that to us. El poder vivificador nos permite ver su venida. Quickening power lets us see oh. his coming. Ahora escucha esto, hermano. El poder vivificador Now listen to nos this, brother. de la muerte. Quickening power snatched us from death to life. Y nos trajo a la vida. Brought us to life. El poder vivificador da discernimiento para saber qué tiene Quickening uno power que hacer. gives discernment to know what's wrong with you and what to do. Qué hacer. To know what to do. Para saber lo que usted hizo. To know what you have done. Y lo que usted debió haber hecho. And what you ought not to have done. Como también lo que usted será. And what you should have done. And what you el will be. El poder vivificador nos da todas estas cosas. Quickening power, all these things. Así que cuando Dios envió este profeta con esta señal. So when God sent this prophet with this sign. De la of the resurrection. Al mundo gentil. To the Gentile world. Con esa señal nos dio todo lo que necesitamos. With that sign he gave us everything we needed. Para toda nuestra jornada. For all of our journey. Gloria. Glory. Nos trajo de muerte a vida. He brought us from death to life. Nos sacó de delitos y pecados. He took us away from sins and trespasses. Fuimos lavados, fuimos convertidos. We were washed, we were converted. Aleluya. Aleluya. Eso es lo que hizo el poder vivificador por nosotros. That's what the quickening power did nos for us. Nos sacó de la muerte y nos trajo a vida. Pulled us away from death and brought us to life. It snatched us away. Aleluya. Aleluya. Ahora con esta señal. Now with this sign. Con esta señal de la resurrección. With this sign of the resurrection. Nuestro profeta visitó cada rincón de los gentiles, hermano. Our prophet visited every corner of the Gentiles, Incluso brother. Incluso. Even. Sus sermones, sus mensajes. His sermons, his messages. Han llegado a los confines de la tierra. Have reached the ends of the earth. Cada lugar de la casa de Ninus. Every place of the dwelling of Ninus. El albergue de toda ave sucia y abominable. The cage of every unclean bird. La guarida de demonios. That, that house of demons, este mensaje, the house of hell, this message, the sign of the resurrection, the resurrection sign, lugar. has reached every place, que es el mismo de ayer, hoy, showing that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Gloria. Glory. 
Aleluya. Aleluya. Ahora, nuevamente. Now again. Nuestro profeta estaba encarnando. Our prophet. A ese profeta huyendo. Was incarnating that prophet, that uh, porque, fleeing prophet. Porque cuando haces ese paralelo de Jonás. Because when you make that parallel of Jonah. Al ministerio de nuestro profeta. To the ministry of our prophets. Del cual Jesús habló que vendría como una señal de la resurrección. That Jesus spoke that it would come as a sign of the resurrection to the Gentiles. No estoy hablando del Jesús de hace dos mil años. And I'm not talking about the Jesus of, two, of 2,000 years ago. Ni la resurrección allá. Neither am I talking about the resurrection then. Te estoy hablando de los días de nuestra resurrección. I'm talking to you about the days of our resurrection. Y de la señal que nos fue enviada a nosotros. And the sign that was sent to us. ¿Y dónde tenemos otra vez aquí a otro profeta Jonás? And where, we, where do we have here another prophet Jonah? Y ese profeta. That prophet. Exactamente como Jonás. Exactly like Jonah. Huyendo de la presencia de Dios. Fleeing from the presence of God. Quiso huir, quiso ir al bosque. He wanted to flee, he wanted to go into the woods. Un ermitaño. And become like a hermit. Y luego cuando aceptaron, and when they accepted, cuando se convirtieron después del mensaje, converted after the message, él, él les llamó riquis y riquetas. He called them riquis and riquetas. Y Dios tuvo que corregirle. And God had to correct him. Dios tuvo que cambiarle ese sentir a nuestro profeta. God had to change that, uh, the feeling of the prophet. Porque le dijo ahí entre esa gente. Because he said among that people, a quien tú le llamas riquis y riquetas. That you're calling riquis and riquetas. Ahí está mi pueblo. My people is there. Ahí está mi gente. My people are there. Ahí están mis hijos, mis elegidos. My children, my elect are there. Aleluya. Aleluya. Y le hizo comprender su voluntad. And he made him understand his will. Con respecto a los elegidos. With respect to the elect. Y la posición que él debería de tener. And the position that he should have. En esa hora. In that hour. En esa hora que todos los misterios In that hour where all the mysteries le habían sido confiados had been entrusted unto him. En esa hora en la cual Dios ha puesto aquello que puede producir una genuina conversión. In that hour en when Argentina, God has placed something that can cause a genuine conversion in the Gentiles. Le cambió su sentir. He changed his emotion, his feeling. Le hizo entender. He made him understand. Gloria al Señor. Glory to the Lord. Porque él era Jonás en esa hora. Because he was Jonah in that time. Y entonces captó. And so he caught. Que no era la gente. That it problema. wasn't, the problem was not the people. Sino más bien era el sistema que les But había rather, enseñado. Que les había it subido. was the system that had taught them, that had instructed them. Y tuvo que corregir su actitud. And he had to correct his attitude. Dios le hizo que corrigiera su actitud. God made him correct his attitude. Aleluya. Aleluya. Bendito sea el nombre del Señor. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Por eso él le dijo. That's why he said to him. El, o le hizo comprender y escuchar. Or rather, he made him understand. Cosas. And then we hear the prophet telling us about these things, confessing yo, this. Yo, yo prefiero tener un buen espíritu. I prefer to have a good spirit. Porque pudiera un hombre tener la verdad. Because a no man may have correcto. the truth and have the wrong spirit or an incorrect spirit. Pero Dios que este tuviera un But God wanted this man to have the right spirit. Si tú miras en el mensaje, Because if you brecha, look in the message standing in the gap, que hizo ese that confession that the prophet made publicly, él se puso allí como alguien que se estaba burlando en la condición de ellos. He stood up there as someone that was mocking their condition. Porque no le entendieron, porque no le captaron. Because they didn't understand him, because they didn't catch what he was saying. Pero, pero ahí está ese hombre. But there is this man. En sus manos tiene aquello que puede traer una genuina conversión al pueblo. In his hands he has something that can Algo produce genuine conversion in the people, something real to the life of those people. Y no estaba queriendo aceptar. And he didn't want to accept ellos. what God wanted to do with them. Because que que, que he was waiting for that truth la entre y to be received with clapping and hugging. Mas, sin embargo, el todas However, the people were reasoning all of those truths. Pero aún en medio de ellos, Dios But tenía even su in their midst, God had his people. Dios tenía sus God had his elect. Y Dios tuvo que tratar con el sentir de este profeta. And God had to deal with the feeling of this prophet. Tuvo que cambiar su actitud. He had to change his attitude. Gloria al Señor. Glory to the Lord. Aleluya. Aleluya. Ahora, 
Te das Now, cuenta cómo Jonás, you realize how Jonah, en un momento, tú lo encuentras que está clamando en in el vientre. In a moment, pez, you find that he's crying out in the belly of the, of the fish, desesperando. crying out desperate. Se sintió que la tierra había abierto sus cerrojos y, lo, y los había echado sobre él. He felt that the earth had opened up its, its, uh, the earth and, and swallowed everything upon him. Punto de clamor y de desesperación llegó. The moment of desperation and crying out came. De tal manera que en su clamor. In such a way that in his cry. Dios lo hizo regresar a la comisión. God made him go back to the commission. Pero ahora aquí, ese profeta Jonás, después. But now here, this prophet Jonah, after experiencia, that experience, brother. Y otra vez de nuevo en la senda bajo la comisión. And again on the journey, on the road, in that commission. ¿Sabe qué? He, he uh, gives his message Comenzó a renegar. and he began to like complain Debajo de la calabacera. under that um, a gourd, Gloria. the pumpkin, glory. Esa calabacera. ¿Cómo fue, hermano? debajo de la calabacera. While he was under the, the gourd. La, en el vientre del pez. In the belly of the fish. Comisión. ¿Cómo fue, hermano? Comisión. ¿Puede volver a repetirlo, hermano? Vientre del pez. While he was in the belly of the fish. Para entrar en esta comisión. To enter into this commission. Y cuando entró en la comisión. When he entered into the commission. Ahora está aquí predicando. Now he is here preaching to the people that he was sent to. Y le está llamando riquis y riquetas. And he's calling them riquis and riquetas. Y fue y se puso debajo de la calabacera. And he went and he was under that. Y estando allí en la calabacera, Dios se la quitó. And being there, God took it away. Porque Dios estaba tratando con Jonás acerca de sus prejuicios, hermano. Because God was dealing with Jonah with his prejudice. Así como lo hizo con el profeta. As he did with the prophet. Él permitió que todas esas cosas tomaran lugar. He allowed all those things to take place. Y después Dios lo llevó a la señal eterna. And afterwards God took him to the eternal sign. Y ahí todos sus prejuicios y cosas que le And there, all of his prejudice and the things that were an obstacle to him. Le fueron quitadas. They were taken away. Ahora, hermano, mira el libro de Jonás. Now, brother, look at the book of Jonah. Para poner a este hombre listo, hermano. You see what God had to do to make this man ready. Para dar el mensaje. To give the message. Hermano, levantó una tormenta. Brother, he raised up a storm. Trajo el gran pez. He brought the great fish. Levantó la calabacera. He raised up the gourd. Y luego colocó un gusano dentro de la calabacera. And then he prepared a worm in, in the gourd. Que se levantara un viento solano. And then he made a sun el sol arise cabeza. and a, a vehement east wind. And the sun beat upon the head of Jonah. Con él. God was with him. Porque este hombre tendría que ser una señal de la resurrección. A un Dealing with gentil. him because this man had to be the resurrection sign to a Gentile world. Incluso estaba corrigiendo su visión, su sentir, sus pensamientos. He was correcting his vision, his feeling, his emotions. Hallelujah. Dios estaba tratando con él. God was dealing with him. Hasta que encuentras que ese profeta llegó a Until ser uno con su mensaje. Until you find that prophet became one with his message. Llegó a ser parte del movimiento de Dios en esa hora. He came to be part of God's movement for the hour. Ahora, hermano, todo eso está allí. Now, brother, all of that is en there. Jonás. In Jonah. Y encuentras la manera en que el gentil se arrepintió. And you find the way that the Gentiles repented. Y fueron convertidos por la señal de la resurrección. And they were converted by the resurrection sign. En Jonás. In Jonah. Porque el poder vivificador. Because the quickening power. Cuando tú lees Apocalipsis 18. When you read Revelation 18. Dice, después de esto vi otro ángel descender. It says, after these things, I saw another angel poder. come down from heaven having great power. Fue alumbrada con su gloria. And the earth was lightened with his glory. Fue este poder con el cual él vino. It was this power with which he came. Para libertar a los gentiles. To deliver the Gentiles. Gloria. Glory. Bendito sea el nombre del Señor. Blessed be the name of the Lord. 
Así que eh, encontramos la manera en que Dios trató con él. So we find the way that God dealt with him. Pero llegando aquí, cuando llegas al libro de Nahum, But when you reach the book of Nahum, que predicó Jonás. Otra vez, hermano. Nahum, a la misma ciudad que predicó Jonás. Nahum, the vision comes to Nahum preaching about the same city that Jonah went to visit, Nineveh. Sido convertidos. And those that had been converted. Dios no pueden ser quebrantadas. No escuché, hermano, otra vez. Dios no pueden ser quebrantadas. The, word of, the words of God cannot be broken. Y la Escritura nos enseña que Dios no puede llamar un hombre a juicio. And the Scripture tells us that God cannot call a man to, to judgment without having warned him first. Y Dios les había dicho. And God had told them. Rey Ezequías. Otra vez, hermano. Que Dios no llama un hombre a juicio sin advertirle. That God does not bring a, a man to judgment without warning him. A ese rey llamado Ezequías. Uh, to that king named Hezekiah. Pasa. Gloria. Glory. Le dijo que arreglara su casa. He told him to fix his house. Y le dio 15 años más. And he gave him 15 more years. Pero el juicio, la sentencia. But the judgment, the sentence had already gone out. Eso no va a el that won't change the determined judgment by God. Pero Dios le dio una but de God gave him corregirse. an opportunity of repentance to correct that. Y una vez que Dios envió ese and once God Jonás, sent that prophet Jonah with the resurrection sign, y pudo a cada and he was able to reach Nineveh, every corner of Nineveh con el poder with the quickening power, lo único, lo único que faltaba, the only thing left era esper era esperar el tiempo para que was to wait for the time for the judgment with which God had decided to destroy that nation se cumpliera. to be fulfilled. Pero en los días del profeta Jonás, but in the days of the prophet Jonah, ese juicio fue aplazado. that judgment was delayed. Dios quiso darle it was stayed. A algunos cuantos gentiles. God wanted to give an opportunity, a chance to some Gentiles. Dios quiso tratar con algunos pocos. God wanted to deal with a few a los cuales el poder vivificador to whom the quickening power would help them, greet them. A los cuales el poder resurrectivo de Jesucristo. That the resurrective power of Jesus Christ les hizo conocer la senda. made them know the way. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Bendito sea el nombre del Señor. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Así que cuando miras al, al rey Ezequías te das cuenta so que when Dios you see King Hezekiah, you realize that God más. gave him 15 more years. Pero el juicio y la sentencia ya habían sido declaradas. But the judgment and the sentence had already been declared. Y entonces cuando lees el libro de Jonás muestra el And so when you read the book of Jonah, it shows the time of repentance. De los gentiles. Of the Gentiles. Ahora mira los días del profeta. Now look at the days of the prophet. Y todas las cosas que han sido que fueron postergadas. And all of the things that were stayed Los or delayed. Que tomar lugar, the events that should have taken place. Pero que fueron paralizados a causa they were de que la señal de la stopped because the resurrection sign tenía que llegar hasta el último rincón de la casa de Ninus. had to reach every the last corner of the house of Ninus. There, algunos gentiles, there were going to be some Gentiles por el poder vivificador. They were going to be reached by the quickening power. Piensa en todas esas cosas que debieron tomar lugar. Think about all those things that should have taken place. En aquellos días. In those days. Y fueron postergados. And they were delayed, postponed. Hasta que apareciera un pueblo que pudiera captar la visión de la ira Until de Dios. Until a people would appear that could catch the vision of the wrath of God. Mira, hermano, un, un, una fecha sobresaliente. Look, brother, a, an outstanding date. 16 de octubre del año de 1962. ¿Qué día, hermano? Se cortó un poco. 16 de octubre de 1962. October 16 of 1962. La crisis de los misiles. The Cuban Missile Crisis. Hermano, Rusia estaba lista para Brothers, invadir los Estados Unidos. Russia was ready to invade the United States. Entrando por Cuba. Going through Cuba. Si tú te recuerdas en el año 33, if you remember in the year 33, el Espíritu Santo tomó al profeta y le dio siete visiones sobresalientes. The Holy Spirit took the prophet and gave him seven outstanding major visions. 
major continuous visions. And in the last vision, the United States would be nothing but craters, the smoke. It would be completely destroyed. But October 16 of 1962, brother, it was in that time when it was the closest to a global nuclear war. Se, se volvió a cortar otra vez, hermano. Fue, fue donde más se acercó. It was when it got the nearest, the closest. Incluso los, los, los hombres dicen que alcanzó un nivel. Many even say that they reached a level. En los lenguajes de guerra. In the, in the language of war. Que le llamaron DEFCON 2. That they called DEFCON 2. Ese es el punto más crítico. That is the most critical moment. En que en cualquier momento se puede disparar that la guerra. Nuclear. At any moment, nuclear war can shoot off. Eso fue en el 62. That was in 1962. Pero eso no podía tomar lugar. But that could not take place. Eso no podía acontecer. That couldn't happen. Porque hasta el 63, Dios because tenía que enviar a su profeta. Until 63, God had to send his prophet with his mysteries opened, showing that the sun had resurrected, showing that Jesus Christ had risen again from among the dead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ahora, hermano, si, si, now, si brother, leen, if you read, eh, en la edad de la Odisea, in the age of Laodicea, no sé si pudieran traerme el libro. If you could bring me the book here. La exposición. Of the exposition. Allí el profeta está hablando de estas siete visiones sobre The prophet there is talking about these seven major continuous visions. El hermano Ever nos habló el primer servicio acerca de eso. Brother Ever spoke to us in the first service about that. Y fui tremendamente bendecido al escuchar las cosas que el siervo del Señor estaba hablando. And I was tremendously blessed hearing the things that the servant of God was saying. Aquí, here, el profeta está diciendo algo. The prophet is saying something. Hermano Alfredo. No le escucho, hermano Alfredo. Escucha. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. En el párrafo 8. En paragraph 8. De la exposición de las edades. Of the exposition of the church ages. Como a mediación del párrafo. Around the, the midst of the paragraph. Dice, por favor, perdónenme esta nota personal. He says, if you may pardon a personal note here. Esta predicción está basada en una serie de siete visiones mayores. He says, I base this prediction on seven major continuous visions. Que me llegaron un día domingo en junio de 1933. That came to me one Sunday morning in June 1933. El Señor Jesús me habló y me dijo que la venida del Señor estaba cerca. The Lord cerca. Jesus spoke to me and said that the coming of the Lord was drawing nigh. Pero antes de que Él viniera, siete eventos mayores before he came, sucedería. seven major events would transpire. Así que el profeta está hablando de siete so the prophet is talking about seven lugar. things that would have to take place Antes de que la venida del Señor fuera consumada. before the coming of the Lord was finished. Ahora nosotros sabemos que la venida del Señor es un misterio triple. Now we know that the coming of the Lord is a threefold mystery. Y la venida del Señor no es algo que va a comenzar. And the coming of the Lord is not comenzó. something that is going to begin, but it already began. Y incluso el profeta dice que para the nosotros. The prophet even novia, says that for us, the bride, El rapto, más que ser the rapture, un evento, more than revelación. being an event, the rapture is a revelation. Nosotros estamos esperando en la revelación del rapto. We are waiting for in the revelation of the rapture. We are waiting in the revelation of the rapture. Así que hay tres, siete cosas que el profeta dice que tendrían que acontecer. So, there are seven things that the prophet says that they had to happen. Antes de la conclusión de la venida del Señor. Before the, the conclusion of the coming of the Lord Jesus. Entre eso... Between that, que el está aquí, the prophet is saying here, 
Él llega a esta parte aquí en el párrafo 16. He reaches this part here in paragraph 16. Cuando está explicando la siete, el cumplimiento de las siete visiones. When he's explaining the fulfillment of the seven visions. Porque párrafos anteriores. Because in the previous paragraphs. Él viene mencionando las siete visiones. He's mentioning these uh, seven visions. Pero en el párrafo 16 él dice cómo cada visión se ha cumplido. But in paragraph 16 he talks about how each one has been fulfilled. Y luego interpreta la sexta y séptima visión. And then he in cosas interprets the sixth and the seventh vision which were things. Que no estaban completamente cumplidas. They were not completely fulfilled. Glory Yet. To Señor. Glory to the Lord. Y cuando entra en la sexta visión, dice, la iglesia católica. And when he enters into the sixth vision, he says, the Catholic Church rápido. is on the rise. Hemos tenido un presidente católico. We have had one Catholic president. Y sin duda tendremos otro. And we'll no doubt have another. Eso es hablando de la sexta visión. Th that's talking about the sixth vision. Y ahora entrando aquí. And now la entering visión, here into the seventh vision. Aun cuando no dice que es la séptima visión, pero. Even when he doesn't avanza, say that it is the seventh vision, but he's porque continuing. En el, porque en el párrafo 16 ha traído las siete visiones progresivamente. Because in that paragraph, he's brought about the seven uh, visions continuously, bringing, up, bringing about their fulfillment. Así how they después, were fulfilled. So after. Cuando dice, después de que dice. After he says. Otro, we will no doubt have another. Dice, ¿qué es lo que nos queda? He says, what is left? Nada con la excepción de este versículo. Nothing except this verse. Y habla de Hebreos 12, versículo 26. And he talks about Hebrews 12, verse 26. Un sacudimiento en el cielo y en la tierra. A shaking in the heavens and the earth. Y hablando de eso, está entrando en la séptima visión. And talking about that, he's entering into the seventh vision. En la destrucción total de los Estados Unidos. The total destruction of the United States. Bendito sea el nombre del Señor. Blessed be the name of the Lord. En 1962. In 1962. Eso debió de haber acontecido, hermano. That should have happened, brothers. Pero no, no aconteció. Eso, But ese fue un juicio postergado. it didn't happen. That was a judgment that was delayed. Nínive. Nineveh. Había sido sentenciada. Had been sentenced total. for total destruction. Y Jonás fue exclusivamente a eso and Jonah went exclusively to that entre los gentiles among the gentiles para avisarles de esta destrucción que tomaría to warn them of this destruction that would take place y, y cuando la predicación salió and when the preaching came out muchos gentiles fueron conmovidos arrepentidos many gentiles were moved they repented gloria glory Bendito sea el nombre del Señor. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Ahora, hermano. Now, brothers. El rumbo Dios lo cambió. God changed the course. En 1962. In 1962. Y salió la orden de que todos los misiles balísticos regresaran de nuevo a la Unión Soviética. And the order went out that all of those ballistic missiles would go back to the Soviet Todas Union. Todas las tropas fueron desmanteladas. All of the troops were dismantled. 1964, hermano. In 1964, brothers, Dios le dijo a su profeta, God told his prophet, Toma la piedra y arrójala al aire. Take the rock and throw it up into the air. La costa occidental, and the western coast, ha comenzado a entrar en el juicio. Entered into judgment. Y tú te das cuenta cómo es que comenzó a fracturarse la And you realize how the western coast began to Alaska, fracture. Alaska, se hunde, hermano. like, almost sinks, brother. Casi desaparece. Almost disappears. Si ese terremoto, hermano, hubiera If that earthquake, brother, would have continued. California hubiera ido al fondo del mar. California would have sunk to the depths, the bottom of the sea. Pero qué pasó, hermano? But what happened, brothers? ¿Por qué se detuvo? Why did it stop? ¿Por qué los misiles? Why did the missiles en 62 in 1962 have to return to the Soviet Union? ¿Por qué ese terremoto solo alcanzó Alaska? Why did that earthquake only reach us so far as Alaska? Why? You had to come. You had to be here. The quickening power had to reach you. The resurrective power of Jesus Christ had to reach you. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Aleluya. Aleluya. Ahora. Now. 1965. Te das cuenta que algunos pocos gentiles. Do you realize that few Gentiles. Corrieron al altar. 
ran to the altar. Mientras el profeta estaba hablando del hundimiento de California, As the prophet was singing, was uh, preaching gentiles, about the sinking of California, some Gentiles el que caught el the, the idea, caught the concept of the imminent judgment that was going to come against California, and they ran, repented. La sentencia ya había sido dicha. The sentence had already been spoken. Por eso cuando miras aquí la séptima visión, that's why when you see the seventh vision here, la sentencia ya había sido dicha. the sentence had already been given. Por, pero en esa hora, hermano, but in that hour, brother, Dios a los God de la décima, was calling the eleventh hour workers. Pero cuando llegas al libro de Nahum, but when you reach the book of Nahum, y tú, y tú miras cómo fue evidente, hermano, and you see how it was evident, brother, la locura en que los gentiles han entrado, the insanity that the Gentiles had entered into, Y entonces mira Nahum capítulo 1. And you see Nahum chapter 1. La escritura dice que Nahum tuvo una visión. The scripture says that Nahum had a vision. Es el libro de la visión de Nahum. It's the book of the vision of Nahum. Así como Micaías la tuvo. Just like Micaiah had it. Micaiah tuvo una visión después de Elías. Micaiah had a, a vision after Elijah. Y ahora Nahum está teniendo una visión después de Jonás. And now Nahum is having a vision after Jonah. Glory al Señor. Glory to the Lord. Micaiah tuvo una visión después de la sentencia de Elías. Micaiah had a, a vision after the sentence was already uttered by Elijah. Después de la sentencia que puso sobre Acab y Jezabel. After the sentence that he set upon Ahab and Jezebel. Y entonces esos eventos que habían sido postergados. So then, these events that had been postponed, delayed. Esperando el tiempo del cumplimiento, hermano. Waiting for the time of fulfillment, brother. Así que Nahum, hermano. Nahum, brother. Tuvo una visión. He had a vision. ¿En qué tiempo Nahum tuvo esa visión? In what time did Nahum have that vision? Estaba buscando un poco eh, para entender quiénes fueron los contemporáneos de Nahum. I was searching to find out who were the contemporaries of Nahum. Y encuentro en las escrituras que Nahum estaba eh, And I find in the scriptures that Nahum contemporáneo con Isaías. was a contemporary of Isaiah. Si, si, si miras la if, profecía de, de Nahum. If you see the prophecy of Nahum, Nahum está tomando estas cosas del libro de Isaías. Nahum is taking these things from the book of Isaiah. ¿Tú sabes quién es Isaías? You know who Isaiah is. El profeta que escribió 66 capítulos. He's the prophet that wrote 66 chapters. Un tipo de la Biblia. A type of the Bible, a miniature Un Bible. Un profeta que trajo la plenitud de la palabra. A prophet that, that brought the, the fullness of the word. Y ese profeta que trajo la plenitud de la palabra. And that prophet that brought the fullness of the word. juicio a Nínive. Spoke about the judgment to Nineveh. Y después de Jonás. And after Jonah. Nahum está entrando en la visión. Nahum is entering into the vision. Tomando la del profeta que tenía la plenitud de la palabra. From the prophet that had the fullness of the word. Gloria al Señor. Glory to the Lord. Tomando la de la... De la Tomándolo de las cosas que el profeta from the things tenía la plenitud that the de prophet who had the fullness of the word spoke. Ahora, hermano, recuerda esto. Now, brother, remember this. La profecía de Nahum. Nahum's prophecy. No fue como la profecía de Jonás. Was not like Jonah's prophecy. La profecía de Jonás. Jonah's prophecy. Fue a Nínive. Was to Nineveh. Entre los gentiles. Right among the Gentiles. Pero la profecía de Nahum, but the prophecy of Nahum, él no fue a Nínive. He didn't go to Nineveh. E esa profecía, Nahum se la dio a Judá. That prophecy, Nahum gave it to Judah. Su visión, his vision, su profecía, his prophecy, acerca de Nínive, about Nineveh, Era que la, que la, la capital de los asirios, hermano. Was that the capital of the Assyrians, brother. E estos hombres eran una mezcla, hermano. These men were a mixture. Entre la gente de Babilonia. Between the people of Babylon. Y según los historiadores, esta fue la gente más perversa que pudo And according existir. to historians, these were the, the wickedest people hombres that ever terribles. existed. Terrible men. Hombres the terribles. most wicked, terrible men. Que cuando la Biblia los describe, le llama ciudad Bible sanguinaria. Describes them, it describes them as a bloody city. Eran hombres terribles. They were terrible men. Ciudad malvada. It was a, a evil city. Porque era conocido por eso. Because they were known for era this. Era un lugar terrible. They, it was a terrible place. Y tenía que ser así, hermano. And it had to be this way, brother. Para que pudiera describir. So that he could describe. A la ciudad más malvada. 
the most wicked city. Misterio Babilonia. Mystery Babylon. El Vaticano. The Vatican. Tendría que ser así para que pudiera it had to be this way completo. to describe it completely. Mira la vision. Look at the vision. Que Nahum está teniendo, hermano. That Nahum is having here. Y desde donde las, lo está tomando. And where is he having it from? Ahora, déjame decirte algo, hermano. Let me tell you something. Hablando de esta señal de la resurrección. Talking about this sign of the resurrection. Voy a tratar de correr para, para I'm going to try to run to close. I know there's another two preachers. Así que, so, que el Señor me ayude para I esto pray rápido. that the Lord helps me to close this quickly. Apocalipsis 18. Revelation 18. Habla de este ángel que descendió del cielo. Talks about this angel that came down from heaven. Y cómo entró precisamente a la guarida de Satanás. How he precisely went into the habitation of devils, the house of hell. La escritura que nosotros leímos. Stay in seat. The scripture that we read in the beginning fue Apocalipsis 17. Was Revelation 17. Hablando del ángel que tiene las siete copas. Talking about the angel that has the seven vials. Y cómo es que ese ángel le está dando a Juan. And, and how that angel is giving to John el entendimiento the del understanding of the judgment that was coming ciudad, Misterio, upon this city, Mystery Babylon. Le está dando el entendimiento de lo que va a acontecer. He's giving him the understanding of what's going to happen. Las cosas que van a tomar lugar. The things that are going to take place. Todas estas cosas ya fueron dejadas en el mensaje. All these things were already left there in the message. Todo lo que va a acontecer y lo que va a tomar Everything lugar. Everything that is going to happen and take mensaje. place was already left there in the message. Ahora acompáñame a Isaías. So now follow me to Capítulo Isaiah 10. chapter 10. Versículo 5. Verse 5. Oh, Asiria. Says, oh, Assyrian. Varia y báculo de mi furor. The rod of mine anger. En su mano he puesto mi ira. And the staff in their hand is mine in indignation. Sabes que Dios estaba usando a los Asirios para traer un juicio you, sobre Judá. You know that God was using the Assyrians to bring a judgment upon Judah? Versículo 6 dice. Verse 6 says. Le mandaré contra una nación pérfida y sobre el pueblo de mi ira le enviaré. I will send him against an, a hypocritical nation and against my against the people of my wrath will I give him a charge. Para que quite despojos y arrebate presa to y take the spoil and to take the prey and to tread them down like lodo de las calles. the mire of the streets. Aunque él no lo pensará así. Albeit he meaneth not so ni su corazón lo imaginará de esta manera. Neither doth his heart think so. Sino que su pensamiento será desarraigar y cortar naciones, But no pocas. But it is in his heart to destroy and cut off nations, not a few. Dios le permitió hacer este trabajo. God allowed them to do this against Judah. Porque él dice, mis príncipes no son todos reyes. For he saith, Are not my princes altogether kings? No es calno como Carchemis, jamás como Arpad. Is not calno as Carchemish? Is not Hamas as Arpad? Is not Samaria as Damascus? Como halló mi mano los reinos de los ídolos siendo sus imágenes más que la de As my hand hath found the kingdoms of the idols and whose graven images did excel them of Jerusalem and of Samaria. Como hice a Samaria y a sus ídolos. Shall I not, as I have done unto Samaria and her idols? No haré también así a Jerusalén y a sus ídolos. So do to Jerusalem and her idols. Pero acontecerá que después que el Señor haya acabado toda su obra en el monte de Sion. Wherefore it shall come to pass that when the Lord hath performed his whole work upon Mount Zion. Y en Jerusalén. And on Jerusalem. Castigará el furor de la soberbia del corazón del rey de Asiria. I will punish the fruit of the stout heart of the king of Assyria. Y la gloria del altivez de sus ojos. And the glory of his high looks. Tenía una labor que hacer, hermano. He had a work to do, brothers. Isaías estaba profetizando estas cosas. Isaiah was prophesying these things. Y después Nahum iba a tomar esto. 
And then Nahum was going to take this that Isaiah was talking about. Mira lo que dice el versículo 12. And look at what verse 12 says. Pero acontecerá que después que el Señor haya acabado Wherefore it shall come to pass that when the Lord hath performed his whole work upon Mount Zion and on Jerusalem, I will punish the fruit of the stout heart of the king of Assyria. Is this not the time, brothers? Is this not the season when the work of God in us is reaching its end? Is not this the hour? Brother, God was using the king of Assyria with a purpose. He was using him to align his people with the word. To bring them closer to the promise. That's why the evil of this bloody city Levantándose con toda clase de persecución. Rising up with all kind of persecution. Porque dice que serían usados hasta que termine la obra en el monte. Because it says that they would be used Jerusalem. until the work would finish in Mount Zion and on Jerusalem. Así que toda la persecución. So all of the persecution. Todo el sitio de Asiria. All of the besieging of Asiria. Estaba siendo usada con un propósito. Was being used with a purpose. Tú sabes a quién representa esta ciudad. You know who, the, who this bloody city represents in the Old Testament. It's talking about the same city in mystery in Revelation 18, Mystery Babylon. By which the, the present day politics, present day laws are being enacted. The present economic uh, system, the present health system, the present educational system. She has control of everything. Y todo eso está usado con un and propósito. all of that is being used with a purpose. Para mi obra en el Monte Sion. He says, y to perform his whole work upon Mount Zion and on Jerusalem. Por eso la maldad de esta ciudad, That's why the evil of this city, levantándose con toda clase de perversión, rising up with all kinds of perversion, contra la simiente elegida, against the elected seed, they were doing it without knowing that God was fulfilling his purpose in the elect. That's why when this pandemic rose up, and all this vaccination system, and all these changes of the laws that are taking place, and all of these restrictions coming, to prevent, to prohibit the bride from preaching. Satan thinks that with all these things, he's achieving his great plan. But Satan doesn't know that God permitted those things so the bride could be perfected, so the bride could be made ready, so the bride could be prepared. Because it says here, it's after when the Lord hath performed his work, his whole work, en el monte de Sion, y upon en Mount Zion and on Jerusalem, el fruto de la del del Rey de he will punish the fruit of the stout heart of the king of Assyria. Ahora te digo que era la de los now I'm telling you that Nineveh was the capital of the Assyrians. Y Dios está todas estas cosas. And God is allowing all these things en su mente Dios tiene un because in his mind, God has a purpose Perfeccionarse. to perfect himself, Perfeccionarnos. to perfect us. No dice eso la que la Doesn't the scripture fe, say that, that the, the trial of our faith, fe our faith being tried? Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Al Señor. Glory to the Lord! Así que, Dios tenía un propósito en los elegidos. So God had a purpose in the elect. Una vez, but once. Que tenga mis elegidos alineados a la palabra. That he has his elected aligned with the word. Entonces me encargaré de ellos. He says, then I will take care of them. Punish them. Porque dijo, versículo 13. He, verse 13, for he saith. Con el poder de mi mano lo he hecho. By the strength of my hand I have done it. Y con mi sabiduría. And by my wisdom. 
Porque he sido prudente. For I am prudent. Quité los territorios de los pueblos. And I have removed the bounds of the people. Y saqué sus tesoros. And have robbed their treasures. Y derribé como valientes a los que estaban sentados. And I have put down the inhabitants like a valiant man. Y halló mi mano como nido las riquezas de los pueblos. And it says, and my hand hath found as a nest the riches of the people. Y como se recogen los huevos abandonados. And as one gathereth eggs that are left, Así me have Yo de I la gathered all the earth. Y no hubo quien ala, ni boca, and there was ni none that moved the wing or opened the mouth or peeped. Hermano, tenía en su mano la política. Brother, she had politics in her hands. La iglesia católica tiene en sus manos the Catholic Church de en la has this, de las Naciones Unidas. this house of, of hells, this uh, demon house, the, the United Nations. No bajo el primer sello logró obtener todo el sistema religioso. Wasn't it under the, fifth, under the first seal when she obtained all of the religious systems? No bajo el segundo sello logró obtener todo el poder militar. Wasn't it under the second seal that she captured all of the military power? No bajo el tercer sello logró obtener todo el control Wasn't económico. Wasn't it under the third seal that she captured all of the economic power? Y ahora aquí que está cabalgando tiene bajo su And dominio. And now here that she's riding, she has under her dominion. Todas estas cosas. All of these things. Porque dice, y halló mi mano como nido las riquezas de los pueblos. Because it says, and my hand hath found as a nest the riches of the people. Y como se recogen los huevos abandonados, así me And as one gathereth eggs that are left, have I gathered all the earth. Y no hubo quien moviese ala ni... And there was ni none that moved the wing nazi. or opened the mouth or peeped. ¿Quién puede decir algo cuando las leyes están siendo cambiadas? Who can speak against when the laws are being changed? ¿Quién ¿Quién peleará contra la bestia? Who can fight against the beast? Who can make war with the beast? Tomó el control de todo. She took control of everything. Pero todo esto que estaba But haciendo. But all this that she was doing, cosas, conquering all these things. En la mente de Dios, hermano. In the Observa. mind of God, brother. Watch él this. Dijo, Hasta que perfeccione. He said, until Hasta que acabe mi I perform my work upon Mount en Zion Jerusalem. and on Jerusalem. Aleluya. Aleluya. Gloria. Glory. Mientras tiene todo el poder militar. In the meantime, she has all political militar, power, military po power. Her military arm was able to, to knock down dictators. En su sabiduría de tácticas, ungió a los dictadores. And in her, in her tactical uh, a las guerras. knowledge, she anointed dictators and led the world to wars. Produjo una pandemia mundial. She produced a global pandemic. Abrió el paso para la prueba del mundo. She opened the path for the testing of the world. And she thinks, I am being so wise. I have control of all these things. But in the mind of God, he says, all of this is because I want to perfect my people. I want my work to be performed in Mount Zion. Verse 15. Con ella corta? Shall the axe boast itself against him that heweth therewith? Se ensorbecerá la sierra contra el que la cuts with it? Or shall the saw magnify itself against him that shaketh it? Como si el báculo levantase al que lo levanta? As if the rod should shake itself against them that lift it up? Como si levantase la vara al que no es leño? Or as if the staff should lift up itself as it as if it were no wood? Por esto el Señor Jehová de los ejércitos. Therefore shall the Lord, the Lord of hosts, Enviará debilidad sobre los robustos. Send among his fat ones leanness. Y debajo de su gloria encenderá una hoguera. And under his glory he shall kindle. Como ardor de fuego. A burning like the burning of a fire. Y la luz de Israel será por fuego. And the light of Israel shall be for a fire. Y su santo por llama. And his holy one for a flame. Y abraza y consume en un día. And it shall burn and devour his thorns and his briars in one day. La gloria de su bosque y de su campo. And shall consume. Fértil consumirá totalmente. The glory of his forest and of his fruitful field, both soul cuerpo, and body. Y vendrán a ser como... Y vendrán a ser como... And they shall be... Abanderado en derrota. As when a standard bearer fainteth. Estas son las cosas que Isaías estaba profetizando. These were the things that Isaiah was prophesying. Y Nahum entró en esa visión. And Nahum entered into that vision. Todas estas cosas, hermano. All these things, brother. Habían sucedido a causa de que Judá. Happened because Judah vendido. had sold itself. 
y se había apartado and had separated itself de la palabra de Dios. Se había from the word of God and had entered into sobre, customs, the customs of these men. Hermano. You find, I know there's not enough time, brother. Pero tú puedes entrar en Segunda de Reyes, capítulo 16. But you can enter into 2 Kings, chapter 16. And you will find the condition llegaron, that they reached. Al punto que ellos llegaron a pagar impuestos. To the point where they were paying taxes. Porque se habían aliado. Because they had become se allies. Por medio, they sold por themselves medio. out of fear. A los asirios. To the Assyrians. They paid por tributes. They sold themselves out of fear. And they adopted their customs and their worship, their idolatry. They completely left the word. And God gave them up into the hands of the Assyrians. And here in Isaiah we find that the Lord himself said that he would take a hold of them until God's purpose to perform his work in, upon Mount Zion and on Jerusalem would be finished. Glory, al Señor. Glory to the Lord. Por eso, miras la de Nahum, That's why when you see Nahum's vision, a Judá, God was telling Judah, tu está your deliverance is coming. Les está hermano, because he's pointing out to them, brother, listen. Les está una parte en el he's pointing del out to them a part in the message palabra. of the prophet that brought about the, the, the fullness of the word. Algo que muchos no estaban viendo. Something that many were not looking at. Les está algo que va a He's una pointing to them at something that that prophet with the fullness of the word was bringing. Something that would bring the deliverance of the people. Because now he's saying your deliverance has come. Esa de de será that bloody city will be destroyed. Ha su Her judgment has come. Y, y Nahum captó la visión, hermano. And Nahum caught the vision, brother. And began to prophesy it. Tomando lo que ya había dicho ese profeta. Taking what that prophet had already said. Que había traído la plenitud de la palabra. Who brought the fullness of the word. Gloria al Señor. Glory to the Lord. Hablando de Isaías. Speaking, talking about Isaiah. Ahora, hermano, esta profecía de Nahum. Now, brother, this prophecy of Nahum. Está tomando lugar precisamente en los días del asedio is taking place precisely in the Cuando days of the besiegement, when all the things are, are squeezing, Inaum pressuring. La la Nahum Dios, brought the vision of the wrath of God, El que se había the judgment that had been delayed, Jonás, that should have taken place in the days of Jonah, no but it didn't take place because there were Gentiles that could repent. But now here we find the same people. Que se convirtió en los días de Jonás. They converted back in the days of Jonah. Y ahora están aquí. And now they're here. Y hay hombres como Nahum. And there are men like Nahum. Señalando cosas que estaban en el mensaje de ese profeta. Pointing out things that were in the message of that prophet that brought the fullness of the word. Our Isaiah. Y ese Isaías había profetizado un tiempo de liberación. And that Isaiah had prophesied a time of deliverance for Judah. Gloria. Glory. Bendito sea el nombre del Señor. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Y ahora aquí están bajo el asedio. And now they're here being besieged. En los días del profeta Jonás. In the days of the prophet Jonah. El profeta con la señal de la resurrección. The prophet with the resurrection sign. Un profeta fugitivo. A, a runaway prophet. Al cual Dios tuvo que cambiarle el sentir. That God had to change his, his feeling. Ese profeta mostró que el his juicio. thinking. That prophet showed that judgment that was coming upon them, Hermano, y las siete copas, brother, and the seven vials, fueron, fueron, fueron reveladas por nuestro profeta, they were revealed by our prophet, por el mensaje de nuestro profeta, by the message of our prophet. Y Mica, y, y, y Nahum captó and Nahum caught la parte, the part de la visión de la ira de Dios. of the vision of the wrath of God. Cosas things que muchos no están comprendiendo. that many are not understanding. Pero, pero a Nahum le tocó profetizar la parte misteriosa. But Nahum had to prophesy the mysterious part. La parte secreta de la ira de Dios. The secret part of the wrath of God. Podemos hablar edades. We can talk about ages. Podemos hablar de sellos. We can talk about seals. Pero entrar la parte misteriosa de la ira de Dios. Entering into the mysterious part of the wrath of God. Es entrar en trompetas y copas. Means entering into trumpets and vials. 
Y Nahum tuvo esa visión. And Nahum had that vision. Después de Jonás. After Jonah. Porque la encontró. Because he found it in the message of the prophet that brought the fullness of the word, our Isaiah. Because all those things were already there in the message. Trumpets and vials, seals, trumpets, vials, all of that is in the message. All of that was already spoken, it was already revealed. Who gave those things to John, to the bride? In, Apocalipsis 18, in Revelation 18, el angel de las copas, the angel with the vials, perdón, Apocalipsis 17, or forgive me, Revelation 17, el angel de las copas, the angel with the vials, está revelando el juicio a la ciudad sanguinaria, is revealing the judgment to the bloody virtual. city, to the present-day Nineveh. Lo está revelando. He's revealing it. Porque Apocalipsis capítulo 1, Because Revelation chapter 1 que este libro de Apocalipsis, shows that this book of Revelation tiene una manera de ser traído has a way of being brought ¿Y a quién les and, and to whom it is being given. Apocalipsis uno muestra Revelation 1 shows que estas verdades, Dios las envió por that these de truths Juan. God sent them by his angel to his servant John. Así que aquí está hablando en particular so here it's speaking specifically de un ángel y de Juan. of an angel and John. El misterio vino a un ángel, the a un mystery profeta. came to an angel, to a prophet. Y de ese profeta, el and out of that Juan. prophet, that the mystery went to John. Nadie más iba a esa no one else was going to receive that truth. El de las de the las mystery copas, of the trumpets, of the vials, seals. of the seals. Esas cosas no Those things nadie más más were not given to anyone else but a prophet. Y del profeta, and Juan. after the prophet, to John. Juan era el que tenía que John was the one that had to receive it afterwards. En 18, In Revelation 18, you find... A ese mismo ángel que fue that same por Dios, angel that was sent by God, profeta, our prophet, con la señal de la going in with the resurrection sign Nineveh. to Nineveh. Eso es 18. That's Revelation 18. Bendito sea el nombre del Señor. Blessed be the name of the Lord. ¿Dónde es que estaban estas verdades? Where were these truths? Mira aquí, Apocalipsis 8. Look here, Hablando Revelation uh, 8, talking about the seventh seal. Y llegando a la última parte. And reaching the last part. Porque no hay manera. Because there's no way. De encontrar las cosas que van a acontecer. To find the things that are going to take place. Del mensaje. Outside of the message. Estas cosas estaban en el mensaje. These things were in the message. Apocalipsis 8. So let us go to Revelation 8. 13. Verse 13. Y miré y oí un ángel volar. And I beheld and heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven. Esta es más bien un this expression is rather a, a, an eagle flying. Un an eagle flying. Volar por el medio del cielo. An angel Diciendo flying through the midst voz. of heaven, saying with a loud voice, ay, ay, ay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. De los que moran en la tierra, a causa de to los the inhabitants of the earth, trompeta, by reason of the other voices of the trumpet of the three ángeles. angels, which are yet to sound. Así que el de los so the mystery of the last three woes, por medio del de un ángel que they were through the, the ministry of an angel that, that flew, that was flying. Mm. Otra vez, hermano? Había un solo querubín. There was only one cherubim. En los cuatro seres vivientes, in the four living creatures que podía volar, that could fly. Y ese fue el séptimo ángel, and that was the seventh angel al cual se le fue entregado todos los misterios, to whom all the mysteries were given. Amen. Amen. ¿Quién es este ángel aquí, volando, Who is this angel here flying tiene el misterio de los últimos tres that has the mystery of the last three woes? ¿Quién es este ángel? Who is this angel? Apocalipsis, capítulo uno, dice que los Revelation 1 este says that the mysteries of this book le fueron entregados were sent al ángel que él envió to the, by the angel that he sent. Y hay uno solo el que, el que puede abrir estas verdades. And there's only one that can open these truths. Cuando vino a la fiesta de las trompetas, when he came to the feast of the trumpets, él fue el único que pudo conectar el primer ay he was the only one that could connect the first mundial. woe to the conflict of the first world war. Él fue el único que pudo conectar he was the only de la one that could connect the año. events of the Second World War to the Second World. And he spoke to us about all these things. 
Y entonces nos habló del último ay. And then he spoke to us about the last woe. And the things that were going to take place. ¿Quién está recibiendo estas cosas? Who's receiving these things? Juan, John, este the Nahum of this day. El Nahum de este día puede encontrar the Nahum que of this day could find what the Isaiah of this day gave to him, el angel que vuela, what was que given to him, the flying calles. angel that has the mystery of the last three woes. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. El the last woe no, no el último hay está alineado a la, al, al derramar de las siete copas. Isn't the last woe connected to the pouring out of the seven vials? Será diferente el ángel que vuela al ángel de las copas. Is the angel, is the flying angel here different than the angel with the seven vials? El que muestra los tres hayes al ángel que muestra. Is the angel that shows the three copas. woes different from the angel that shows the pouring of the vials? Because when you reach Revelation 1, there's only cosas. one that can understand these things. Ahora este ángel está aquí, Now this angel is here in Revelation 8 under the seventh seal. Así que bajo el sello, so under the seventh seal, no there was haciendo. something that many were not seeing. Y era el misterio, la parte and it was the mystery, the Dios. mysterious part of the wrath of God. Que está bajo los hayes. That is under the woes. Y bajo las copas. And under the vials. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Al Señor. Glory to the Lord. Bendito sea el nombre del Señor. Blessed be the name Hermano, of the Lord. Verdad, Brother, and with that truth, Nahum, comenzó a profetizar. Nahum began to prophesy. Nahum, comenzó a traer su verdad. Nahum began to bring his truth. Diciendo, diciéndole al pueblo, a Judá, Saying to the people, to Judah, your deliverance is nigh. Ha llegado el día del juicio a la ciudad derramadora de sangre. The day of judgment to the bloody city has come. Woe to the bloody city. Nahum, captó la visión. Nahum caught the vision y comenzó a profetizarlo. and he began to prophesy Tomándolo it, desde allí, hermano. taking it from there, brother. Ahora mira, voy a correr rápido, hermano. Look, I'm going to run quickly, Acompáñame brother. A 36. Go with me to Isaiah 36. ¿En que, en que estaba Judá? You see uh, what Judah was under. El asedio en que Judá se encontraba. You see how Judah was sieged. Aconteció en el año 14 del rey Ezequías. Now it came to pass in the 14th year of King Hezekiah. Sennacherib, rey de Asiria, subió contra todas las ciudades fortificadas de Judá y las tomó. King of Assyria came up against all the defense cities of Judah and took them. Y el rey de Asiria envió a los asesinos con un gran ejército. And the king of Assyria sent Rabshakeh from Lachish to Jerusalem unto King Hezekiah with a great army. Y acampó junto al acueducto de la And he stood by the conduit of the upper pool in the highway. En el camino de la edad del lavador. The fuller field. Y salió a él, Eliakim, hijo de Ilcías, and then he came forth unto him Eliakim, Hilkiah's son, which was over the house. No le escucho, hermano Alfredo. No le escucho. Glory al Señor. Glory to the Lord. Ahora sí ya, hermano. Hijo Ab. And Shebna, the scribe, and Joa. Hijo de Asab, canciller. Asaph's son, the recorder. A los cuales dijo el Rapsacés, decida ahora. And Rabshakeh said unto them, Say ye now to Hezekiah. El rey de Asira, de Asira, Thus saith the great king, the king of Assyria. ¿Qué confianza es esta en que What confidence pones? is this wherein thou trustest? Ve el atrevimiento, hermano. You see how bold he is? Esta es la escena aquí. How he dares to say this? This is the scene. Here, this is the season, brother, where Judah had to be woken up in the midst of, of being besieged when Sennacherib, king of Assyria, who has Nineveh as his capital, the bloody city. He, look at how he comes. Sennacherib. And, and look at the, the confidence that he has. Or, or he's asking, what confidence is this wherein thou trustest? Y poderío para la guerra. I de say, sayest thou, but they are but vain words. I have counsel and strength for war. Now on whom dost thou Ahora trust bien. that thou rebellest against me? ¿En quién confías para rebelarte contra mí? On whom dost thou trust mira, that thou rebellest against me? Look at the attitude of Sennacherib, brother. Vio a Judá. He saw Judah. ¿En quién confías? And he's saying, who do you trust in? Fuerza de quién viene? Where does your strength come from? Tu fuerza y lo que tú dices y reclamas como ejército son más que palabras. The strength palabrería. that you say that you have, it's nothing but vain words. No son más que palabras vacías. But they are but vain words, he says. Ahora, ahora bien, ¿en quién confías 
para que te now, contra Now, on mí. whom dost thou trust that thou rebellest against me? Mira este sistema, hermano. Look at this system, brother. De Nínive. Of Nineveh. Sitiando a Judá. That is besieging El Judah. El apretando. The council squeezing, the laws squeezing, taking away our rights para reunirnos, to, to gather para even, to, to para congregate, to worship God. ¿En quién confías, dice? And they say, on whom do you trust? Yo que lo que tú dices son puras I, I believe that what you say are just vain words. Who are you trusting in? Y poderío para la guerra de que tú hablas. No son más que palabras vacías. I say, sayest thou, but they are but vain words. I have counseled and strength for war. Que el tercer jalón estará aquí para ayudarte en el tiempo de la prueba. Yo pienso que son puras palabras. You say that the third pull would be here to help you in, in the hour of temptation. They are nothing but vain words. You see how Satan dares to say this? Rebelarte contra mí. Now on whom dost thou trust that thou rebellest against me? Este báculo de caña frágil en Egipto. Lo, thou trustest in the staff of this broken reed on Egypt. Quien se apoyase, se le, enter, se le entrará por la mano y lo, atrevas, y lo atrevasará. Whereon if a man lean, it will go into his hand and pierce it. So is Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Para con todos los que en él confían. To all that trust in him. A nuestro Dios confiamos. Hermano, se está cortando un poco el audio otra vez. ¿Me escucha ahí, hermano? Sí, hermano. Si me dices, But if thou say to me, confiamos. we trust in the Lord our God, no es este aquel cuyo is it not he altos, whose high places and whose altars y cuyos altares hizo quitar Ezequías, and whose Judá, altars Hezekiah hath taken away and said to Judah and to Jerusalem, ye shall, worship, ye shall worship before this altar? Luego, now therefore give pledges, I pray thee, to my master, the king of Assyria, and I will give thee two thousand horses, if thou be able on thy part to set riders upon them. You see this proposition? This proposition of an alliance with Nineveh? That's why Nahum is saying it shall be destroyed. It will be finished because the, this besiege was happening. ¿Cómo pues podrá resistir a un capitán? How then will thou turn away the face of one captain? Al menor de los siervos Of the least señor, of my master's servants. Que estés confiando en Egipto, and put thy trust on Egypt. Con sus carros y sus For chariots and for horsemen. ¿Acaso vine yo ahora? And am I now come up without the Lord? Para destruirla sin Against llorar? this land to destroy it? ¿Ves? You see, they came to understand that this authority was given to them by God. The Lord said unto me, go up against this land and destroy it. Then said Eliakim and Shebna and Joah unto Rabshakeh. siervos en Arameo, nosotros lo entendemos. ¿Se cortó otra vez, hermano? Versículo 11. Entonces dijeron Eliakim y Verse 11. Then said Eliakim and Shebna y Joa and Joa unto Rabshaka te rogamos que hables a tus speak, I pray thee, Arameo, unto thy servants in the Syrian language for we understand it y no hablamos con and speak en not to Judá, us in the Jews' language in the ears of the people that are on the wall. Así que, hermano, Dios so, brother, God had to use a different language, Un an encrypted language. Hay estas cosas While these things are besieging, there's an encrypted language that some have to hear. Entonces, dijeron, Eliakib, but Eliakib, Eliakim, no, perdón, versículo 12, verse 12, y dijo el Rapsacés, but Rabshakeh said, ¿Acaso me envía Hath my master sent me to thy master and to thee to speak these words? Hath he not sent me to the men that sit upon the wall, that they may eat their own dung and drink their own piss with you? Then Rabshakeh stood and cried with a loud voice in the Jews' language, and said, Hear ye the words of the great king, the king of Assyria. 
Thus saith the king, Let not Hezekiah deceive you, for he shall not be able to deliver you. Neither let Hezekiah make you trust in the Lord, saying, The Lord will surely deliver us. This city shall not be delivered into the hand of the king of Assyria. Hearken not to Hezekiah, for thus saith the king of Assyria, Make an agreement with me by a present, and come out to me, and eat ye every one of his vine, and every one of his fig tree, and drink ye every one of the waters of his own cistern. Para comprarlos, this para was designed para que se to buy them, to make them bow. Pero mira, mira la de Nahum. The siege, look, look at the prophecy of Nahum, saying viene. the judgment is coming against this city. Ahora ir al 37 now let's go quickly to chapter 37, brother. Uno. Verse 1. Isaiah 37, and it came to pass when King Hezekiah heard it, that he rent his clothes and covered himself with sackcloth and went into the house of the Lord. And he sent Eliakim, who was over the household, and Shebna the scribe, and the elders of the priests covered with sackcloth unto Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos. And they said unto him, Thus saith Hezekiah, This day is a day of trouble, and of rebuke, and of blasphemy. That's this day. What point was the siege reaching? Look at how far the pressure of the squeeze reached. Otra vez, hermano? They've reached all the way to the point los hijos han hasta el punto for the children are come to the birth de nacer. and se, se volvió a cortar, hermano? Los hijos han hasta el punto de nacer. For the children are come to the birth y las que dan a luz, there is not strength no tienen fuerzas. to bring forth. ¿Dónde encuentras eso? Where do you find that? Hay una apretura aquí. There's a squeeze here. Se volvió a cortar, hermano. No le escuché. No le escucho. Allí, hermano. Ahí, ya. Yeah. Hay una apretura aquí. There is a squeeze here. Otra vez, hermano. Se volvió a cortar. No le escucho. Judá. Otra vez. Asiria sitiando Judá. It's Assyria besieging Judah. Una apretura. A squeeze. Otra vez, mi hermano. Y mira lo que están diciendo. And look at what they are saying. There. Quizás es el micrófono, hermano. Hallelujah. Sí, hermano. Los hijos están para nacer. The children are come to the birth, luz, no and there fuerza. is not strength to bring forth. Este es el otro hijo. Si quieres, tráemelo. Para nacer. The children are come to the birth, y la que da luz no tiene fuerzas. and there is not strength to bring forth. ¿Dónde encuentras eso, hermano? Where do we find this, brother? Apocalipsis capítulo 12. That's in Revelation 12. Encuentras a la mujer. You find the woman. En una apretura. In a squeeze. En dolores de parto. In birth pains. Esperando el nacimiento del hijo. To be delivered. Cuando el dragón está persiguiendo. When the dragon is persecuting her. Quizás oirá Jehová tu Dios las palabras del rapsacés. It may be the Lord thy God will hear the words of Rapshaka, whom the king of Assyria his master hath sent, to reproach the living God, and will reprove the words which, which the Lord thy God hath heard. Wherefore lift up thy prayer for the remnant that is left. So the servants of King Hezekiah came to Isaiah, and Isaiah said unto them, Thus shall ye say unto your master, 
Thus saith the Lord, Be not afraid of the words that thou hast heard, wherewith the servants of the king of, As of Assyria have blasphemed me. Behold, I will send a blast upon him, and he shall hear a rumor and return to his own land, and I will cause him to fall by the sword in his own land. So God had spoken this. God had announced these things in that besieging to Judah. Now, brother, this vision of Nahum, of the seventh seal in this hour, it has to say, it has to say, after the days of Jonah, exactly the same thing that Nahum said back then. Let's say it again. The Nahum of this day has to repeat what the Nahum of back then said after Jonah. If we say anything different to what Nahum spoke, we would be false. If we prophesy that there's going to be a better day, a better time, and we compromise with what has been spoken to us, we will be false. Glory to the Lord. Everything is being locked down. If we say anything different from what Micaiah said with respect to Ahab, after the days of Elijah, we would be false. This is what we should be saying to show that we are the bride, that the judgment to the bloody city is coming, the end of Nineveh is coming, that Judah shall be free, even when she's being besieged, even when we are being placed in pressure, all these things are so that God could perform the work upon Mount Zion and in Jerusalem. So Nahum entered into the vision of the judgment of the wrath of God and began to announce it to create an expectation in Judah that our time of escape is at hand, that it's, it's not so long from now, that the Lord, His promises do not delay much, that this is riding quickly to a climax where we are about to leave here, brother. Glory to the Lord. Now let me try to close here. Judah was being besieged. They were being squeezed. And they were resisting up to the last moment. Resisting to the end. And Nahum was saying these things. All is finished. All the visions are fulfilled. There is only the fulfillment of the seventh vision left. It's promised that Nineveh will be destroyed. And he began to speak about those things, creating in the people faith for this hour of the squeeze. Glory to the Lord. Nothing is left. Nineveh, Nineveh will be destroyed. Thus saith the Lord, your doors shall be opened and your enemies will come in. Who saw the judgment of the wrath of God? Revelation 17, 1 shows that John received the vision of the wrath of God through the angel of the vials. Hallelujah! Revelation 6, 7 uh, talks about the fourth living creature. John saw the sentence of the bloody city. He also saw the preparation of the bride, the lamb's wife. He saw her, made herself ready for the flight. Glory to the Lord. Have you ever thought, brother? When the prophet is speaking the message choosing of a bride, and he was showing the season when Isaac and Rebekah would meet in the air, and it's precisely there where the Holy Spirit says, 
Oh, ciudad de Los Ángeles. Oh, city of Los Angeles. Estarás en el fondo del mar. You will be in the bottom of the sea. ¿Por qué ese terremoto, hermano? Because that earthquake, brother. Marca la hora de nuestra salida y nuestra reunión con nuestro Isaac. Denotes the hour of our departure and our meeting with Isaac. Con él. Our gathering with him. Los santos serán levantados. When the saints shall rise. Y nosotros los que habemos quedado seremos And we that are alive and remain will be transformed in the twinkling of an eye. Aleluya. Aleluya. Ahora, si miras Apocalipsis 12, Now, if you see Revelation 12, la de la cual habla en el talking 37, about the condition that Isaiah is talking about in chapter 37, because the church was, was in that condition, Los hijos están por nacer. the children are about to be born, y va a dar a luz no tiene and the one that is travailing in pain to, to be delivered is, is, doesn't Hay have the strength, because she's being besieged. There is a, a, a persecution around her. Aleluya. Hallelujah! Pero Apocalipsis 12, a fence hermano. around her. But Hablando Revelation 12, escritura. brother, talking about that scripture, sea el del Señor. blessed be the name of the Lord. De las en los cielos. It's talking about the, the wonders in heaven, Para que la the signs sea for the church to be raptured Habla away. La señal en el cielo. It talks about the, the signs in the Para heaven que la sea for the church to be raptured y de la señal en el cielo del and of the del sign in, in the, the heaven tierra. and talks about the movement of the dragon here on the ver, earth. Hermano. Let me run, brother, here. Message Shalom, párrafo 31. Message Shalom, paragraph 31. I'm a bit nervous now. Bueno, ahora nos damos cuenta que Dios siempre muestra las cosas en el cielo. He says, well, now we realize that God always Antes shows things in the heaven tierra. before he shows them on the earth. Como los magos que siguieron la estrella. Like the wise men followed the star. Y así una señal and so forth. A heavenly sign takes place first. Después lo terrenal vindica then the la earthly señal vindicates the heavenly sign. Dios trata. God deals y obra en señales, or works in signs, y signs and wonders. Las señales deben de seguir a los They are to follow believers everywhere. Así que hay una señal en Apocalipsis so there is a sign in Revelation 12 in the hour of the rapturing away of the church when the children are about to be born and the one that is in pain to be delivered doesn't have the strength. There's a wonder in heaven, a sign in heaven of an event that would take place on the earth because the prophet says first he shows it in the heavens and then that will happen. It'll take place. Hallelujah. Ahora, Now, así que los astros celestes están mostrando cosas aquí. The, the wonders in heaven lugar. are showing signs of events that should take place here. Por eso Apocalipsis 12 muestra la señal de la iglesia siendo raptada. That's why Revelation 12 shows the sign of the church being raptured and receiving eagle wings, hijo. giving birth to the sun. Pero también muestra la apretura en la que sería metida. But it also shows the squeeze that she would be placed in. And right there in Revelation 12, in verse 14, we don't have time to read it. Pero te encuentras ahí que ella recibe You find there that she receives help. No solo de las alas de águila. Not only from the eagle wings. Sino que dice que la tierra aún la ayudó. But it says that even the earth helped her. Y abrió su boca la tierra y la ayudó. Open its mouth and helped her. Because that is an earthquake. It's an earthquake in the hour when the church needs to be raptured. And you know, brother, that when Jesus Christ and the saints of the Old Testament were raised up, the earth opened. There was an earthquake. But there was also a sign in the heavens. A sign in heaven, and then the earth helped. So the saints could come out. And then all of the Old Testament was raised up. Hallelujah! And now here, when you read Isaiah, he gives this commission and Nahum prophesying of it. Del juicio que viene, de la destrucción of the judgment that's coming, the destruction that's coming. Y aquí encontramos una señal celestial. And here we find a heavenly sign. Ahora, hermano, Genesis 1, 14, hermano. Now, oh, brother, Genesis 1, 14. Nervioso, hermano. I'm nervous, brother. Genesis 1, 14, abra, Genesis 1, 14 las estrellas fueron puestas, talks about how the stars, the, the lights were placed temporadas. as signs. To divide the seasons. Pero la palabra tiempos ahí utilizada en Génesis 1:14. The word in Genesis 1:14. Es la palabra hebrea que significa Moabín. Is the Hebrew word Moabín. 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 Y esa palabra no significa tiempos como estaciones como otoño, invierno. And that invierno, word verano, doesn't mean palabra. times as seasons like summer, winter, fall. Sino que esa palabra tiempos. But that word seasons 
convocación a solemnidades. Means convocation to, to solemn, a solemn convocation. Listen, brother. Esta palabra aquí puesta como tiempos es This word una here convocación. is a convocation. El tiempo de ser convocado. The time to be invited, the time to be gathered. Gloria. Glory. Significa tiempos de reunión. It means a time of gathering. Tiempos de solemnidades. A time of, of, of solemnity. Sabes que Israel tuvo siete fiestas. You know that Israel had seven feasts. Y las siete fiestas fueron gobernadas. And the seven feasts were ruled by the seasons. En las cosechas para venir a adorar In a Dios. In the harvest to come to worship God. Así que las, las señales en los cielos so the signs in the heavens, y los tiempos and the seasons, no fue para distinguir el otoño, el invierno, el verano, not to distinguish la summer from fall and spring, sino para discernir el tiempo but de la reunión. Pero era para discernir el tiempo de nuestra reunión. ¡Aleluya! ¡Aleluya! Sino para discernir el tiempo de nuestro reunión. It was to discern the time of our gathering. And when you go to Revelation 12, the woman caught the time of her departure. The time of our gathering. The time of our departure from this world. Aleluya. So these signs were placed in the heavens to know the time of our gathering. Ahora, hermano, en el lenguaje profético, hablando Now, brother, de siete in the fiestas, prophetic language, speaking about these seven feasts, Gloria al Señor. Glory to the Lord. Aleluya. 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 Hermanos, falta pila aquí. Brothers, the battery here. Aleluya. Aleluya. Ay, Dios mío. Oh, Alaben my Lord. Dios, Worship God, brothers. Alaben a Dios. Praise God. Gloria. Glory. Aleluya. Aleluya. Gloria al Señor. Glory to the Lord. Aleluya. Aleluya. No dejen de adorar, hermanos. Don't stop adorando. worshiping him. Dele Keep praising him. Gracias, Brothers, give Padre. thanks to God. Say thank you, Father. Aleluya. 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 Cuánta dificultad. Look at all these difficulties. Pero bueno, creemos que Dios está en control de todo. But we believe that God is in control of everything. Ahora hablando de las fiestas. Now talking about the feasts. Eh, en la parte profética de esto. In the prophetic part of this. Porque te estoy diciendo que because I'm telling you that lumbrera, las estrellas, the lights, the stars señales. were set as a sign. La, pero la palabra hebrea, moadim, let them be for signs. No but the Hebrew word como estaciones, does not invierno. mean seasons as summer, winter, fall. Sino que eso fue puesto para conocer el tiempo de la reunión. Cuando but that Dios was convoca. placed there to know the time of gathering, to see when God cuando gathers, llama, when he invites, when God is, is calling a convocation. Ahora, si de esas siete y ese Now, if profético, we talk about those seven feasts and we bring about that prophetic en language, en what in what solemnity in what convocation in what feast are we in in the prophetic part of these seven feasts where are we in are we in the easter are we in the first fruits are we in the feast of pentecost where are we or are we in the mysterio triple in the threefold mystery of the feast of the seventh month where are we Porque estamos aquí después del sonar de dos because we're here after the sounding of two silver trumpets en la y gran fiesta, en la fiesta in the de los last great feast the feast of the tabernacles estamos bajo el misterio triple de las we are del under the threefold mystery of the seventh rapto. month feast Así que estas señales son puestas the time of the rapture so these signs are placed in the heavens to know the season of our convocation es Pablo, of our gathering because this is what paul says in first thessalonians cinco, chapter 5 de cinco, first thessalonians 5 glory, al Señor. glory to the lord porque acerca de los tiempos y de las ocasiones 
He says, but of the times and the seasons, brethren, we have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. So there's no need to explain these things because the worshipers, they know the time of the gathering, of the convocation, the hour of our departure, the hour of our departure. Brothers, these signs are related to the coming of the Lord. I promise you, I'm closing here. Look at Luke 21. Luke 21, verse 25. It says, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. This part, brother, is the reactivation of the sixth seal. Because the sixth seal is latent. It is, it is quieted. Many brothers don't understand that a great portion of the sixth seal is already fulfilled. Because every trumpet that sounds, sounds under the sixth seal. But this part here has to do with the end, the end of the Gentiles. This earthquake is a change in dispensation, just as it was then in the first coming. When he turned from the Gentile because of an earthquake, through an earthquake, and how he turns to the Jews, it's through an earthquake. So here, when you read this part here, Revelation 12 and Luke 21, 25, they're talking about the same thing. A sign in the heavens and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. That is what Nahum was saying. Look, brother. Oh, my God. Look here, Nahum. Glory to the Lord. Nahum. Nahum. Verse 3. It says, The Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. The Lord hath his way in the whirlwind and in the storm and the clouds are the dust of his feet. That's what Nahum was talking about. Nahum is saying, God is coming. The destruction is coming. Our salvation is coming. He comes in the clouds. And he says, the dust. The clouds are the dust of his feet. Verse 15 now. Nahum 1, 15. Behold upon the mountains, the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publisheth peace. O Judah, keep thy solemn feasts. I'm telling you, signs in the heavens for a gathering, to know our time of gathering, to celebrate our solemn feasts, to celebrate the Feast of the Tabernacles, to go out in a rapture. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Glory al Señor! Glory to the Lord! Esto es aquí el sexto, el sexto sello. This is here the sixth seal. Es la resurrección. The resurrection. El terremoto. The earthquake. La séptima visión. The seventh vision. Que nuestro Jonás. That our Jonah. Tuvo y vio. Had and saw. Y lo, mas, lo manifestó como una señal de la resurrección. And he manifested it as a sign of the resurrection. A sign in the heavens. Glory, al Señor. Glory to the Lord. Now keep in mind Revelation 12. I'm closing, brother. Because I'm talking about Nineveh, the destruction of Nineveh. 
and how Judah will be delivered. Even when they are squeezing so much, God promised to bring a deliverance for us. Brother, I don't know if you have heard. I believe you have. I believe you have heard this. There's an eclipse that is approaching. April 8th. Otra vez cayendo exactamente en la temporada de las elecciones en los Estados Unidos. Again in the time of the elections in the United States. Así como fue hace siete años. Just as it was seven years ago. Un eclipse solar que cruzó todo Estados Unidos. A solar eclipse that went over all of the United States. Y ahora está llegando aquí nuevamente después de siete años. And now it's coming here again after seven years. Para cruzar otra vez los Estados Unidos. To cross the land of the United States again. De lado a lado. From coast to coast. Entrará por México. It's going to go through Mexico. Texas. Texas. Y lleg y lleg y llegará, and it'll reach. Por Nueva York, it'll go through New York. Y por último, llegará a Canada. And finally, we'll reach Canada. Hay, hay, hay una imagen, no sé si There's an image. I don't know if se pudiera ver. you could Esto see it there. Es una imagen del recorrido, hermano. This is an image of por the path cual... of it. Esta es una imagen del recorrido por el cual An image of the path el eclipse solar. that the, the solar eclipse will go through. Ahora el 8 de abril. In April 8th. Entrando primeramente por Texas en un lugar First que se llama going Jonas. through Texas in a place that is called Jonah, Texas. Y avanzará, hermano. And will advance, brother. Por otro lugar llamado Through Nineveh. another place called Nineveh, Texas. Siete lugares. Seven places. Que se llama Nineveh. Named Nineveh. Y entonces cruzará el, el eclipse. And then the eclipse will pass. ¿Piensas que esto es una casualidad, hermano? Do you think this is a coincidence, brother? Mi pregunta es. My question is. No habrá llegado el tiempo. Is it not the time? Para que Nínive. For Nineveh. Destruida? To be destroyed? No será tal vez esta nuestra última reunión. Could this not be our last meeting? Recuerda, hermano. Remember, una brother. Que Jonás entró Once Jonah. A Nínive went into Nineveh. No quedaron más que 40 días. There weren't more than 40 days left. No quedaron más que 40 días. There weren't more than 40 days left. Aquella Nineveh se arrepintió. That Nineveh repented. Esta Nineveh ya está fuera del día de su gracia. This Nineveh is already past Porque its day of grace because they have rejected. Ellos rechazaron. They rejected. ¿En qué hora estamos viviendo, hermano? What hour are we living in, brothers? Que Dios nos ayude. May God help us. La visión de Nahum. Nahum's vision. El juicio viene. The judgment is coming. Y, y Nínive será destruida. And Nineveh will be destroyed. Pero tú, Judá. But you, Judah. Tu liberación está a la mano. Your deliverance is at hand. El que te oprimía. The one that oppressed you. No tendrá más poder sobre ti. Shall have no more strength against you. Celebra tus festividades. Celebrate your feasts. Porque viene Jehová. Because the Lord is coming. Que cabalga como guerrero. Riding as a warrior. Y las nubes son el polvo de, de sus pies. And the clouds are the dust of his feet. Bendito los pies. Blessed are the feet. <laughs> Aleluya. Aleluya. Celebra, oh Judá, tus festividades. Celebrate, Judah. Keep thy solemn feasts. Aleluya. Aleluya. Gloria al Señor. Glory to the Lord. Dios les bendiga, hermanos. God bless you, brothers. Espero poder, I hope espero haber podido ayudar en algo. that I was able to help with something y que esto que se habló pudiera and that this that was spoken fe. could lift your faith A conocer la hora, el tiempo en el que to know the hour and the time that we are living in. Les bendiga. May the Lord Jesus Tenemos Christ bless you. We have a song y de este cántico, and after this song que tome lugar, that will take place nuestro hermano Samuel creo que es el que sigue May our brother Samuel este servicio, take the rest of the meeting in this service, and I pray that the Holy Ghost will take his servant in such a special way. Stand to your feet, brothers. Let us pray, and then the song. Beloved Father, thank you so much, Lord, for this precious time that you give us. Lord, as ministers, we get frustrated many times because we know the hour and we want to say so much, Lord. And sometimes it's like the words don't come out like we would want them to. But I believe, Lord, that your Holy Ghost, Lord, has taken these 
words that are cut up. Put them together, Lord, the way you only know how to do it. And lift the faith of your people, Lord, that they may be stimulated, lifted up to this great hour that we are living in, Lord. Thank you for the patience of your people, for the love of your people. Lord, bless your servant, our brother Samuel. May he come with great power this evening. The power of your Holy Spirit. Anoint him, Lord. That he may continue with this, Lord. Because it was said that these men, taking the message, will carry it further. And I believe that your servant is one of these men. In the name of Jesus Christ, we ask these things. Amen and amen. Let us sing. Align me with my theophany. Shalom. Que não vencerás Por causa das provações que enfrentas Ao caminhar com Deus a cada dia Olhe tua vida e veja O que Deus fez por ti Lembre que tua alma Está firmada ao absoluto A verdade te libertou para que sirvas a Deus nos dias de tua juventude Tenhas coragem no Senhor Pois Ele te tomará Em todas as lutas dessa vida Lutará por você Te elevará Então saberás que é você nele Ele em você De Deus não deve ser pisado, ele deve ter a vitória, vestido com toda a armadura de Deus, na guerra contra o inimigo. Seja forte e corajoso, não deixe tua fé se abalar, mantendo em teu coração soldado. Maior é Cristo que está em ti Sua palavra é fiel e verdadeira Não há limites para o que Deus pode fazer Tenhas coragem no Senhor Pois Ele te tomará Em todas as lutas dessa vida Lutará por você Te elevará e então saberás que é você nele E ele em você Então levante e lute com fé Pois estás em uma guerra Não é por força nem poder Mas pelo Espírito Com o Espírito Santo em tua vida Satanás não terá poder Agora é Cristo vivendo em ti Obras maiores farás Tenhas coragem no Senhor Pois Ele te tomará Em todas as lutas dessa vida Lutará por você Te elevará e então saberás Que é você nele Coragem no Senhor, pois Ele te tomará e todas as lutas dessa vida lutará por você, te elevará e então saberás que é você nele, Ele em você. Oh, tenha 
Tenhas coragem no Senhor Tenhas coragem no Senhor Tenhas coragem no Senhor Aleluia, graças a Deus Aleluia, glory to God Tenhas coragem no Senhor. Encourage yourself in the Lord, amen. Estamos encorajados esta noite. And we are very encouraged tonight. Na verdade, aqui podemos já dizer bom dia. And we can already say good morning. Já estamos na segunda-feira. Because it's already Monday. E vocês podem se sentar. You all may be seated. Nosso amigo, pastor Alfredo. Our friend, Pastor Alfredo, ele voou muito alto. He flies really high. <laughs> e estava observando seu voo e ele and deveria I realmente completar seu voo. And I was observing his flight and he really could have finished his flight, you know? E foi grandiosamente tremenda a finalização da mensagem. And it was a great tremendous uh, ending to the message there. E eu creio que eu posso pegar as anotações que foram feitas e pregar uns três meses aqui na igreja. And I think I could take his notes and preach about three months worth of messages in the church. Agora, o pastor Alfredo mora na cidade chamada Monterrey. And Monterrey. Pastor, pastor Alfred, he lives in a city called Monterrey. Ele fala assim, Monterrey, México. And he talks like this, Monterrey, Mexico. E tem uma montanha muito grande bem no meio da cidade assim. And there's a big big mountain in the middle of the city like this, you know? Nós temos aqui perto de onde mora o irmão Juliano, a irmã Suzy que estão aqui. And é, close to where brother Juliano and sister Suzy lives. Temos uma uma serra geral, uma grande montanha. We have a big big mountain there. E tem 1500 metros acima do nível do mar. And it's about 1,500 feet above a uh, sea level. Mas essa montanha lá da cidade do Pastor Alfredo tem 1,820 metros acima do nível oh, do mar. Oh, meters above sea level. Então é muito fácil para ele. Tá aí voando e lá em cima e voltar. <laughs> And where ele Pastor, where, where, where Pastor Alfredo lives is so high above sea level that it's easy for him to fly in these heights, you know? Mas conseguimos But, uh, acompanhar o voo aqui até onde deu. But we was we were able to follow until it, where he uh, he ended. O, o resto a gente completa depois. <laughs> And the rest we will complete it after. Graças a Deus, louvado so a Deus. glory to God. Senhor. Blessed be the name of the Lord, amen. Quando meus amigos me chamaram para uma reunião depois de um trabalho pela internet aqui numa segunda-feira. And on Monday my friends called me to have this book to do this book here on the internet. Então é, foi colocado a, a programação e a convocação para esses trabalhos especiais. So this, we, we, we were con, uh, invited to do this special work here. So the, we, eu, this program. Fiquei bastante temeroso. Pela primeira vez estamos fazendo aqui na igreja. Desta, desta forma, assim. We were a little fearful because it was like the first time we were doing a, a work like this in our church. To Uma stream like this de alguns irmãos with the presence of a few saints e já estava bem agradecido pela quantidade de irmãos que estiveram na sexta e ontem no sábado But we are really thankful for the amount of saints that came out uh, friday and saturday mas quando eu fui chamado para reunião eu disse eu acho que para o domingo eu não consigo ser tão persuasivo assim então pesa como assim? É, é tão, é, eu não ia conseguir sucesso. So like for, for Sunday I was thinking maybe on Sunday we wouldn't have so many people, you know, we wouldn't have the same turnout like the, the, the previous two days. Porque nós tivemos um trabalho é, mais cedo, na parte da tarde, avançando até as oito e meia da noite. Because we had a little Uh, service here in the church that reach would normally finish about eight. Então o trabalho virtual aqui iniciou às 21 horas. So the work here 
in this uh, live, this this uh, meeting was starting around eight also. Então eu disse para o pastor Ever, pastor Vim e demais pastores que estavam na reunião, eu disse a menos que eu passe o cadeado, a chave no portão. So I was telling Pastor Ever and Pastor Vin and some of the brothers, you know, maybe I would just pass Aí over the key. Eu tranco os irmãos aqui dentro e eles não podem sair, tem que ficar para assistir. <laughs> maybe I would just take the key and lock the door when our service finished, so none of the brothers will be to, to leave the service, so we'll have to stay and look at the service here. Porque considerando que hoje é dia de trabalho, já é 12 e 20, meia-noite e 20. It's already like after close to midnight. Mas eu vou pedir para o irmão mostrar midnight, ali. 12, 20, 20. irmãos que nós temos aqui presente. So I wanna... Aí, eu... Vai apresentar? A câmera vai mostrar ali, se é possível, está passando? I want to show a little bit of the church, yeah. No, no portão, não. So I didn't lock the door to make all of them Amém. stay in here. Louvado é o nome do Senhor. All, all of them here. Glory to God, blessed be the name of the Lord. Amém. Amém. Irmão Missa, que hora que você levanta amanhã? Ah, o irmão está de férias, porque ele acorda muito cedo. Eu... So ah, what time you gonna uh, wake up tomorrow, brother? Is oh tomorrow you have holiday? Então está tudo bem. So everything is okay. He doesn't have to wake up. Fomos ricamente abençoados. We were richly blessed. Eu fiquei muito impressionado com as mensagens que o Espírito Santo nos trouxe. And I've been really impressed with the messages that the Holy Spirit brought. Realmente algo muito grande. It really was a great thing. E o inimigo fez de tudo para impedir o voo do pastor Alfredo esta noite. And the enemy he did everything possible to stop the flight, Pastor Alfredo's flight tonight. Muito vento contrário, muito the relâmpago. Hinder, a lot of strong winds, a lot of lights. Mas nós entendemos a mensagem. But in the end, we understood the message. Graças ao Senhor. Thanks be to God for this. É, convido para ficar em pé. I would like to invite you all to stand. E talvez eu fique, certamente, num terreno mais raso. Maybe I'll be in a little more shallower ground today. Mais plano. More simple. More flat. Nós vamos ler Mateus 28. So let us read Matthew 28. Agradecemos a todos que estão envolvidos nesse trabalho. And we want to thank everyone that is involved in this work. Um forte abraço em meu amigo, Pastor Vim. And a really strong, uh, uh, tight hug to my Sempre friend, Pastor Vim. Do amigo nas minhas orações. I always remember my friend in my prayers. A igreja de Trinidad. The church in Trinidad. E todos os demais ministros, aqueles que... É, bom, creio que além do pastor Vim, somente o pastor Ever, que eu conheço pessoalmente. And all the other ministers, but like pastor Ever, I, I know personally. Aqui deste lado, né? Mas lembramos que side, de um lugar juntos, lá de trás da mente de Deus. And we know that we, we come from another, uh, the other side, in the mind então, of God. Deus abençoe a todos. So may God bless each and every one of you. Deus abençoe meu amigo, irmão Joná, intérprete. God bless my friend, brother Jonah, the interpreter. Graças a Deus. So, thanks Vamos be to orar, God. querido e amado Deus. Let us pray, beloved, Estamos em tua Heavenly santa Father. Presença. We are in your holy presence. Eu peço que o Senhor venha me ajudar, Senhor. And I ask that you would come and help me, Lord. E sabemos que o Senhor é o grande ajudador. And we know that you are the great helper. E as poucas coisas que eu tenho para falar, Senhor. And I have a few things that I would like to say, dear sejam God. Sejam potencializadas por teu Espírito Santo. Mas may it be through your Holy Spirit. E que vá de that encontro, be... Senhor, ao coração and it... do eleito. And may this word find the hearts of the elected. Pois a tua palavra, Senhor, aquela rocha cortada sem mãos, veio para because, destruir este mundo. Because this word, your word, this rock cut without hands came to destroy this world. Mas esta mesma rocha achou guarida em nosso coração. But this same rock, Lord, is hidden in our hearts. E esta rocha és tu, Senhor. Because this rock, it is you, dear God. 
E ela está crescendo e tomando conta de toda a terra. And it is growing and taking over the whole earth. Querido e amado Deus, recompensa o esforço de meus irmãos que estão aqui comigo. So beloved dear God, may you reward all these brothers for all these sacrifices. E o Senhor há de recompensar a cada esforço. Each and every sacrifice that was made, may you reward it. No nome do Senhor Jesus Cristo, amém. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Mateus 28, do 1 ao 7. Mateus 28, 1 to 7. Também Deus abençoe os demais intérpretes. And God bless all the other interpreters. Meu querido irmão Joná, que ele é o intérprete principal nesta noite. But Joná will be the main interpreter tonight for the service. Amém. Vamos ler a palavra. Amen. Let us read. E no fim do sábado, quando já despontava o primeiro dia da semana, In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, Maria Madalena e a outra Maria foram ver o sepulcro. Came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulchre. E eis que houvera um grande terremoto, porque um anjo do Senhor descendo do céu. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven. Chegou removendo a pedra da porta e sentou-se sobre ela. And came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. E o seu aspecto era como um relâmpago e as suas vestes brancas como neve. And his countenance was like lightning and his raiment white as snow. E os guardas com medo dele ficaram muito assombrados e como mortos. And for fear of him, the keepers did shake and became as dead men. Mas o anjo respondendo disse às mulheres, não tenhais medo. Pois eu sei que buscais a Jesus que foi crucificado. And the angel answered and said unto the woman, Fear, fear, in, fear not ye, for I know that ye seek aqui, Jesus, porque já which was crucified. Como havia dito. He, is not, he is not here, because Vinde, he... Vede o lugar onde o Senhor jazia. For he is risen, and he said, Come, see the place where the Lord lay. E de depois, imediatamente, dizei aos seus discípulos que já ressuscitou dentre os mortos. And quickly tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead. E eis que ele vai adiante de vós para a Galileia. Ali o vereis. Eis que eu vou tenho dito. And behold, he goeth before you into Galilee. There shall ye see him. Lo, I have told you. Amém. Que o Senhor acrescente as sua palavra. May God bless the reading of his word. Pode tomar assentos. May be seated. Deus abençoe todos os nossos irmãos, as igrejas que estão acompanhando. God bless all the churches, all the churches that are streaming in tonight. Deus abençoe o pastor Itoque. Lembramos que lá na Indonésia já é segunda-feira de dia. And God bless Pastor Itoque, knowing that day in Indonesia is already Monday in the daytime. Então, considerando isso, vocês são é os que estão mais adiantados. So, considering this, you all are more advanced. Mas para aquele grande dia do rápido, ninguém vai primeiro. Vamos juntos. But for that great day of the rapture, no one will go before the other one. All of us will go together. Graças Amen. a Deus. So thanks be to God for this. Queria falar um pouquinho sobre a confusão entre os discípulos após a descida do anjo forte. And I would like to speak a little bit tonight about the confusion among the disciples after the mighty angel descended. Porque aqui o anjo forte desceu. Because the mighty angel descended. Ele abriu os selos and he opened porta, the seals. Aquela pedra. That, that rock, he rolled back the stone. Ele rompeu aqueles selos romanos. He broke the Roman seals. Ele rompeu aquele selo para que o filho, a palavra, Cristo, saísse de entre os mortos. He broke the seals so that Christ, the word, he could come out. E aqui fala o seu sealed. aspecto era como relâmpago. E as suas vestes brancas como a neve. And his countenance was like lightning and his raiment white as snow. Ele ressuscitou no dia depois do sábado. So he rose on sat, uh, no dia de sábado, ele ressuscitou. Após o sábado. Uh -huh. And so after Saturday had passed, he, he ele, rose. Ele ressuscitou no oitavo after dia. After the ended, he, he, he rose on the eighth day. O primeiro dia da semana. The first day of the week. E houve sete eras, apontando para sete dias da semana. And there were seven uh, church ages. E agora, em nosso tempo, estamos days. vivendo 
novamente um domingo. And we are living in the Sunday again. Vivemos num grande domingo. This great Sunday. Nós estamos agora no período da Páscoa, anualmente falando. We are in the, in the season of Easter, according to the ca calendar. Mas desde que a palavra foi aberta, desde 63, nós vivemos em um domingo. But since the opening of the seals, we have been living in the Sunday. Em um domingo de Páscoa. In the, sun, the, the Easter Sunday. Onde o Filho ressuscitou. Where the Son was risen. Houve um tempo que ele esteve lá com uma pequena luz no tempo luterano, arminiano, pentecostal. Look at the time that they had in the time of Luther and the, and the Pentecostals. E era noite, eles tiveram luz somente para viver no seu dia. And they only had light to live for their day. Mas agora, nesta grande manhã de domingo. But in this great day, in this great Sunday, nosso profeta Sunday... pregou após a abertura dos selos. The prophet preached the, after the opening of the seals. Ele pregou Shalom, bom dia igreja. He preached Shalom, good morning church. O novo dia tem chegado. Because the new day had dawned. Jesus ressuscitou nesse oitavo dia. And Jesus he was resurrected on this eighth day. Agora não existe tal coisa como o oitavo dia da semana. But we know, according to our calendar, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't exist, if you look at it like this. O oitavo dia da semana volta ao primeiro, mais uma vez. Because the eighth day really returns to the first day. Por isso estamos voltando para aquela era efesiana. That is why we are returning to an Ephesian age. Este oitavo dia. And it is this eighth day. Rapidamente, eu leio aqui uma citação no livro das eras, ou melhor, so, nos selos. So, let me read a quote from the seals really quick. Na brecha entre as sete eras da igreja e os sete selos. In the breach between the seven churches and the seven seals. Paragraph 55. Paragraph 55. Este livro não é revelado até que as eras da igreja e as eras denominacionais tenham acabado. This book is not revealed until the church ages and the denominational ages has run out. E não há mais demora. And there's time no more. Está vendo? See it. Só é revelado depois que as eras da igreja e as eras denominacionais tenham acabado. It's only revealed after church ages and denominational ages has run out. Exatamente, após, exactly. aqui diz, no fim do sábado, após o sétimo dia. So after the seventh day, at the end of the week, he, he, he was resurrected. E nós vivemos neste oitavo dia onde a luz chegou. And we are living in the eighth day where this light came. Essa luz chegou para tirar as trevas da nossa vida. This light came to take away the darkness from our lives. Quando ele ressuscitou naquela grande manhã. Because when he was resurrected in that great morning. Ele trouxe luz para os verdadeiros he, crentes. He brought light to the real believers. Ele trouxe luz. A luz foi irradiando na vida deles. The, the light was, was shining in their hearts. O mundo teve a oportunidade de receber a luz. The world had this opportunity to receive the light. Mas João disse, eles amaram mais as trevas do que a luz. But John said that they had more love for the darkness rather than light. Então, quando ele resplandeceu naquela grande manhã. So when it shone on that great morning. Quando o sol nasceu, houve uma dupla saída do sol. So when the sun rose, there was a dual sunrise. Aquele sol que apareceu lá no livro de Gênesis, atraindo as as sementes que havia na terra, trazendo eles elas à vida. That sun that appeared in Genesis, bringing the seeds from the earth to life. Aquela, aquele sol, aquele sol natural, trouxe a palmeira à vida. That natural sun, it brought the palm tree to life. Trouxe a irmã palmeira. Sister palm tree, it brought Trouxe her to life. Carvalho. It brought brother oak to life. Trouxe a irmã rosa. It brought sister rose to life. O irmão that pinheiro. sun, it oh, brought a plant. E aquelas sementes que estavam lá, que traziam vidas em sua... A cada semente produz conforme a vida que está nela. And each seed was producing a life that was in it. 
O sol quando brilhou trouxe aquelas vidas à existência. And when the sun shone, it, it brought this the life that was inside. It brought Agora, forth the life. Agora, dupla saída do sol. O sol natural, mais uma vez cumprindo a sua missão, nasceu ali no leste. And then there, there was a the dual sunrise. This natural sun uh, fulfills its, its work. Mas o verdadeiro sol, aquele but, que o but the sol... Real sun, Ali no céu representa aquele saiu de entre os mortos. But that sun was representing coming out of from a resurrection from among the dead. Para trazer vida às sementes, para que elas viessem à existência. To do what? To bring life to the seeds. E de repente aquelas sementes vêm e floresce e surge a igreja triunfante. And then they would rise up a triumphant church. As a igreja que praticou que operou as mesmas obras. A church that would do the same works, that would operate the same works and do the same works. As mesmas obras de Cristo. The same works that Christ did. Porque era Cristo mesmo que estava ali. Because wasn't it Christ that was there? Ninguém chama é, um, um, um pé de trigo que veio de uma semente de trigo, de filho de trigo. When, when uh, uh, the green... No one calls as reproduced. No one said this is a, the son of the grain. Aquele trigo nasce pequenininho e ele oh, vira oh. trigo. Oh, oh. This, this little green is born small, but it's, it's, a, it's a grain. Because the, the grain... Assim como quando aquela igreja surgiu, operando milagres, maravilhas, levando em frente a mesma mensagem de Cristo. It's operating the same life of Christ, the same wonders of Christ, the same era, same things, same works as, as Christ Himself reproduce. Quando Jesus, em uma forma glorificada, apareceu para Saulo de Tarso na estrada que dava para Damasco. When when that Jesus appeared to Saul of Tarsus on that road of Damascus, ele ouviu aquela voz repreensiva que disse, "Eu sou Jesus a quem tu persegue." He heard that voice rebuking him, saying, "I am Jesus whom thou persecutest." Agora o mundo fica em, em pior escuridão. And now the world is in a, a worse darkness than that. Porque conforme lemos em Isaías capítulo 60, because as we read in Isaiah 60, versículos 1 e 2, verse 1 and 2, a Bíblia diz, the Bible says, levanta-te e resplandece porque vem a tua luz e a glória do Senhor vai nascendo sobre ti. Arise and shine for thy light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Porque eis que as trevas cobrirão a terra. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. E a escuridão os povos. And gross darkness the people. Mas sobre ti o Senhor virá surgindo e a sua glória se verá sobre ti. But the Lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee. É num tempo de escuridão mundial que a luz brilha. So in a time where there's a worldwide darkness, the light will shine. Isso aqui é um paradoxo, porque no mesmo momento que há luz, também há trevas. And this is a paradox, because at the same time where there's this darkness, there will be a, a light shining. They will exist at the same time. 9, em Apocalipse 9, nós vimos uma, a mesma escuridão. A escuridão and, tomando conta da terra. And in Revelation 9, we see the same darkness that has taken over the earth. Quando aquela invasão de gafanhotos, de demônios, é solto, quando o inferno That's... é aberto. That invasion of locusts, those, these demons that are loosed upon the earth. E aqueles 200 milhões de demônios. 200 million demons. Sai lá do inferno, são é, é, soltos e, e sai para invadir o mundo. That is loose, that comes out from the, the bottomless pit, the, the, comes out from the pit that is loosed upon the earth. Para trazer trevas sobre a humanidade, trevas sobre os jovens, trevas sobre as crianças, trevas sobre os velhos. To bring darkness upon the young people, upon the middle age, upon the older ones. Cobrir a terra com uma nuvem densa de incredulidade. It's covering the earth as a, a darkness of unbelief upon the earth. Cobrir a terra com a escuridão da falsa adoração. A darkness of false worship upon the earth. Aquilo que começou lá no início, com aquela falsa adoração caimita. That same false worship that Cain had in the beginning. Hoje tem chegado a pedra de coroa de Satanás. I know it has come to the, the headstone of Satan. O Eden satânico. The capstone of Satan. The Satan's Eden. 
O Deus chegou... desta era maligna. God of this evil age. O irmão Branham diz, é o único tempo que ele é chamado de Deus. Brother Branham said it's the only time he was called God. E essa escuridão veio sobre a ciência, sobre a política, sobre this os darkness. países, sobre as religiões. On science, politics, religion, darkness. E eu estava com esse assunto no meu coração. And I had this in my heart. E, e não sei se foi ontem, antes de ontem, passei numa farmácia. Eu não sei, I don't know if it was yesterday or the day before yesterday, but I went to a pharmacy. Para comprar alguns medicamentos. To buy some uh, medicine. E veio um, um rapaz, um moço a, me atender. A, a boy uh, there attending to me. E ele queria ser uma mulher. But he wanted to be a woman. Com seu jeito, com seus trejeitos. The way he, he was, his mannerisms. Então ele quis consultar sobre algo e chamou uma moça que estava atendendo naquela hora ali na farmácia também. So then I call a woman that was attending in the pharmacy also. E a moça queria ser um homem. And when that woman, she wanted to be a man. E se eu falo alguma coisa, vocês sabem que eu entrei, entraria em problemas, né? And you know if I say something against this, I would end, end up in problems. Mas essa escuridão tem tem vindo sobre a terra. But this darkness has come upon the entire earth. E atacando a mente das crianças. And is attacking the minds of the children. E trazendo escuridão sobre as pessoas para não crerem na verdade. And bringing a darkness upon them that they don't believe. E aqui em Apocalipse 9, essa escuridão tomando conta. And this, in Revelation 9, this, this darkness is taking over everything. E de repente lá em Apocalipse 11, porque nós And vimos ali it... Apocalipse 9 e Apocalipse 11, vimos as duas grandes guerras mundiais, a segunda And e a terceira. In Revelation 11, we see the two great wars, the Second World War and the Third World War. Mas é exatamente nesse tempo de escuridão, entre a Segunda Guerra Mundial e a Terceira Guerra Mundial, está Apocalipse 10. But right between these two wars, these two great wars, in this time of darkness, we see Quando Revelation 10. Quando um anjo 10. forte desce do céu. Another mighty angel that comes down from heaven. E seu aspecto era de uma nuvem resplandecente. And his clothes were, was, was, was shining. His, his vesture. Um celeste sobre a sua cabeça. His countenance was like lightning. É o sol surgindo, trazendo vida, chamando as it's, sementes a vir à existência. It's the sun bringing up the life that is in the seed. E esse sol começou a brilhar, a se levantar e a aquecer a terra onde havia essas sementes. And then the sun starts to shine and, and warms up the earth and bring forth the seeds where there is seed laying there. Dizendo, irmã Palmeira, irmã Rosa, irmão Carvalho, venham à existência. But a, but a, but a palm tree, but a, but a oak tree, come, up, come, out, come out from there. Aleluia. And bring them into existence. Agora, na ocasião de São Mateus 28, onde fizemos leitura. And in Matthew 28, where we, have, where we just read. Jesus havia ressuscitado naquela manhã. Jesus was resurrected on that morning. E o irmão Brana falou na mensagem a prova de sua ressurreição. And Brother Branham speaks on a message, the proof of, of the resurrection. Ele disse, que coisa triste. And he said, what, what a sad thing. Jesus, o Messias, havia ressuscitado conforme as escrituras e o mundo não sabia daquilo. He said that Jesus, he, he rose according to the scriptures, but the world didn't know anything about it. E as pessoas continuavam em suas rotinas normalmente. And the people continued with their routines normal. Mesmo em seus caminhos de religiosidade. Como? Mesmo em seus caminhos de religião. In the same uh, way of religion, the same religious way, they, they just continue that same way. A maior escritura, a maior visão do Velho Testamento, a visão de Jó, a vida se cumprindo. The greatest eles, scripture, the greatest vision of Job, being fulfilled. Diferentes. Eles estão but alheios. They, but they are so ignorant to it, they didn't they even recognize it. Agora, mesmo os discípulos não estavam compreendendo. Even the disciples didn't understand. Jesus foi o Cordeiro Pascual. Jesus foi o pão ázimo que desceu do céu. Jesus was the Passover lamb. He was the, the, the unleavened bread from heaven. E como eles conheciam aquelas festas? But how could they know all these feasts? 
Agora, se eles tivessem entendimento, eles saberiam que se ele foi o cordeiro pascual, se ele foi o pão asmo, ele seria um molho movido. So then if you if you knew that he was the Passover and, and he was the, the unleavened bread you would know that he had to be the wave sheep also o primeiro a sair de entre os mortos the first to be risen from among the dead a primícia dos que dormiram the first fruits of those that slept Agora, os discípulos tinham visto tantos sinais tinham visto tantas maravilhas tantos milagres so all these miracles and all these things that he had done Estavam falhando em ver o grande cumprimento da ressurreição. But they failed to realize the great fulfillment of the resurrection. Porque não entenderam a parte da morte. Because they didn't understand the part that pertains to death. Pensávamos que era ele que ia trazer redenção a Israel. They thought he would bring redemption to Israel. Porque ora, eles viu as escrituras concernente ao Messias, ao rei. Because they saw the scriptures about Messiah, about the King. Um judeu hoje diz, é, por que que você diz que Jesus é o Cristo? Ele não cumpriu essas coisas. And Jews today they say, how you could say Jesus, he is the Messiah, he didn't come, he didn't fulfill these things. Ele nunca restaurou o trono de Davi. He didn't restore the throne to David, the throne of David. Oh, sim. Oh, look. Ele foi leão. He was a lion. Mas ele é cordeiro também. But he's also lamb. Ele haveria de interceder por seus eleitos. Cada semente vira a existência em sua estação durante sete eras. And, and he was interceding for his elect in every age, in, through seven church ages, interceding e, for the elect. E nesse tempo, estamos vivendo no tempo prestes onde ele vai é, é, novamente restaurar o reino a Israel. And we are living in time right before he restores the kingdom to Israel. Haverá aquele grande milênio. Because there would be a great millennium. O problema é que eles não estavam seguindo a partitura. The problem is they were not uh, following the music sheet. Eles queriam ir rapidamente para o ponto máximo da partitura da música. They wanted to pass over to the, the, the last part of the, the, the music sheet quick. They wanted to Mas pass o over. O compositor ele colocou the... cada parte ali. But the great compo compositor, he, he put each part in order. E realmente, ele foi or orquestrando a sua grande partitura até chegar no desfecho final. And he was okay, orchestrating the entire uh, music sheet to, to bring it up to the, the crescendo. Agora, quando Jesus ressuscitou, ele não foi lá bater na porta de Pilatos. So when Jesus re was resurrected, he didn't go on, on uh, Pilate's door and was knocking on Pilate's door. No. Ele não foi no palácio de Herodes. He didn't go to Herod's palace. Ele não foi aos incrédulos. He didn't go to the unbelievers. Ele começou a, a procurar os crentes. He started to look for the believers. That was the first já, thing he já did. Tinha uma parte da mensagem. There was already a part of the message. Mas eles Those that had... compreender toda a mensagem. Those that already had a part of the message, but it was necessary for them to understand the entire message. E como disse o Brana, quando ele ressuscitou, and as Brother Branham said, when he resurrected, ele começou a ir diretamente para as escrituras. He went directly to the scriptures. Ele se, começou a se encontrar com seus discípulos. And he went looking for his disciples. E ele começou a ir para as escrituras. And he went to the scriptures. É o que ele sempre faz. This is what he always does. He always ele goes to the When he is resurrected, ele vai direto para as escrituras. He goes directly to the scriptures. Vamos ler em Lucas capítulo 24. So let us read Luke 24, versículo 25 ou 27. Verse 25 to 27. Lucas 24. Luke 27, 24, 25 Porque to 27. Ele narra né? a sua ressurreição também. Because this narrates the resurrection also. E começa a mostrar. Ele se para com aqueles dois discípulos no caminho que dava para where, Emmaus. Where he meets the two men on the road to Emmaus. The two disciples. E eles vinham conversando sobre a palavra. Eles estavam conversando a coisa correta. So they were already talking about the word. They were talking about the correct thing. Eles estavam muito confundidos. But they were really confused. Mesmo após o testemunho daquelas irmãs. Even after that testimony of the sisters, 
que chegaram ofegantes, apavoradas, atemorizadas. They, they, they came there and they were so, like, in a, in a bad condition, they were so worried and so... E disseram, nós vimos um anjo resplandecente. They said, we saw, uh, uh, they were so terrified and they said, we, we, we saw this, this angel. E o próprio mestre se encontrou conosco. Whose countenance was so bright and, and he talked to, to us about the master. Eles disseram, não, não, essas mulheres estão passando mal. Tem que dar algum calmante para elas. He, the disciples said, no, no, these, these sisters are maybe feeling sick. Give something to calm them down a little bit. Something eles is wrong with them. Eles conversando entre eles. So then they were having a conversation among themselves here. Então Jesus se parou como um estrangeiro ali, apareceu para eles de uma outra forma, não o reconheceram. So then Jesus appeared to them as a stranger in a form that they wouldn't recognize. E começou a perguntar, o que que vocês vêm conversando pelo caminho? And he said, what are you guys talking about there on this road? Oh, tu és um estrangeiro mesmo aqui, né? Não sabe das últimas coisas que aconteceram em Jerusalém? Wow, you really have to be a stranger. You don't know what is going on here in Jerusalem. Começaram a falar de como os judeus tinham matado a Cristo. And they started to talk about how the Jews killed uh, Christ. E até disseram, sabe, alguns é, do nosso povo estiveram no sepulcro cedo e disseram que o viram. So, so, so you know that even some of our believers are they were at the sepulchre early and they said that he was he was no risen. Verdade, o sepulcro estava aberto e ele não estava lá. And the sepulchre it was open and he was already there. Versículo 25. E ele so, lhes 25. disse. Então, uh, he then he said then. Then he said. Inteiro, que irmão Jonah. E tá ele bom. lhes disse, honestos e tardos de coração, para crer tudo que os profetas disseram. Then he said unto them, O fools and slow of heart, to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Porventura não convinha que o Cristo padecesse essas coisas e entrasse na sua glória? Ought not Christ to have suffered these things and to enter into his glory? E começando por Moisés e por todos os profetas, explicava-lhes o que dele se achava em todas as escrituras. And beginning at Moses and all the prophets, and he expounded unto them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. Oh, quando ele ressuscita, ele vai direto para as escrituras. Oh, when he resurrected, he went directly to the scriptures. Ele não tentou provocar uma emoção. Vocês viram como eu sofri, como he foram maldosos try... comigo. He didn't try to play on the emotions, saying, look, look at what you're doing here. You, you all abandoned me, or this and that. Não, ele disse, vocês nunca leram que era necessário que ele padecesse todas estas coisas. He said, you, you all didn't read? It's necessary that he fulfill all these scriptures. Não estava pregando aqui o pastor Alfredo, que o diabo pensa que está tomando conta de todas as coisas e que vai nos apanhar em suas armadilhas. And the devil thought he would beat us with all his, his, uh, his traps and all these things. He não sabe que Deus está permitindo para que nós é, well, coloque it... nossas asas em, em exercício para voar daqui. Look at all the turbulence that we had here with Pastor Alfredo, but he didn't know that God was permitting these things so that we could put our wings in, in, in motion to exercise our wings. Não foi providencial aquele aperto lá no Egito? That squeeze in Egypt. It wasn't God assim. permitting that? Deus yes. cuida de todas as coisas. And God takes care of everything. E ele começou a trazer as escrituras à memória so then deles. He started to bring the scriptures to their, their, their remembrance. E sabe, eles começaram a se alegrar com as escrituras. And they got so happy with these scriptures. E a Bíblia diz que o coração deles ardia. And then the, the Bible says that their hearts burned within them. Mas quando ele chegou na aldeia, But when, he, when he arrived there, quando ele fez que ia adiante. When he was doing as though he would leave and he wouldn't stay with them. Deus abençoe, irmãos. Deus abençoe. Oh, vou said, seguir adiante. And he said, God bless you, brothers. God bless you. But I'll go on. I'll go on ahead. Não, não. O sétimo selo está fechado. Estou indo adiante. No, brothers. This, this seventh seal is, is not revealed. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. I'll go ahead. Para ver qual era a atitude deles. To see what would be their attitudes. O irmão Brana disse que Deus faz coisas de propósito. And the prophet said that God does things on purpose. Deus faria coisas de propósito? 
Does God do things on purpose? O irmão Bruno diz, sim, ele faz para que alguns virem as costas. But Brother said, yes, he does to see if they would turn their backs. E outros considerem aquilo. And to see, or to see if they would consider these things. E eles queriam ouvir mais da palavra. To see if they would want to hear more of the word. E eles disseram, fica conosco. And then they said, no, stay with us, stay with us. Já é tarde. It's already so late. Temos algo preparado para comer. We already have something here prepared to eat. Então ele se assentou ali à mesa. So then he went and he sat down at the table. E sem que eles tomassem alguma atitude, ele tomou a iniciativa como o Senhor deles. And before anyone could have any kind of attitude or anything, he, he took the place as the Lord over all of them. Um visitante, um estrangeiro, um desconhecido, toma atitude Wait. e pega o pão e começa a abençoar. A visitor among them, and then he come as, as you know, the head, as the Lord over them, and he took the bread. E no partir do pão, eles o reconheceram. And when he broke the bread, the eyes were open. Ele gosta de se identificar no partir do pão. And he loves to be identified in the breaking of the bread. Como ele praticou milagres, maravilhas. All these the miracles and, and the wonders. E como que muitas pessoas se impressionaram com aquele homem. And so many people impressed with this man. Mas eles não paravam exatamente para perceber o partir do pão. But they never stopped to perceive or to see the breaking of the bread. O partir do pão ali, ali no lugar de quietude e de intimidade no lar. It was a, a, a little intimate time in that home there where he broke the bread. Mas então, eles o reconheceram. But they knew him in the breaking of the bread. Mas vimos uma grande confusão no meio dos discípulos após aquela manhã de ressurreição. But there was a great confusion among the disciples after that day of the resurrection. Se eles considerassem as coisas, eles iam fazer plantão na porta do sepulcro. Did you consider these things? What happened at the sepulchre? Ele saberia o que ele haveria de ressuscitar? They, they knew that he would be resurrected. Mas um véu estava colocado em seus olhos. But there was a veil upon the eyes. Então não bastava só é, o sol, o filho ter ressurgido. So it wasn't sufficient that the son came back. Não, 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 não era somente o anjo forte ter descido e rompido aqueles selos romanos. It wasn't sufficient that just the angel came and he broke the seal, the Roman seal. Sabe, colocava um selo ali na porta do sepulcro. Because you know that they, they put a seal on the door of the sepulcro. E eles se ocuparam, diz a Bíblia, em não permitir. Porque os incrédulos sabiam que ele havia dito que ia ressuscitar. And they used to have like shifts. A shift system where they would be guarding that, that stone. E eles colocaram Because guardas, they knew. colocaram ali homens para não deixar que aquele sétimo selo da ressurreição <laughs> se abrisse. So they put men to guard that, that, that stone on the tomb so that the seventh seal wouldn't be open. Então, mesmo que Keep aquele it. selo foi rompido, agora precisava romper o selo do entendimento dos discípulos. But after that seal was broken, he still had to break the seal of understanding. On the men, Começou on the disciples. Começou toda aquela confusão, toda aquela guerra na mente dos discípulos. Because in the minds of the disciples started all types of questions started to come. Agora o Bruno diz que sempre que o selo se abre, uma guerra é travada. And the prophet said every time that a seal opens, there's always a, a war. Será que é verdade o que as irmãs disseram? Is that really true what those sisters told us about Será que é certo o que essas igrejas aí estão pregando? Is it these are these churches that are preaching? Is it the true? O grande ministro fulano de tal nunca falou disso. This this particular minister he never said this. This great Agora minister never said this. Agora simples mulheres aí estão falando que viram ele. And now these simple little sisters are saying that they saw him. Ele that, that they saw someone elas. talking about about his risen, but he appeared to them. Aleluia. Aleluia. Porque aqui em Lucas In é, Luke, somente um versículo, capítulo 24. In chapter 24, just one verse I'd like to read. Versículo 11. Luke 24, 
11. É, quando as mulheres voltaram do sepulcro anunciando essas coisas. When the women came back and they were announcing these things, they were was making mention of these things that happened. Versículo 10 diz assim, e eram Maria Madalena e Joana, e Maria, mãe de Tiago, e as outras que com elas estavam, as que diziam estas coisas aos apóstolos. Uh, it was Mary Madeline and Joanna and Mary, the mother of James, and the other woman that were with them, which told these things unto the apostles. E as suas palavras lhes pareciam como desvario e não as creram. And their words seemed to them as idle tales, and they believed in them not. Não, essas mulheres estão loucas. No, these sisters are crazy, you know. Como que elas estão falando essas coisas? How, how they can talk these type of things? O irmão, a história se repete. Oh, desculpa. A história se repete. This, that, that same story is repeating itself. Nós vimos nosso irmão, pastor Vim, pregando ontem. And we saw Pastor Vin, our friend, he was preaching yesterday. Como que Abel captou a revelação do dia. How Abel, he caught the revelation of the day, of that present Como day. Como que na, na era daqueles dois rapazes, and Abel that, captou a revelação. That, that time where they had the two boys there, Cain and Abel, Abel was the one that captured and caught the revelation. Em toda a sinceridade de Caim, ele queria que seu culto fosse aceito. And with all sincerity, Cain wanted his sacrifice to be accepted. Agora Caim não foi condenado porque ele ofereceu um culto errado. And he wasn't uh, uh, condemned because he, he offered a, a wrong sacrifice. Ele foi condenado porque depois de corrigido, não fez o que era direito. He was condemned because after he was corrected, he didn't do what was right. Quando Deus veio e falou para ele, faça igual teu irmão, aceitará, terá aceitação para ti. And when God said, do like your brother Abel, and I will accept it. Mas ele não quis se rebaixar para concordar que seu irmão estava correto. But he didn't want to uh, humble himself and, and see that his brother was correct and he was wrong. Ele apostou tudo em seu culto. He didn't want to accept this. Ele apostou tudo em sua programação. He put everything in his services, his program. A Bíblia diz que então eles foram para o campo. And he bet everything on that. E and Abel, Abel conversou com Caim. Abel and Cain, they had conversations. E Abel pregou sobre aquela revelação, aquele entendimento, com aquilo que, que tinha atingido o seu coração. And Abel, he spoke to him, he preached to him about what was striking his heart, about that Mas understanding. But what did Cain do? He killed his brother. He killed his brother. Sabe como que as pessoas matam hoje? And you know how people kill today, nowadays? Matando a influência daqueles que the, pregam essas coisas. They kill the influence of those that preach these things. Eu sei, irmãos vêm aqui para a cidade... E eles têm um quadro o pior possível a nosso respeito. I know that maybe brothers come from another city and they have the worst concept of us. Worst não, possible não, aquele concept pastor, of us. não. Aquele povo, não. Who? That pastor? Those people? No, no, no. Aquele espírito não morreu? Espíritos não morrem? Spirits don't die. Agora, eles pensavam, eles pensavam que as mulheres tinham... Tido um, a visão de um fantasma. They thought that maybe these sisters had a vision of some kind of ghost or something. Uma vez os discípulos estavam no mar e nunca tinham visto Jesus caminhar sobre as águas. E quando viram é, aquele homem vindo a encontro deles caminhando sobre as águas, disseram, é um fantasma. Because one time those disciples, they were fishing and they saw this man coming, walking on the waters and they thought, oh my God, this is a, this is a ghost. E hoje quando ouve essas mulheres, mulher é igreja, falando... <laughs> E dizendo, não, ele apareceu. So when they saw this woman, the woman of the church, they were speaking, and they, they said, no, he, he appeared. Ele selo foi aberto, ele apareceu. The seals are open, he, he appeared. O sol tem nascido. The sun is risen. O filho tem ressurgido. The sun has come back again. Ele rompeu os selos denominacionais romanos. He broke the denominational Roman seals. Essas pedras de incredulidade não detiveram ele. These stones of unbelief, it didn't hold him back. It Hoje didn't detain assim, him. Não, não, isso aí é ismo. He said, no, no, this is... This isso é um ghost. fantasma que estão vendo. It's a ghost that they saw. It has to be some spirit or something. Isso aí é o ismo da nuvem. 
This is a, a ghost. Of, look at this cloud. This is a ghost. It's a ghost. This song. What Agora, cloud? O Senhor foi aparecendo para eles e tirando esta esta ideia, tirando essa, essa esse entendimento. So the Lord was appearing to them and taking away this understanding from them. E ele começou a dizer e dizer, oh, de dura serviço, cegos de entendimento, vocês não se recordam o que eu havia falado? And he said, you all are following your own understanding, you all didn't remember or following the things. coisas que eu havia pregado? The things that were spoken, that were preached. Olha, 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 lembram-se dos títulos das pregações? You remember the titles of the, the messages? A presença de Deus não reconhecida? The presence of God unrecognized. Eis que está aqui quem é maior que Salomão? Greater than Solomon is here. Há um homem aqui que pode acender a luz? There's a man here that can turn on the light. Só isso já é uma grande pregação. Just this alone is a great, is a great message. Agora voltando para Lucas 24. So we're coming back to Luke 24. Versículo 33. Verse 33. Depois que ele se revelou àqueles discípulos no partir do pão, after he revealed to his disciples with, by the breaking of the bread, então ele desapareceu. He disappeared. Eles disseram, ah, era por isso que nosso coração ardia. And they said, oh, it's because that's why our hearts were burning. E então eles diz no versículo 33 e na mesma hora levantando se tornaram para Jerusalém e acharam congregado os onze e os está e, está, e os que estavam com eles. And they rose up the same hour and returned to Jerusalem and found the eleven gathered together and them that were with them. Os quais diziam ressuscitou verdadeiramente o Senhor e já apareceu a Simão. Saying, the Lord is risen indeed and had appeared to Simon. Oh, agora a revelação tinha crescido, a luz tinha crescido. O so pastor the da igreja was, já estava consciente. The, the revelation was growing, the, the understanding was growing, the pastor of the church, he has this e revelation eles, now. E eles, os irmãos chegaram, não descansaram, and, voltaram todo o trajeto. E eles came, lhes contaram And he told what things were done in the way. E eles lhes contaram o que lhes acontecera no caminho e como deles fora conhecido no partir do pão. And how he was known to them in the breaking of the bread. E falando eles destas coisas, o mesmo Jesus se apresentou no meio deles e disse-lhes, Shalom. And as they thus speak, Jesus himself stood in the midst of them and said unto them, seja peace, peace be unto thee. E eles, espantados e atemorizados, pensavam que viu algum espírito. But they were terrified and frightened and supposed that they had seen a spirit. E ele lhes disse, por que estáis perturbados? E por que sobem tais pensamentos aos vossos corações? And he said unto them, Why are you troubled, and why do thoughts arise in your hearts? E ele sabia que só tinha um que podia discernir os pensamentos. Because he knew that it was only one that could discern the thoughts. They knew that it was only one that could discern the thoughts. O que podia dizer de onde a pessoa tinha vindo, o que estava fazendo? Who could discern what the person was doing, where they were, before? Versículo 39, ele diz, Vede as minhas mãos e os meus pés, que sou eu mesmo. Behold my hands and my feet. That it, it is I. Como vedes, Handle me. É, sou eu mesmo. Apalpai-me e vede, pois um espírito não tem carne nem ossos, como vedes que eu tenho. Handle me and see, for a spirit had not flesh and bones, as ye see me have. E dizendo isto, mostrou-lhes as mãos e os pés. And when he had Thus spoken, he showed them his hands and his feet. E não o crendo eles ainda por causa da alegria. <laughs> While they yet believe not for joy. E estando maravilhados, disse-lhes, tendes aqui alguma coisa que comer? And wondered, he said unto them, have, have ye here any meat? Então eles lhes apresentaram parte de um peixe assado e um favo de mel, o que ele tomou e comeu diante deles. And they gave him a piece of broiled fish, uh, boiled fish and, and honeycomb. 
And he took it and he ate it before them. Tem a metade de uma tainha aí que sobrou do almoço está no forno. Traz yeah, para cá. Have a, a little lunch that that remained there. You can bring some of that here. Aleluia. Aleluia. Agora não criam por causa da alegria. But they didn't believe because of the joy. They were overjoyed. Será que poderia acontecer isso em nossos dias? Could this happen in our day? As pessoas não não é, não compreender o suficiente, somente entrar num canal de alegria. E quando vem uma adversidade, ah, aquela nuvem não existiu, foi isso e aquilo outro, não ter segurança. Será que pode existir? Could this really exist? Someone so overjoyed that even when circumstances come and there's all the troubles and trials, they don't have nothing to stand on. E cantar tanto, ele veio, a trombeta já soou. And he starts singing, oh, behold, he comes, riding on a cloud. Mas chega ali num confrontinho qualquer. A sua fé but esmurece. A, but a little confrontation and they have no faith. The faith Deixa disappears. Aqui a presença de Deus não reconhecida. So. Parágrafo 132. I want to read a, a quote from the message, The Presence of God Unrecognized, paragraph 132. O que está acontecendo lá embaixo? O que está acontecendo aqui em cima? What's going on down there? What's going on up here? Está falando de Abraham, com sete letras. Ele, uh, he was talking about Abraham and his seven letters and these things. Compare isto com o que Jesus disse. Compare it with what Jesus said. Nunca antes na história localizamos. Never before in the history have we ever set. E os mesmos sinais que seriam feitos, vocês não percebem, amigos? And the same signs that would have been done. Don't you realize, friends? Reconhece que é Deus que desce no evangelho em seu povo dando-se a conhecer? And recognize as God down in the gospel in his people making himself known? Não consegue reconhecer a hora que estamos vivendo? Can't you recognize the hour we're living in? Será que nos desviamos com um pouquinho de bater de palmas? Tocar have piano? We just, have we just ourselves off to clap our hands a little bit? Play the e piano? recitar isto e nos afastamos da palavra? And recite this and got away from the word? A ponto de estarmos cegos assim a isto? Till we're that blind of it? Certamente não estamos. Reconheçamos a hora em que estamos vivendo. Surely we're not. Let's recognize the hour that we're living in. É, é muito fácil se Because confundir it's os sentimentos. Because it's very easy to confuse the, your feelings. Somente por causa de um bom hino, uma boa música, um bom ritmo. You can be very confused very easily because of a nice song, a nice little music. Tudo bem com a boa música, tudo bem com um bom hino. All good with the nice music and the nice singing. All, all, Mas a boa música fine. não nos ajudará na hora da prova. But the nice music wouldn't help you in that time of trial. Queremos estar firmes na palavra. We want to be grounded in the word. Estabelecidos na palavra. Established in the word. Por isso Jesus batalhou para que eles tivessem um entendimento aberto. That is why Jesus fought so much so that they could have an uh, uh, open mind, uh, on the open understanding. Porque fé perfeita só é fé perfeita quando a pessoa reconhece o seu lugar nas Escrituras. Because perfect faith only comes when a person can recognize their position in the Scriptures. Sua posição no dia, na hora. Your position in the day, in the hour. Jesus começou a apontar dele nas Escrituras. So Jesus started to point them to the Scriptures. He pointed them to the Começando Scriptures. Começando por Moisés e pelos Salmos e por todos os profetas, mostrava onde dele estava escrito. Starting with Moses and the Psalms and all the scriptures showing where it was written. Será que nós podemos olhar aqui e mostrar onde a nosso respeito está escrito? And could we today look at the scriptures and see where it is written of us? Então, quando nós nos estabelecemos nesta exata verdade, so when we are established in this, sabe, in this truth, essa expressão nas eras. Brother Branham used an expression in the, in the church ages, a exata verdade. He said the exact truth. Então, quando nos posicionamos na exata verdade, nos tornamos o exército invencível. Or the present truth. So when we 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 will become a invincible army when this happens. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Eu quero ler aqui na mensagem a imitação do cristianismo. 
And I want to read from a message, The Impersonation of Christianity, 1957. Paragraph 54. Irmão Branham está falando de um profeta. speaking about a prophet. E, e nós somos, e um profeta é uma águia, ele vai dizer. And he's going to talk about how the prophet was likened to an eagle. E a noiva tem percepção profética. Because the, the bride, she has prophetic uh, perception. E nós somos todos Prophetic águias. insight. And we are eagles. Aleluia. Aleluia. Deus comparou o profeta com a águia que entraria na caracterização de um profeta. And God likened the prophet to eagle that would go in the, the makeup of a prophet. Como falou o pastor Alfredo, e via As aquele anjo Alfredo. voando no céu. Just like Pastor Alfredo was talking about that angel flying in the heaven. E viu uma águia voando. He saw an eagle flying. Uh, ele é um vidente, pois no espírito sobe além da emoção da igreja. He's a seer. In the spirit climbs beyond the emotion of the church. Ele vai além do ritmo da música. He goes beyond the rhythm of the music. Ele vai além do bater de palmas. He goes beyond the clapping of hands. Ele vai além do regozijo entre os santos. He, he goes beyond the joy among the saints. Ele vai além de tudo isto. He goes beyond all that. Deus o traz a uma esfera sozinho, sozinho. God brings him up into a realm alone, alone. Então, então ele abre os seus olhos e ele o deixa ver ao redor e ver as coisas que estão por vir. Then he opens his eyes and he lets him look around. Então ele traz de volta entre os membros do corpo para predizer o que está na criação. Then he brings him back down among the members of the body to foretell them what is in the making. Você pode continuar a leitura de depois. And what you can continue reading after. Ele não está falando contra o se emocionar, contra, contra o bater de palmas, contra a música. And he's not speaking anything bad about a clapping of hands and playing music and these things. Ele está dizendo para nós but, ir além. But he's telling us to go beyond. Porque lá eles, eles estavam ouvindo e eles estavam vendo, eles tinham testemunhos e ainda não estavam crendo por causa da emoção. But they were there in the midst of the, of the movement. They were believed, they, but they, they couldn't believe, they couldn't see it because of the emotion. Eu lembro que certa vez uma irmã veio chorando receber oração. I remember one time a sister came to the prophet. She was she was crying because of emotion. Ela chorava, chorava, chorava. And she cried, she cried, she cried. Irmão Branham disse, irmã, pare de chorar. And Brother Branham said, sister, stop crying. Isso está atrapalhando a tua fé. You're hindering your own faith. Nós queremos ir além dessas coisas. But we want to go beyond these things. Nós queremos estar estabelecidos na verdade da hora. Because we want we want to be established in the present truth for this hour. Porque ele rompeu aqueles selos para nos trazer entendimento. Because he broke the seals to bring understanding to our minds. Veja aqui em Lucas capítulo 24, seguindo a leitura. So, Luke 24, following the reading. É... Que versículo? Versículo 44. Certo. E disse-lhe, são estas as palavras que vos disse, estando ainda convosco, So Luke 24, 44, and he said unto them, these are the words which I speak unto thee, unto you. Que convinha que se cumprisse tudo que de mim estava escrito na lei, na lei de Moisés e nos profetas e nos salmos. While I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the laws of Moses e and in the prophets um and in the psalms aqui. concerning me. Então, abri-lhes o entendimento para compreender as escrituras. Then open he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. Porque a fé vem pelo ouvir e ouvir da palavra de Deus. But faith comes by hearing, hearing the word of God. Agora foi um dia bem agitado. And it had been a really troubling day for them. Tanta confusão, so much confusion, tanto desânimo, so uh, disappointed, tanto choro. E so much crying, e tanta dor, and so much pain. Não sabia o que ia acontecer no amanhã. They didn't know what would happen the next day. Como que iam voltar para suas igrejas? How they would go back to church, their churches? Estava tudo derrotado. It was like everything, a big defeat, everything defeated. 
Foi um dia muito agitado. It was a really troubling day for them. E São a really João, tough capítulo day. 20. And St. John, chapter 20. Versículo 19 e 20. Verse 19 to 20. Traz uma expressão do final daquele dia, do dia da ressurreição. And it, it talks about that same day at evening, the end Porque of the diz, day. Chegada, pois, a tarde daquele dia, o primeiro da semana, e cerrada as portas onde os discípulos, com medo dos judeus, se tinham ajuntado, Chegou Jesus e pôs-se no meio deles e disse-lhes, paz seja convosco. Then the same day at evening, being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut, were the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews. Come Jesus and stood in the midst and said unto them, peace be unto you. E dizendo isso, mostrou-lhe as suas mãos e o lado, de sorte que os discípulos se alegraram vendo o Senhor. And when he had so said, he showed unto them his hands and his side. E disse lhes pois Jesus outra vez, Pai seja convosco, assim como o Pai me enviou, também eu vos envio a vós. And then the disciples were glad and they saw the Lord. E havendo dito isto, assoprou sobre eles e disse lhes, recebei o Espírito Santo. Espera aí, passou uh, o 22? O 22, perfeito. O 21 uh -huh. e o 22 eu li. Then said Jesus to them again, Peace be unto you. And my Father hath sent me, even so sent I you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said unto them, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Agora ele deu uma prévia do que ia acontecer no dia de Pentecostes. So he was given a preview of what would happen on Pentecost. É assim que vai acontecer. He is showing them, it's like this, this is exactly how it will happen. Eu não vos deixarei órfãos, eu voltarei para vós. I would not leave you as orphans or abandoned. I would come to you. Eu estarei convosco todos os dias até o fim dos séculos. I would be with you until the end of the age. Ele tem cumprido sua palavra porque ele sempre cumpre seus compromissos. And he will fulfill his word because he always fulfills his word. É uma hora e meia da manhã e ele prometeu e ele está aqui conosco. It's an hour and a half here in the morning, but he's, he promised to be with us still. Como que Hallelujah. Como que esses medrosos, com medo, trancados lá em cima, enfrentar os judeus, como que eles levariam esse evangelho para frente sem que o próprio mestre estivesse dentro deles? How could they have fear of the Jews and, and they, they were locked up in a little room if the very master was among them? Ele se sentiu tão seguro tendo o mestre ali com eles? They, should, they, they ought to have felt so, so safe with the master among them there. In the midst. Homem andava sobre as águas, multiplicava pães. This man that walked on waters, multi, multiplied bread. Ressuscitava mortos. He resurrected from among the dead. Por sua palavra, a tempestade se exterminava. With just as word, he, he calms the storm. Agora aquele mesmo homem que andava com eles. Que And João, same... o íntimo, podia recostar sua cabeça. The same one that walked among them, that even John, he would lean on his bosom. Agora não estava mais do lado, mas estava dentro no coração deles. Now the same one, he was on at the side of them, where they could do that, but he was in them now. Não o mestre exterior, mas o mestre interior. Hallelujah. It wasn't the outside master, but the inside master. Foi o mesmo propósito dessa vez, quando ele saiu dentre os mortos denominacionais. So when they came out of these denominational graves, It was Quando ele veio através daquele vento impetuoso de sete trovões. That great strong wind of seven voices. Ele não veio para encher a nossa cabeça. He didn't come here just to fill our heads with, with a lot of ele stuff. Ele veio para encher o nosso coração. But he came to fill our hearts. Ele veio para descer lá na casa das máquinas. Casa das máquinas? É, ele veio para se assentar ali no local onde tem o painel de controles. Ah, tá. He, he, came, he came to be in the control tower. Hallelujah. Sabe quando os sete selos foram pregados? Because you know when the seven seals were preached. No dia 24 de março de 63. In 24 of March, in 63. 63. O sétimo selo. Uh -huh. Vamos conferir aqui. 
It would, just let me confirm here. March 66 or 63, he preached the seven seal. In 63, when he preached the seals, in March. Agora, quando ele prega o sétimo selo, ele diz assim, esse sétimo selo é de uma maneira tríplice. He said that this seventh seal is in a threefold manner. Ele se desenvolve em três partes. It's divided into three parts. E uma parte se abriu ontem. One part opened yesterday, he said. Então, ontem, foi dia 23, ele pregou sobre o sexto selo. And yesterday was the 23rd, where he preached the sixth seal. E é quando ele vai nas trombetas. Where he was talk, he, he went to the trumpets. E toda a trombeta soa sob o sexto selo. And all the trumpets sounded under the sixth seal. E as trombetas estão ali em Apocalipse 8, 9 e 11. Revelation 8, 9 and 11. E entre essas trombetas está Apocalipse 10. And in between these trumpets we have Revelation 10. Então ele disse uma parte se abriu ontem. And he said one full on full yesterday. E no outro dia, 24 de março, ele prega sobre o sétimo selo. And on the 24th he, he of March he preached the seventh seal. La noite, a noite. At, at night time. Mas domingo de manhã. But Sunday 24, morning, the 24th ele, Sunday morning, ele abre para perguntas e respostas. He opened up for questions and answers. Então, naquele dia do sétimo selo, houve muitas perguntas. So that day, there was a lot of questions and answers. Mas à noite do mesmo dia. But all on the, on the same day. Como nós lemos aqui, chegada, pois, à tarde daquele dia. Just like this. It says in the scripture that it, it came at evening time. O primeiro da semana. The first day of the week. Cerradas as portas. O sétimo selo não é espetáculo público. The seventh seal is not a public spectacle. Ele pôs-se no meio deles e disse, Shalom. He said, Shalom. Ele não queria muitas perguntas sobre o sétimo selo. O anjo tinha advertido ele. He didn't want to... Huh? Sim. Just Ele like... que fizesse muitas perguntas. He didn't want o anjo to... havia advertido para não deixar isto muito claro demais. He didn't want a lot of questions about that. Mas ele disse assim... Ele disse, vocês But... deveriam ter prestado atenção a uma coisa muito grande acontecendo essa semana aqui. But he said you, you, you should pay attention to something great that is happening this week here. Todo tempo há algo se movendo aqui. There's always something moving here, all the time. Aleluia. Aleluia. Eu quero somente recorrer a uma citação do profeta ao nascer do sol. So, let me just read a quote, the, it is rising of the sun. E como essa mensagem foi citada desde sexta-feira. And like this message was uh, quoted Friday. Eu vou voltar a citá-la. I'll... Come on, quote us again. Eu vou diminuir a minha leitura, irmão Joná. Vou ler uh -huh. só 66 e 67 aqui do Brasil. Assim como Cristo foi o primeiro a levantar-se da tumba, entre os profetas e todos os demais, ainda que tipificado em muitos lugares como a primícia dos que dormiram, Era isso. 66. Uhum. Irmão, tem aí contigo? Isso é o, o nascer do sol? Sim, é o nascer do sol. Louvado seja o Senhor. Amém. O grande nascer do sol. Somente para dobrar a ponta aqui do cravo que pegamos. Acho que Vamos então... rapidamente receber o pastor Matthew Brahe. O servo do senhor já pode se preparar.
o irmão Brana vai dizer aqui, sobre esta ressurreição do pode, final. Pode ler, pastor. O 67, o molho movido, e que coisa foi esse, foi esse molho? This, foi. She was waved. Ah. Foi o primeiro grão que chegou ao, ao amadurecimento. Was the first ah. corn of wheat to come to maturity. O primeiro que provou que em verdade era trigo e que era um molho. The first that proved it was a grain of wheat. Aleluia, estou seguro que estão vendo o que estou lhes dizendo. He said, I'm sure that you have seen what I'm saying. Ele foi movido sobre o povo. He was weaved. Uh, pela primeira vez, haverá among... na era da noiva. Weave among the people. Haverá na era da noiva uma ressurreição dentre o denominacionalismo tão escuro. It was the first one to come to maturity. It was a wave as a memorial of thanksgiving to God, believing that the rest would come. Haverá uma mensagem mostrando que o amadurecimento completo da palavra tem voltado de novo em todo o seu poder. And today, because of it was the first son to come to full maturity to, uh, in God, he plucked up the, from the earth, it waved over the people. E que será movido sobre o povo por meio dos mesmos sinais e maravilhas, tal como ele fez no passado. And doing the same signs and wonders that he did back there in the past. Amém, amém. Amen. Louvado seja o Senhor. Let's be the name of the Lord. Foi muito bom ter estado com vocês esses, esses It poucos was minutos. So good to be with you all these few minutes here. Eu cheguei a pensar que meus amigos não deixariam nada para mim pregar, mas ficou um pouquinho aqui no fundo da panela. <laughs> I was thinking that my friends wouldn't leave anything for me to preach, but they leave a little bit in the pot for me. Na verdade, essa panela é a panela dourada que esse maná ele se restabelece. But this is, <laughs> but this is the golden pot, amen. Where the manna is always fresh. Louvado seja o Senhor. So, best be the name of the Lord. Graças a Deus, Deus abençoe a todos. Uh, thank God for bless. God bless you all. Nós vamos ter all. um hino agora, o hino Liberdade. We will have a little song right now, uh, Freedom. Logo depois, o pastor And... Matthew Bray. Right after that, Pastor Matthew Bry, he would take the... From the Mobile, in the state of Alabama, in the United States. From Mobile, Alabama, in the United States. Nosso amigo, nos encontramos geralmente as, nas reuniões. Our friend that we, uh, we get to know through the meetings. Amen. Deus abençoe, vamos ouvir o hino. So God bless. Let us hear this uh, song now, amen.
vejo O que o sangue fez por ti e por mim Vivificou nossas almas Nos trazendo esta doce vitória Os selos foram abertos Soldados feridos que precisam ser curados hoje, mas nada é impossível. Ossos secos podem viver, o sangue vai restaurar. Assim diz o Senhor: ou oh, glórias a Deus. O sangue clama a liberdade. Aquela colina de solidão Nem as suas pegadas de sangue Que marcaram A vereda de seu sofrimento Como os pregos Que transpassaram suas mãos E seus pés O véu Foi rasgado em dois ele viu a visão Esta igreja Esta igreja Comprada com o seu sangue Ele viu a mim E ele viu a você Agora estamos livres De toda a nossa escravidão As cadeias Todas se foram Morte Onde está o teu aguilhão? Eu ainda posso ouvir O sangue clamar Liberdade Liberdade
Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless you all. Amado sea el Señor. Que Dios les bendiga a todos. So happy to see everybody. Tan contento de ver a todos. Are you all still here? Todos todavía están aquí. Okay. If you're okay. still here, I'm still here. Si siguen aquí, yo también estoy aquí. <laughs> God bless you all so much. <laughs> que Dios les bendiga tanto. I wish I could pour you all some coffee. Me gustaría ponerles un poco de café. Or maybe some hot tea. O quizás un poco de té caliente. God bless you all. Que Dios les bendiga a todos. It's a great privilege and an honor to es be gathered and connected with you all around the world. Honra estar conectados con todos ustedes alrededor de la tierra. I have to be careful and not get overexcited and talk too fast. Tengo que tener cuidado de no emocionarme mucho y hablar muy rápido. But I'm very happy to be uh, united and gathered with everybody. Estoy muy contento de estar reunido jun y juntamente con ustedes. And uh, it's uh, about Parece que ya son quarter to 12 here, but that's okay. Dos y media o, o 15 para las 12 acá, pero está bien. Because our souls live in eternity. Porque nuestras <laughs> almas viven en la eternidad. <laughs> and so we, we're, we're doing good by the grace of God. Así que por la gracia de Dios estamos bien con el tiempo. I'd like to go ahead and read from Hebrews chapter 10, verse 35 to 39. De Hebreos 10, 35 a 39. We appreciate everybody so much, all of our minister brothers. Apreciamos a todos tanto de nuestros all, hermanos ministros. All the interpreters. A todos los intérpretes. We appreciate and love our precious brother Vin and all the great work and, out of Trinidad. Y amamos a nuestro precioso hermano Vin y todos los que están trabajando allá de Trinidad. So God bless you all so much we can stand for Hebrews Dios chapter 10. A todos vamos a ponernos de pie para Hebreos 10. What an hour we've come to, huh, brothers and sisters? ¿A qué hora hemos llegado, verdad, hermanos y hermanas? It's a great, great time for the Holy Ghost filled believer. Para el creyente lleno de espíritu. It's such an awesome privilege to speak to the blood bought and the spirit taught tonight. Es un privilegio tan grande hablarle a los comprados por la sangre y enseñados por el espíritu. Or this morning or this time, wherever, what part of the world we're in. En esta mañana o en cualquier horario en el que estén. So God bless you as we go to God's word. Que Dios les bendiga mientras entramos a la palabra del Señor. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 35. Hebreos 10, 35. Cast not away therefore your confidence, which hath great recompense no of reward. No perdáis pues vuestra confianza que tiene grande galardón. For you have need of patience. Porque os es necesaria la paciencia. That after you have done the will of God, you might receive the promise. Para que habiendo hecho la voluntad de Dios, obtengáis la promesa. For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come Porque and will not tarry. Un poquito, y el que ha de venir vendrá y no tardará. Now the just shall live by faith. Mas el justo vivirá por fe. But if any man draw back, my soul shall not have, my show, soul shall have no pleasure in him. Y si retrocediere, no agradará a mi alma. But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition, but of them that believe Pero to the saving of the soul. No somos de los que retroceden para perdición, sino de los que tienen fe para preservación del alma. I'd like to just pray with you briefly. Me gustaría orar con ustedes. Gracious Heavenly Father, God, we thank you so much, Lord, for these wonderful times we've had in your presence. Thank you for all these precious saints, Lord God, that's Gracias been so faithful, santos, Lord God, and que han sido tan fieles, so sincere, Lord, tan sincero, Señor, to sit in these meetings, Father God, and to glean from the Word. En esas reuniones, Señor Padre, y espigar de la Palabra. Lord, we just pray that you continue to rest your hand upon us in a mighty way. And if you tarry some more days or weeks or months, Lord, unos días o semanas o meses, Señor, we pray that you put strength into us, Father. Oramos que coloques fuerza en nosotros, Padre. May your grace be shed abroad in our hearts to give us strength in this hour. Que tu gracia sea colocada en nuestros corazones para darnos fuerza en esta hora. Give us such patience and grace to endure the hour. Danos tal paciencia y gracia para poder enfrentar la hora. And may, may, may the feeble hands be lifted up, Lord God, in this hour. Que las manos débiles sean levantadas, Señor Dios, en esta hora. Lord, I know how your Holy Spirit can put strength into us today. Señor, yo sé cómo tu Espíritu Santo puede colocar fuerza en nosotros en este día. And I pray for all the ministers, Lord God, and all the brothers and sisters ministros, around the world. Todos los hermanos y hermanas por toda la faz de la tierra. 
to receive angel visitation. Que reciban una visitación angelical. The outpouring of your Holy Spirit. El derramamiento de, su, de tu Espíritu Santo. Dreams, visions, and revelations. Con sueños, visiones y revelaciones. That will lead and guide us, O oh dear Lord Jesus. Que nos guíen, que nos lideren, Señor Jesús. May you have the preeminence, the leading, and the oversight. Que puedas tener la preeminencia, el liderazgo y la supervisión. And we ask your touch in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Pedimos tu toque especial en el nombre del Señor Jesucristo. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. You can have your seats. Dios les bendiga a todos. Pueden tomar asiento. And as you're having your seats, I'd like Mientras to uh, share a scripture with you. Se sientan. Me gustaría compartir una escritura con ustedes. Another scripture out of Exodus chapter 11. Otra escritura de Éxodo 11. So we've heard some truly great things tonight. Hemos oído unas cosas muy grandes esta noche. Last night and Friday night. Tremendas. Uh, anoche también, la noche ante pasada y antepasada. Well, pardon me, it's night for us over here on this part of the world. Bueno, discúlpeme, es de noche acá para nosotros esta parte del mundo. But it's a very stirring hour. Pero es una hora muy agitante. So many great things have been said already. Tantas grandes cosas ya se han dicho. I've enjoyed every bit of it. He disfrutado cada momento. The wife and I were sitting on the couch listening and we would look at each other. Mi esposa y yo nos sentábamos en, en el sillón y nos mirábamos a cada rato. Say, so that's exactly how we believe it. Diciendo, es exactamente como lo creemos nosotros. That's exactly how we understand it. Es exactamente como lo entendemos nosotros. It's so wonderful to have this fellowship and this connection. Es tan maravilloso tener este compañerismo, esta conexión. I think we are, we've been hearing from the same Holy Spirit. Creo que hemos estado oyendo del mismo Espíritu Santo. And it really shows in this kind of fellowship. Y en esta clase de compañerismo, eso realmente es lo que se muestra. And precious brother Alfredo was sharing those pictures about the eclipse. Cuando nuestro precioso hermano Alfredo estaba compartiendo las fotos de ese eclipse. I, I'm sure that you're aware, but I'll make mention of something. Estoy seguro que ustedes saben, pero voy a mencionar algo. In 2017, there was an eclipse that crossed the United States from the northwest to the southeast. En el 2017, hubo un eclipse sobre los Estados Unidos que cruzó del noroeste al, al este, al sureste. And now on April 8th, the eclipse will cross from the southwest to the northeast. Y ahora, ese eclipse va a cruzar desde el occidente del sur, el suroccidente o suroeste al noreste. The eclipse will cause darkness on the face of the earth. El eclipse va a causar unas tinieblas sobre la faz de la tierra. And darkness represents apostasy. Y tinieblas representan apostasía. And the United States is being X'd out with an eclipse. Y está viniendo una X sobre los Estados Unidos con este eclipse. To me, it's a sign of apostasy. Para mí es una señal de apostasía. So I don't know if you heard, but a few days ago, there was a cargo ship that hit a bridge up in Baltimore. No sé si ustedes saben, pero hace unos días hubo un barco que cruzó, chocó con un puente en Baltimore. The name of that bridge was Francis Scott Key. Y el nombre de ese puente era Francis Scott Key. Francis Scott Key is the one that wrote the Star Spangled Banner, which is the, the national anthem of the United States. Y saben que este hombre, Francis Scott uh, Key, es quien uh, compuso el himno nacional de los Estados Unidos. So a cargo ship hits the bridge. Así que un barco eh, choca con este puente. By the name of the man who wrote the national anthem. <laughs> un buque de carga uh, y que, y que uh, tiene, chocó con el puente de, con el nombre de el hombre que compuso el himno nacional. And the bridge hits the water. Y el puente cae en agua. You know something else is going to hit the water pretty soon here on the West Coast, huh? Saben, acá en la costa occidental hay algo que va a caer en el agua también muy pronto. The signs of judgment are everywhere. Las señales de juicio están en todas partes. I wonder if people can read the signs of the time. Yo me, me pregunto si es que la gente puede leer las señales de los tiempos. God is showing on every hand that judgment is at hand. Dios está mostrando en cada parte que juicio está a la mano. And if judgment is at hand for the world, then deliverance is at hand for the bride. Y si el juicio está a la mano para el mundo, entonces liberación está a la mano para la novia. So I want to share with you something from the scriptures today Así about algo de las escrituras hoy en día. Pati patiently enduring until the fulfillment of the promise. Uh, uh, sobre uh, aguantando pacientemente hasta el cumplimiento de la promesa. Having patience. Teniendo paciencia. Having longevity. 
teniendo uh, uh, long, long, longinamidad, longinamidad, uh, having endurance, teniendo, uh, pueden, pudiendo aguantar, having stamina, teniendo es, es, uh, fuerza, being able to run the race without getting exhausted, resistencia, pudiendo correr la carrera sin cansarse, longinamidad. And also for a subject, the token of separation. Como un tema, eh, la señal de separación. I try not to be too long, but we'll just get into some things here, if you don't mind. Uh, no, tardaré, no tardarme, intentaré no tardarme mucho, pero voy a, tengo unos pensamientos en mi mente, si no les importa. We love the scriptures, amen. Amamos las escrituras, amen. So Exodus chapter 11, verse 7. Así que Éxodo 11, versículo 7. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue. Pero contra todos los hijos de Israel, desde el hombre hasta la bestia, ni un perro moverá su lengua. Against man or beast. Dice, uh, desde el hombre hasta la bestia. That you may know how that the Lord que Jehová doth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. Hace diferencia entre los egipcios y los israelitas. We know that God came down in that first exodus and Sabemos here he's Dios saying he's going to make a difference. Descendió en el primer éxodo y aquí está diciendo que va a ser una diferencia. He's going to put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. Él va a colocar una diferencia, hacer diferencia entre los egipcios y los israelitas. And this prophet taught the Israelites how to apply the token in the evening time. Y ese profeta le enseñó a los israelitas cómo aplicar la señal en el tiempo del atardecer. And that token surely served as a token of separation. Y esa señal sirvió como una señal de separación. It was a token that separated Israel from the Egyptians. Era una señal que separó a Israel de los egipcios. The token kept the Israelites safe and under life. La, seño, la señal guardó a los israelitas uh, con vida. But the Egyptians fell under the judgment of death. Pero los egipcios cayeron bajo el juicio de muerte. For not receiving the truth of God's word. Por no recibir la verdad de la palabra de Dios. And God put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. Y Dios colocó una diferencia entre los egipcios y los israelitas. And there's been a message of a token in these last days. Y hubo un mensaje con la señal en esos últimos días. And that token life of Jesus Christ, the token of the innocent life. Y esa vida de la señal de Jesucristo. That life of Christ. Coming as a token has made a difference. Esa vida de Cristo que ha hecho la diferencia. It's put a difference between the bride and the church. Coloca una diferencia entre la novia y la iglesia. The Lord Jesus said, think not I've come to bring peace, but a sword. Dijo Jesús, no piensen que vine para traer paz, sino una espada. He said he's come to bring division. Dijo que él vino para traer división. And he certainly came in that first exodus to divide Israel from the Egyptians. Ciertamente vino en el primer éxodo para dividir, separar al israelita del egipcio. And with great power, God manifested his word of promise to Abraham's seed. su palabra de promesa a la simiente de Abraham. And the same Lord God has brought great power in these last days. And the brothers have been talking about quickening power. El mismo Señor Dios ha traído un gran poder en esos últimos días. Y nuestros hermanos han estado hablando del poder vivificador. The quickening power to understand the opening of the seals. El poder vivificador para entender la apertura de los sellos. Quickening power by the Holy Spirit. Poder vivificador por el Espíritu Santo. To understand the program of God in this hour. Entender el programa de Dios en esta hora. I like this passage in Exodus. Me gusta mucho este versículo en Éxodo. Because the Heavenly Father came down and he made a difference between Egypt and Israel. Porque el Padre Celestial descendió e hizo diferencia entre el egipcio y el israelita. And the way that God has manifested his promised word in the last days la manera que Dios ha manifestado su palabra prometida en los últimos días has surely set a difference between the bride and the church. Ciertamente ha colocado una diferencia entre la novia y la iglesia. God always makes that distinction. Dios siempre hace esa distinción. God's Holy Spirit manifesting the promised word el Espíritu Santo de Dios manifestando la palabra prometida it brings the distinction. Trae la, la distinción. It brings a separation. La diferencia trae una, una separación. Remember when Jesus came the first time? ¿Recuerdan cuando Jesús vino la primera vez? There were certain people that recognized he was the word being vindicated for their hour. Personas que él era la palabra siendo vindicada para su hora. And those that recognized the word being interpreted? Y aquellos quienes reconocieron la palabra siendo interpretada. They separated their whole lives onto that word. Separaron toda su vida 
y entraron en esa palabra. They recognized scripture being vindicated. Reconocieron la escritura siendo vindicada. And they recognized the manifestation of God, they separated to it. Y reconociendo la manifestación de la palabra de Dios, se separaron, se apartaron a, a seguir eso. And, how, and I'm sure many of us understand now Yo sé que muchos de nosotros ahora entendemos that there's a great pressure moving in the earth hay una gran presión moviéndose sobre la faz de la tierra to try to reverse the influence of the third exodus para intentar invertir la influencia del tercer éxodo. And the third exodus is like the first exodus. Y el tercer éxodo es como el primer éxodo. There's been a great token applied in the evening time for the bride. Ha habido una gran señal aplicada para la novia en el tiempo del atardecer. And this token has made a distinction between the bride and the church. Y esa señal ha causado una diferencia, una distinción entre la novia y la iglesia. But this pressure try is going to try to force the bride back into the church. Pero esta presión intenta forzar a la novia de vuelta a la iglesia. The message said, come out of her, my people. Pero el mensaje dijo, salid de ella, pueblo mío. But now the pressure of the world government through the Pero church and all la, the organizations. La presión del gobierno mundial por medio de la iglesia y las denominaciones. Are going to try to cause the bride that's been called out to go back in. Las organizaciones intentan mover a la novia de vuelta a la iglesia de donde salieron. Just like the Egyptians and the Pharaoh tried to bring Israel back. Igual como Egip, um, el faraón y, y los egipcios intentaban atraer, Israel, atraer a Israel de vuelta. God got Israel separated from Egypt. Dios separó a Israel de Egipto. But the Egyptians wanted to drag them back. Pero los egipcios querían jalarlos de vuelta. Bring them back under bondage. Traerlos de vuelta bajo esclavitud. To subject them. Para someterlos. But we, we, we know that that wasn't God's program. Pero sabemos que ese no fue el programa de Dios. The Egyptians failed. Los egipcios fallaron. Because God divided the Red Sea for Israel to cross over. Porque Dios partió el Mar Rojo para que Israel cruzara. But he divided that sea for the Israelites, not the Egyptians. Pero él partió ese mar para los israelitas, no para los egipcios. <laughs> he drowned the Egyptians in that water. Más bien ahogó a los egipcios en esa misma agua. When God calls for separation, he means to separate. Una separación. Él realmente quiere decir separación. We've seen through these many years people Hemos visto a través walk in the message. La gente caminando en el mensaje. And pressure comes. Y viene la presión. Trials come. Viene la tribulación. The test of time starts to weigh heavy upon people. Y las pruebas del tiempo comienzan a pesar sobre la gente. And we've seen it in 2009, in 2012, people go back into the world. En el 2009, en el 2012, ¿cómo es que la gente por muchos, por montones, regresan al mundo? People leave the message and go back into the world church system. Gente que dejó el mensaje y regresa al sistema mundial de iglesias. Well, that's contrary to the reason why God sent a prophet. Pues eso es contrario a la razón por la cual Dios envió un profeta. God sent us a prophet to be called out of the world system. Dios nos envió un profeta para sacarnos fuera del sistema mundial. And since we've been called out, God wants us to stay out. Y ya que hemos sido sacados fuera, Dios quiere que nos quedemos fuera. There's coming a great, great showdown. Viene un gran enfrentamiento. Between the Lord Jesus Christ and the denominations. Entre el Señor Jesucristo y las denominaciones. The world system is el the spirit of Antichrist. Es el espíritu de Anticristo. The spirit of Antichrist wants to mix everything up and el mix it all together. Cristo quiere mezclarlo todo, todo y juntarlo. The spirit of this world wants you to think that you're no different than anybody else. El espíritu de este mundo quiere que usted piense que no es diferente a cualquier de otra persona. But you are different. Pero sí son diferentes. Because God called you out of this world to walk in his word. Porque Dios los llamó fuera de este mundo para caminar en su palabra. And you're separated from even the way the world thinks. Y están separados aún desde el del pensamiento del mundo. You're separated from the way even the world talks. En, están separados aún de, de la forma en, de hablar del mundo. You're separated from the kinds of teachings and doctrines that the world embraces. Separados de las enseñanzas y doctrinas que el mundo abraza. You've been separated unto the full body word of the Son of Man. Han sido separados al cuerpo palabra del Hijo del Hombre. And you know the strength and the power that full word is able to lift you out of this earth. Y conocen que la fuerza y el poder en esa plenitud de la palabra tiene la fuerza para sacarlos de esta tierra. If that quickening power has lifted you out of life of sin, 
Si ese poder vivificador los ha sacado de una vida de pecado, then that same quickening power can lift us out of mortal life and take us to immortality. Ese mismo poder vivificador nos puede sacar de la vida mortal a la inmortalidad. Listen to the scripture in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 16 and 17. Escuchen esta escritura en 1 Corintios 6, 16 a 17. The Holy Spirit speaking through the Apostle Paul. El Espíritu Santo hablando por el medio del, del Apóstol Pablo. 1 Corinthians 16, verse 16, he says, what? Primera de Corintios 6, 16, dice. And that's what I want to say in this hour right now. What? O no sabéis, es lo que quiero decir yo ahora en esta hora. The no Holy sabéis? Spirit has called us out. El Espíritu Santo nos ha llamado fuera. And Ahab sent a compliance officer to call Micaiah to bring him over. Y acá llamó un oficial de, 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 de cumplimiento a, a, a Micaías para verlo. Para the Philistines sent a compliance officer to the camp of Jehovah to challenge him. Visitarle. Los filisteos también enviaron un, un agente de cumplimiento a, a, al campamento de los israelitas. And I say what Brother, pa Brother Paul says, what? Y yo voy a decir lo mismo que, que dice aquí el apóstol Pablo. ¿No sabéis? No, you not that he which is joined unto an harlot is one body? El que se une con una ramera es un cuerpo con ella. This message has separated us from a harlot system. Este mensaje nos ha separado de un sistema de rameras. And this pressure is coming to make us try to be bundled up and, and, and brought together with them. Para intentar atarnos en manojos juntamente con ellos. I don't want to be identified with no Trinitarian group. Yo no quiero identificarme con ningún grupo trinitario. I don't believe in Trinitarianism. Yo no creo en el Trinitarianismo. But they just want to take everybody of faith or religion or Christianity and just throw them all in one big melting pot. Pero ellos quieren traer a todos los de la cristiandad y ponerlos en una, en una olla nada más. I've got a problem with that, don't you? Yo tengo un problema con eso. ¿Qué, qué no usted? We got the token of separation upon our lives. Nosotros tenemos la señal de separación sobre nuestras vidas. It says, what? Know ye not that he which is joined into an harlot is one body? Como dice aquí la escritura en inglés, dice, ¿qué? ¿O no sabéis que el que se une con una ramera es un cuerpo con ella? For two, saith he, shall be one flesh. Dice, porque dice, los dos serán una sola carne. But he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. Pero... Dice, el que se une al Señor, un espíritu es con él. The world disagrees with us and we disagree with the world. El mundo está en desacuerdo con nosotros y nosotros estamos en desacuerdo con el mundo. Because God has given us a different spirit. Porque Dios nos ha dado un espíritu diferente. God has given us a holy spirit of truth. Dios nos ha dado un espíritu santo de verdad. The world wants you to compromise all the time. El mundo quiere que usted se comprometa a cada rato. But God didn't call us to compromise. God called us to stand on his word of promise. Dios no nos llamó a comprometernos. Él nos llamó a pararnos en sus palabras de promesa. Do you remember when the Lord Jesus said? ¿Se acuerdan cuando el Señor Jesús dijo? Because you've kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee. Por cuanto han guardado la palabra de mi paciencia, yo también los guardaré. It's Revelation chapter 3. Es Apocalipsis capítulo 3. You know what it means to keep the word of his patience, amen? ¿Saben lo que significa guardar la palabra de su paciencia, amen? That means once you've received the promised word, eso significa que una vez que han recibido la palabra prometida, you have to wait patiently for it to be fulfilled. Tienen que esperar pacientemente para que se cumpla. Just like when Abraham was given a promise. Igual como se le dio una promesa a Abraham. Then God tested Abraham on that promise. Entonces Dios probó a Abraham sobre esa promesa. Abraham was tested after he was given the promise. Abraham fue probado después de que se le dio la promesa. Do you remember the story of the rich son of the Arm and Hammer Company that come down from Chicago? ¿Se acuerdan de, de, de um, el hijo del dueño de la compañía Arm and Hammer de Chicago? And he, he made a promise to that little humble wash girl. De, de, el dueño de la hacienda, ¿cómo es que le hizo una promesa a, a esa um, ama de casa? There was a message that came and gave a promise to a humble little wash girl. Hubo un, un mensaje que le dio una promesa a, a, a una que estaba, a, que se encargaba de lavar las cosas. And she received that promise. Una doncella, y ella recibió esa promesa. But the son left and said, I'll be back to get you in a one pero, year's time. Pero el hijo se fue y le dio una promesa, le dijo, voy a regresar por ti en un año. 
And that poor little girl had to wait patiently. Y esa pobre doncella tuvo que esperar pacientemente. But she held to the word of his promise. Pero ella se aferró a la palabra de su promesa. No matter what the denominational cousins were esa saying or doing, sirvienta. she held to his promise. A pesar de todo lo que sus primas denominacionales le estaban diciendo, ella se aferró a la promesa. She had to patiently wait. Ella tuvo que esperar pacientemente. She had to patiently endure. Ella, ella tuvo que aguantar uh, pacientemente. There are so many pressures coming. Resistir. Había tanta presión que venía. But she, he, she knew that he was a faithful man. Pero ella sabía que él es un hombre fiel. And she knew that his word of promise was her only hope. Y ella sabía que su, su palabra de promesa era toda su esperanza, su única esperanza. But brothers and sisters, the time between the promise Pero hermanos y hermanas, el tiempo desde la promesa and the fulfillment of that promise, cumplimiento de esa promesa, it was the great test of time. Ese fue la gran prueba del tiempo. Remember the opening of the seals. ¿Se acuerdan de la apertura de los sellos? All this great word that God has given us. Toda esa gran palabra que Dios nos ha dado. He's exposed the scheme of the enemy. Él expuso el esquema, las tramas del enemigo. He's exposed the sin and the evil of organization. Expuso todo el pecado y, y las, ma, lo, mal, lo malo de las organizaciones. La He's got a people around the world separated and called out. Y él tiene un pueblo por todo el mundo esparcido, separado, llamado fuera. I believe the Lord Jesus is watching us close. Yo creo que el Señor Jesús nos está observando cuidadosamente. I believe he's watching the attitude that we walk in in this hour. Yo creo que él está observando la actitud con la cual caminamos en esta hora. How many of you know this Lord Jesus is faithful to keep his word? ¿Cuántos de ustedes saben que este Señor Jesús es fiel para guardar su palabra? But the time between the opening of the seals Pero el tiempo entre la apertura de los sellos and the literal resurrection and translation y la resurrección literal y la traslación that time in there has been the great test of time. Tiempo en medio ha sido la gran, el gran tiempo de la prueba. Oh, how our elders can tell us what they've seen through the years. La prueba del tiempo. Oh, nos, nuestros ancianos nos pueden contar de las cosas que han visto a través de los años. So many fights and so many battles. Tantas luchas, tantas peleas. Do you remember in the book of Judges when every man did what was right in his own eyes? ¿Se acuerdan del libro de jueces donde todos hicieron lo que les parecía bien en sus ojos? All the confusion and all the upset that was going on during the time of the judges. Y todo el enojo y los problemas que, que surgieron en el tiempo de los jueces. <laughs> But in spite of all that, there was a Gentile named Ruth coming into marriage union with Boaz. De todo eso, había una gentil llamada Ruth que entró en una unión de matrimonio con Boaz. In the midst of all that confusion, there was a marriage union going on. En, en medio de toda esa confusión, confusión, había un matrimonio ocurriendo. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Through all the testing times in the book of Judges, there was a Ruth coming into marriage union. De prueba, en el tiempo del libro de jueces, había una Ruth que estaba entrando en una unión. How many Ruths we got there around the world? ¿Cuántas Ruths tenemos por todo el mundo? In spite of all the fighting in the church world? A pesar de todas las luchas y las guerras de iglesia? And in, in spite of all the confusion among message churches? Y a pesar de toda la confusión de las iglesias del mensaje? You're not confused. Ustedes no están confundidos. Because your soul is in marriage union with Christ himself. Su alma está en una unión de matrimonio con Cristo mismo. A living Christ and a living bride. Un Cristo vivo y una iglesia viva, una novia viva. And that quickening power is the keeping power of God's grace. Y ese poder vivificador es el poder que los guarda de la gracia de Dios. I'd like to draw your pues attention to Genesis chapter 24. Ahora quiero llevar su atención a Génesis 24. Genesis chapter 24 is a great, great chapter for us. Amen. Genesis 24 es un capítulo muy tremendo para nosotros. Amen. Genesis chapter 24 holds a mystery about our lives. Genesis 24 guarda un misterio sobre nuestras vidas. It holds the mystery about the token of separation. Tiene el, 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 uh, la señal del misterio de, de, de la separación. In Genesis 24 is our story. En Genesis 24 se encuentra nuestra historia. You know it's when Abraham sent his faithful servant Eleazar. Saben que es cuando Abraham envió a su siervo fiel Eliezer. He sent Eleazar to hunt that bride for Isaac. Él envió a Eliezer para buscar esa novia para Isaac. Genesis 24 is the longest chapter of the whole book of Genesis. Genesis 24 es el capítulo más largo de todo el libro de Genesis. 
And it's all about bringing the beautiful Rebecca to Isaac. Y todo se trata de traer esa hermosa Rebeca para Isaac. Amen. Amen. I'd like to draw your attention to verse 10. Quiero llevar su atención, llamar su atención al versículo 10. Genesis 24, verse 10. Genesis 24, versículo 10. It says, and the servant took 10 Dice, camels. Y el criado tomó 10 camellos. 10 camels of the camels of his master. 10 camellos de los camellos de su señor. And departed. Y se fue. For all the goods of his master were in his hand. Tomando toda clase de regalos escogidos de su señor. He arose and went to Mesopotamia. Puesto en camino, llegó a Mesopotamia. Unto the city of Nahor. A la ciudad de Nacor. That's where Abraham came from. De ahí vino Abraham. Remember, Abraham made Eleazar swear with an oath. Recuerden que Abraham hizo jurar a Eliezer con un juramento. And put his hand under Abraham's thigh. Y colocó su mano sobre el muslo de Abraham. And Abraham put Eleazar, his faithful servant, under an oath. Y Abraham colocó a Eliezer, su siervo fiel, bajo una, un pacto. That he would not take a wife from anybody in Canaan land, but go to his country and bring a wife to Isaac. Que no iba a traer una esposa de la tierra de Canaán, sino que iba a ir a su país a conseguir una esposa. And su tierra. Y that oath, ese pacto, ese juramento, was about not letting Isaac return back. Se trataba de prevenir que Isaac regresara. Because Abraham knew that he was called out and separated. Porque Abraham sabía que él fue llamado fuera y fue separado. Abraham knew he was separated and his seed was separated. Abraham sabía que él fue separado y su simiente fue separada. And he made Eliezer swear by an oath, do not let Isaac go back to there. Y él hizo que Eliezer jurara por juramento, no hagas que Isaac regrese allá. Once we come out, we can't go back. Una vez que salimos fuera, no podemos regresar. There's no way to go back to. No, no, hay, no hay a dónde regresar. We got to go forward in the continuity of God's promised word. Tenemos que seguir adelante en la continuidad de la palabra prometida de Dios. Amen to God. Amen se ha dado a Dios. But these camels. Pero estos camellos. You notice it's verse 10. Notan aquí en este versículo 10. And it's 10 camels. Y son 10 camellos. I want to know why camels. Yo quiero saber, saber por qué camellos. I said, Lord, in Revelation 19, Yo decía, Señor, en, en Apocalipsis 19, the saints are following Jesus on white horses. Los santos siguen a Jesús en caballos blancos. Well, we know that a, a, an animal in the Bible represents a power. Pues sabemos que un animal en la Biblia representa un poder. But I mean, you look at a big, beautiful white stallion, a great, strong charger, a horse. Pero ustedes saben, si se ponen a mirar a un, a un cemental uh, blanco, fuerte. And then you look at a camel. Caballo cemental y, y después miran un camello. It's like, huh. It's como What que, a camel sure looks funny compared to a horse. Rasca la cabeza uno y dice, un camello se ve hasta raro comparado al, al caballo. Why 10 camels? Why not 10 big, beautiful white stallions to carry that bride? ¿Por qué 10 camellos? ¿Por qué no 10 caballos cementales fuertes para llevar esa novia? Well, did you ever consider the characteristics of a camel? Pues alguna vez han considerado las características del camello? Do you know that hump on the camel's back? ¿Saben lo que significa uh, lo, uh, el, la joroba de los camellos? A lot of people think that's where the camel stores its water, but it's not. That's where the camel stores fat. Mucha gente piensa que ahí es donde el camello uh, uh, retiene el agua, pero eso no es cierto. Ahí retiene un montón de grasa. That camel can store 80 pounds of fat in that hump. Ese camello puede retener ahí 80 libras de grasa. And when a camel goes on a long journey where there ain't no food, he's got food with him packing on his back. Y cuando el camello hace un viaje largo donde no va a comer, él tiene un montón de alimento ahí en su espalda. You might have heard of how much water a camel can drink. Quizás han oído de cuánta agua puede tomar un camello. A camel can drink 30, 40, 50 gallons of water in just a few minutes. Y un camello puede beber hasta 30, 40, 50 galones de agua o como 100, casi 200 litros. It's interesting the characteristics of a camel. Muy interesante las características del camello. 
The camel can drink so much water and retain so much water. El camello puede beber mucha agua y retener mucha agua. It has its own food source from the fat it stores up on the back. Tiene su propio uh, alimento de, de, de la grasa que está um, coleccionando o, o reteniendo ahí en su espalda, en su joroba. The camel's blood cells are, are God made the blood cell in an oval shape to retain water. A lot of water in the blood cells. Y la célula de sangre del camello es, es, es uh, compuesto de una forma como óvulo para poder retener un montón de agua. All that water a camel drinks is stored in its respiratory system. O, o, ovalado, ovalado. Y, y también uh, todo lo que, lo que bebe el camello es, entonces es guardado allí en su sistema sanguíneo. Whenever a camel breathes and exhales, you know that whenever you exhale, moisture leaves your body. Y saben que hasta en su sistema respiratorio también retiene agua. Saben que cuando usted respira y exhala, está sacando uh, uh, humedad de su cuerpo. When a camel exhales and breathes out, its nostrils has a way to trap the moisture. Cuando un camello exhala, su nariz tiene una, un sistema para retener toda la humedad. The camel retains its moisture and doesn't let none of it escape its body. El camello retiene la humedad y no permite que nada salga de su cuerpo. Are you recognizing any characteristics about a camel? ¿Acaso están reconociendo alguna característica de ese camello? You know how a true believer that's filled with the Holy Ghost can retain a lot of nutrients of the Word. Santo puede retener muchos nutrientes de la palabra? That camel can go a hundred miles across the desert and not eat or drink. Ese camello puede viajar a uh, unas cien, uh, 170 kilómetros por el desierto y, y, y no cansarse. Because everything that camel has need of is already on the inside of the camel. Porque todo lo que necesita ese camello ya está dentro del camello. And Brother Branham says, that's the way a Christian is. El hermano Branham dice, así es la forma que es un cristiano. We are planted together in Christ Jesus. Somos colocados juntos, plantados juntos en Cristo Jesús. Who is the inexhaustible fountain of life. Quien es la fuente inexhaustible de, de vida. We're planted in Christ. Fuimos plantados, sembrados en Cristo. And we just drank and drank and drank. La fuente inagotable y solamente bebi, bebemos y bebemos y bebemos. You watch a camel drink, that's what he does. He just drinks and drinks camello, and drinks. Eso es lo que hace. Él bebe y bebe y bebe. And what he drinks, he has a way to retain all that water. Y lo que él bebe, él tiene una manera de retener toda esa agua. You know what I'm talking about, saints? ¿Sabe de lo que estoy hablando, santos? When you receive the earnest of God's promise, the Holy Cuando Spirit. Usted, ustedes recibieron uh, el, el, la promesa del Espíritu de Dios. That Holy Spirit comes into you. Ese Espíritu Santo entra en ustedes. And it helps you retain the things that you need for your journey. Le ayuda a retener todo lo que necesita para su jornada. And not only did one camel go, but ten camels went. Y no fue solamente un camello, sino diez camellos. Amen. Amen. God knows how to give us abundance. Dios sabe cómo darnos en abundancia. The enemy wants you to think you just barely got enough to make it. El enemigo quiere hacerle pensar que apenas tiene lo suficiente para llegar a la, a la meta. The truth is our Heavenly Father has provided more than enough to Pero make la it. la verdad es que nuestro Padre Celestial ha provisto más que suficiente para llegar. Amen. Amen. The Lord Jesus is the inexhaustible fountain of life. El Señor Jesús es esa fuente inagotable de vida. We're planted in Christ and we just drink and drink Hemos and drink. En Cristo y solamente bebemos y bebemos y bebemos. Then we push out. Y, y después echamos fuera. And Brother Branham says here in this statement that I know that you're familiar with. He says, everything we have need of for the earthly journey. Dice, Todo lo que necesitamos para la jornada terrestre, divine healing, the power of God. Sanidad divina, el poder de Dios. And all these other things is in every individual in here. Todas estas cosas están en cada individuo aquí. That's received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Ha recibido el bautismo del Espíritu Santo. For you're planted in Christ, hallelujah. Fueron sembrados en Cristo, hallelujah. The Holy Ghost baptism, yes, sir. El bautismo del Espíritu Santo, sí, señor. And everything that you have need of for this life's journey. Y todo lo que necesitan para la jornada de esta vida. Even the rapture. Aún el rapto. Is right in you then. Está ahí mismo en ustedes. 
So maybe that's why camels went to carry Rebecca. <laughs> Así que por eso es que los camellos fueron a, a cargar a Rebecca. But how that great message of Eliezer. Pero cómo ese gran mensaje de Eliezer. Brought that separation. Trajo esa separación. You know, Brother Branham had 10 sermons to deal with seven seals. El hermano Branham tuvo 10 sermones para lidiar con siete sellos. Amen. Amen. I, I, I like this number 10. A mí me gusta mucho el número 10. The number 10 makes me think the elected of God. El número 10 me hace pensar en los elegidos de Dios. Did you know Brother Branham talked about a tithe representing the elect? ¿Saben que el hermano Branham habló del diezmo representando los elegidos? Uh, I can read this for you. I'm sure you might be familiar with this, but voy check a, this out. Leerles eso. Yo quizás estén familiarizados ya, pero voy a leérselos. Observen esto. You know how there is, you know, the number 10 in the Bible means a lot. Ustedes saben, el número 10 en la Biblia significa mucho. Is our seventh seal in Revelation chapter 10? Nuestro séptimo sello está en Apocalipsis 10. There's a good reason for it. Hay una buena razón por ello. Do you know that the elect are listed or numbered in Revelation chapter 5 verse 11? ¿Saben que en Apocalipsis 5, 11 los elegidos son uh, numerados? It says 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands. Dice 10,000 uh, por 10,000 y miles de miles. There are enumerations of 10. Están numerados por 10. Remember in Luke chapter 15 when the Lord Jesus was speaking the parable about a shepherd going to find a sheep? How many sheep was there? A hundred. ¿Saben cuántas ovejas? Había una vez en la escritura donde se menciona ovejas. ¿Saben cuántas ovejas dejó cuando se perdió una? Dice que habían cien. Ten times ten. Eso es diez por diez. And then a few verses later, he's talking about the, the woman with the ten pieces of silver in her hair bonnet. Unos cuantos versículos después, él habla de una mujer que tiene diez diademas como de corona y son diez. The Lord Jesus is talking about the elect. El Señor Jesús está hablando de los elegidos. If a shepherd has a hundred sheep and he loses one, he leaves the ninety-nine to go after that one. El pastor tiene cien ovejas y pierde una, él deja las noventa y nueve para ir por esa. Just like the Heavenly Father is not going to be satisfied with just 99 of his children, he has to have all 100 of them. Igual el Padre Celestial no estará satisfecho con 99 de sus hijos. Él quiere a todos los 100. That woman that, was, that lost that one coin, esa mujer que perdió el denario, she didn't say, oh, well, at least I have nine. Uh, en los 10 denarios que tenía en su, en su cabeza como corona, ella no dijo, bueno, pues me quedan nueve. She said no. She had to search diligently and she lit up every no. candle and looked everywhere in the house. Ella tuvo que buscar diligentemente, levantó todo en la casa, limpió todo, todo. Nine pieces wasn't good enough. She had to have ten. Nueve denarios no era suficiente. Ella tenía que tener diez. So praise God, brothers. Así que alabado sea Dios, hermanos. Praise God, my brothers and sisters. Alabado sea Dios, hermanos y hermanas. This message is sent to call an elect. Este mensaje fue enviado para llamar una elegida. And that elect is not an open number. It's a sealed number. Y esos elegidos no es un número abierto. Es un número, un número específico. That means there's only so many elected members of the bride. Significa que solamente hay tantos elegidos de la novia. I'll draw your attention to something in the book of Revelations. Deje, déjeme llamarle su atención a algo en, en el libro de Apocalipsis aquí. Look in Revelation chapter 5 with me. Miren ahí en Apocalipsis 5 conmigo. In Revelation chapter 5, verse 11. In Apocalipsis 5, 11. John writes here. Y aquí escribe Juan. It says, and the number of them. Dice, y su número. Was 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands. Como les digo, en español dice millones de millones, pero en inglés dice 10,000 por 10,000 y miles de miles. But go to Revelation chapter 7. Cuando vamos ahora a Apocalipsis 7, in verse 4, en el versículo 4, John says, and I heard the number of them. Dice Juan, y oí el número de los sellados. In Revelation chapter 5, verse 11, it was the number of the Gentile bride. En Apocalipsis 5, 11, era el número de la novia gentil. In Revelation chapter 7, verse 4, it's the number of the 144,000. In Apocalipsis 7:4 es el número de 244,000. It's a specific number. 
Es un número específico. But there's a whole other group of people that John sees. Pero hay todo otro grupo de personas que Juan ve. Remember in verse 13, the elders asked John, who are these? ¿Se acuerdan que en el versículo 13, los ancianos le preguntaron a Juan, ¿quiénes son estos? Do you know what John said about these? ¿Saben lo que dijo Juan sobre estos? He said it's a great multitude which no man could number. <laughs> Dice que era una gran multitud que ningún hombre podía numerar. That's in verse 9. Eso está en el versículo 9. So the elect are a certain number. Lo cual nadie podía contar. Así que los elegidos tienen un número. The 144,000 are a certain number. Los 144,000 tienen un número. But the saved, it's an open number. Pero los salvos, ahí sí es un número abierto. Paul wrote in the book of Hebrews, he saves to the uttermost. Pablo escribió en el libro de los Hebreos que él salva hasta los fines. Amen to God. Are you glad for that? Amen a Dios. ¿Están contentos por eso? Amen. Amen. So he took those 10 camels. Así que él tomó sus 10 camellos. 10 is a very interesting number in the Bible. Y ese es un número muy interesante en la Biblia. You know, Jesus said that the kingdom of heaven is like 10 virgins. Saben que Juan, uh, o que Jesús dijo más bien, que el reino de Dios es como 10 vírgenes. You know that uh, Daniel saw 10 toes. Saben que Daniel vio 10 dedos del pie. You know that a kingdom, a lot of times in the Bible, is referred with a number 10. Y saben que el reino en la Biblia también muchas veces se, se refiere al reino con el número 10. Do a word search in your Bible. The word kingdom, the first time it shows up. Y, y si ustedes hacen una búsqueda en sus Biblias, cuando buscan la palabra reino. Is Genesis chapter 10, verse 10. La primera vez que aparece esa palabra es en Génesis 10, 10. The first time the word kingdom appears la, in the Bible. La primera vez que la palabra reino aparece en la Biblia. So we're talking about an elected people that's separated. Estamos hablando de un pueblo elegido que es, que es separado. You're a separated people. Son un pueblo separado. So I just want to encourage you tonight, my brothers and sisters, or today. Así que quiero alentar los mis hermanos y hermanas uh, en este Don't día. never feel like you're alone. Your brothers and sisters around the world are praying for you. Se sientan solos. Sus hermanos y hermanas alrededor de la tierra están orando por ustedes. Amen. God bless your precious believing hearts. Amen. Que Dios bendiga sus preciosos corazones creyentes. We know we have some great things to face in this hour. Sabemos que tenemos unas grandes cosas que enfrentar en esta hora. But God has called us to make a great stand in this hour. Pero Dios nos ha llamado a, a, a pararnos, tomar una gran decisión, un, un puesto en esta hora. God's word can never fail. La palabra de Dios nunca puede fallar. You know how God has provided such spiritual blessings for all of you? ¿Saben cómo Dios ha provisto tan, tantas bendiciones espirituales para ustedes? God sent a prophet. Dios envió un profeta. God sent the fivefold ministry. Dios les envió el quíntuple ministerio. God sent the presence of the angel of the Lord. Dios envió la presencia del ángel del Señor. The Lord's going to bring his bride to perfection in this hour. El Señor va a traer a su novia a perfección en esta hora. I believe that with all my heart. Yo creo eso con todo mi corazón. We believe as this pressure increases, y creemos que mientras que aumenta esta presión, so will the anointing of the Lord increase upon his bride. También aumentará la unción del Señor sobre su novia. You know what the promise is? ¿Saben cuál es la promesa? When the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord raises a Cuando standard viene against it. Cuando el enemigo como ríos, el Señor levanta bandera. Amen. May God bless you to keep your heart and your mind stayed on the Lord Amen. Jesus. Que Dios les bendiga, que mantenga sus mentes en el Señor Jesús. Stay in fellowship of the word. Manténganse en el compañerismo de la palabra. May God bless you to understand and keep moving in your prayer life. Que Dios les continúe bendiciendo para uh, crecer en su vida de oración también. In the reading of the Bible and the message of God's prophet. En la lectura de la Biblia y el mensaje del profeta de Dios. And may you hold the ministry in prayerful considerations in this hour. Y que mantengan al ministerio bajo consideración en oración en esta hora. And God will lead us to the victory through the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Y Dios nos llevará la victoria por la sangre derramada de Jesucristo. Amen. Amen. We appreciate every single one of you. Apreciamos a cada uno de ustedes. I want to say how much we appreciate Brother Vin and Brother Timmy and Brother Gideon. Quiero expresar cuánto apreciamos al hermano Vin, el hermano Timmy y el hermano Gideon. 
And all my precious minister brothers, we sit together every Tuesday night in the Zoom fellowship. Y todos mis preciosos hermanos ministros, nos sentamos cada noche, lo, los martes en la noche juntos. It's the highlight of my week. Es el mejor momento de mi semana. God bless my brother Simon. I seen him stand up with great courage last night. Brother Simon. A mi hermano Simón. Yo lo vi como se levantó con gran valentía anoche. Dios te bendiga, hermano Simón. Hearing from my precious brother Etoc. Y oyendo de mi precioso hermano Etoc. Precious brother Ever. Mi precioso hermano Ever. Brother Felipe. Hermano Felipe. Our dear brother, beloved friend, brother, uh, brother Vin. Y también nuestro amado, querido amigo, hermano Vin. And then Brother Alfredo laboring in that word tonight. Y el hermano Alfredo también trabajando arduamente en esta palabra esta noche. And our dear precious brother Samuel from Brazil. Y nuestro querido y precioso hermano Samuel de Brasil. I was serious about it. I wish I could pour you all some coffee. We can have some fellowship. <laughs> lo, lo, lo decía en serio. Quería darles un poco de café para tener un buen compañerismo aquí. God bless all the interpreters and all the workers. Y Dios bendiga a todos los intérpretes, todos los que trabajaron. And we want you all to know that right here in Mobile, Alabama, we're praying for you all and keeping you all lifted up before the Lord. Queremos que sepan que aquí en Mobile, Alabama, estamos orando por ustedes y levantándolos en oración. Amen. May the Holy Spirit bless your hearts. Amen. Que el Espíritu Santo bendiga sus corazones. I believe we're going to have a song, uh, Sprinkle Me, Speckled Dove. Creo que vamos a tener un canto, Rociame. Paloma and then Brother Ever is to take the service after that. Y el hermano Ever va a tomar el servicio después de eso. I so appreciate this time that I've had with you. Aprecio tanto este tiempo que he tenido con ustedes. It's very, very precious to have fellowship like this and share the word of es the Lord. Es muy precioso tener compañerismo como este y compartir la palabra del Señor. May God bless you que under Dios the token of separation. Dios bendiga bajo la señal de separación. Amen. You're a called out people. Amen. Son un pueblo separado. There's no way to go back. We got to go forward. No hay manera que regresar. Amen. God bless your precious hearts. I believe Brother Gideon told me we'll have that song and Brother Ever can have the service. God bless you all. Sprinkle me, speckle dove, flying holy, holy, holy. Sprinkle me, speckle dove, with your precious holy blood. And while you're flying on the eighth day, with the blood of your mate, it's the only hope for a leper. For his cleansing in that day I've considered a leper In the day of his cleansing All his hope was in two turtle doves The thing that held him captive his life will finally, finally be utterly destroyed and while she's fluttering her wings in the evening time crying holy holy unto the Lord it will surely bring full deliverance and set him free sprinkle me speckled Flying holy, 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 sprinkle me, speckle dove, with your precious holy blood. And while you're flying on the eighth day, with the blood of your mate, it's the only hope for a leper, for his cleansing. He was led to Calvary And he was crucified And his blood put on the bride He was 
was a perfect sacrifice that was slain for our sins so we could be free from the power of indwelling sin and when he hung in the midst of heaven and earth spoiling principalities and powers he conquered worlds both seen and unseen when he cried To the Lord, hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Estamos tan felices, hermanos. We're so happy, Empe brothers. Este Ve, you know, hearing this song, sit for a moment. Si es que están en pie, I know en if you're tiempo. standing, uh, be seated for a moment. I want to let you know that, eh, bueno, me ahora well, esta they me gave me now la, this participation. Día, me toca and, esto, you know, you didn't tell, they, they didn't put my picture <laughs> in the program ad, so <laughs> I'm not going to preach, just for a moment. <laughs> We're so happy, you know, for what God has given us. Uh, we're so happy. The Lord is so special. You know, what, what can I say? I, I want to make very apparent the effort of the Lord's servants to bring something. There's something that comes to the hearts of the children of God, you know. You come with expectation, and the ministers of God, they come with an expectation too, because they've been praying and surrendering, making themselves available to bring something that can stimulate our faith. So we thank the effort and the dedication of the servants of God today, Brother Alfredo, who began, and then our brother Samuel, our brother Matthew. You know, um, at the end, when Brother Matthew was entering into his subject, I felt like we were taking like a second wind and we're going to shoot up even f farther high. So, well, I think in my heart, brother, you know, on all these things, because we're talking about Easter, we're talking about the resurrection, we're talking about there being a confusion among people, those that have, that have heard Jonah's prophecy and the vision of Nahum, Nahum, of Nahum. And here now, this separation that God is doing, all of this, all of this showing how the Lord is here in our midst. And Brother Branham preached this message, go tell. He says, what good does it do you to go if you don't have, if you have nothing to say? We haven't just gone. Every one of us, sons and daughters of God, we haven't just gone. We have gone out because we have something to tell. 
There are good news, glad tidings. God gave us the glad tidings. And those glad tidings are that the Lord has risen. Those glad tidings is that the Lord has come down. Those glad tidings are that the Lord, it's not that the Lord will descend, it's that we have already reached the promise of God. It's not that we're going to reach, He reached it for us. We don't have to go up there to beg him to open the book. The book was already open. The book has been brought here. We need to ask him to keep opening our understanding to this word. And when we are entering into services like these, we see how the light fills our hearts. Every doubt is dissipated. There isn't any power of darkness that can bind us. That's why I think that the disciples, this is the quote that they were taking about the disciples when they were going to on the journey to Emmaus, they were confused, like this, the Holy Spirit was saying through Brother Samuel. They were confused, talking about the message, quoting the paragraphs by memory, the year that they were preached, but they didn't have the joy of salvation. They didn't have the joy to know that the character that they had been walking with, that they went to fish with, that they took a photograph with, that they went hunting with. He hadn't just gone, but he promised to be here. The Holy Ghost promised to be here with us. He said that he was going to rise. But they didn't find it in the message. It was written there, but they missed it. He said the seventh seal would open. He said the book was going to be open and the thunders would utter their voices. But they read it and they went over it. They, by, they bypassed it. They couldn't understand it in that day. The Son of Man knew that in that day they couldn't understand it. But when he resurrected, when the sun came out, when the sun came back, in the next stage, then he went to meet his children. He knew they would be in that condition, confused, saddened. The Lord was not surprised by that condition. He knew that would be the condition that the disciples were going to be in. He knew the people of the message would be in that condition. But they were his own. He knew one day they would mature, they would ripen, they would understand in one moment. And he went to look for them. He went to look for us. And he found them talking about the message, quoting the message, trying to show that one knows more than the other. And then the Lord Jesus Christ, the person they were talking about, appeared to them. It's amazing how the Lord comes to us and makes himself so small so as to not shame us. And he said, what manner of conversation be this? What, what are you talking about? He knew what they were talking about. But he didn't just want to go and correct them directly. He gave them the opportunity to enter into confidence with him, to trust him. And they began to talk to him about the message. They, they wanted to convert him into the churches of the message. Convert him. Have you not seen the photograph of the prophet, the constellation of the seven angels? And we have the great mystery. And one day when the prophet comes back, oh, he left, but one day he'll come back. But then the Son of Man begins to speak to them and begins to show them that there is unbelief in them and begins to open all of the Scripture to them. And as the Scriptures open, their hearts, their attitude opens to receive that truth because we were made to receive the truth. And you know, you know, it, it says they, they began to reveal afterwards that their hearts were burning. He preached for two hours first. Then he made a small break so they could talk a little bit and then he preached another hour. And it seemed like their body was getting tired and then he preached to them again and it was like they received another influence of the word. It was the word opening up more and more. He was telling them there's a confusion among the disciples after the resurrection when the mighty angel came down and their heart began to, to beat and burn. He said, but the light has come to separate them. The quickening power has come to make a separation. You are different than them. 
I'm not appearing to the unbelievers. I'm appearing to you, my elect. A special deal. A special dealing. And then you see how, how their hearts were, were in fire. On fire. But the Lord planned, he had planned that journey all along. He knew they would reach that, you know, that restaurant, that inn. And right there, he closed the message. He said, let's pray to close the message. And when he was about to pray to close the message, they said, no, wait, the day is far spent. It's here on this side. It's, it's more than 12 a.m. Where are you going to go? There's no transportation. Where are you going to stay? I don't know. They're in, uh, in Indonesia. Maybe they would say, well, you know, it's uh, 1 p.m. It's 1 p.m. Where are you going to go? Just stay here to have lunch with us. They wanted something more. They were not in a rush to leave. Like you and I. There's something. We want more of God. It was four hours, maybe five hours of service, but they forgot. When they, now, when they began the journey, they were still tired and sad and their feet began to hurt them. They thought about the heat and the cold and so many things. But when the service was finishing, they wanted more. No, stay, stay. Talk to us a little bit more. Four hours of service. Five hours of service. What makes us sit? What makes us withstand the pains in the body? What makes you stay there up to this hour? This is something special, brothers. And then they went to the table, like Brother Samuel was saying, and the Son of Man took the first place. No one was arguing with the son. No, no, no. We'll pay the tab and, 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 and you're going to take the first place. No. They didn't care. They were subjected. They were conquered. They were seduced by the presence of that man. They didn't know who he was. But when he stood up and he took the bread and he broke it and he gave it to them, their hearts began to tell them, this is he. He's doing the same things he did before he died. And when he gave the bread to them, their eyes were open to recognize that it was him. And when they were going to say, Lord Jesus, he disappeared immediately. You know, you know what happened after that? Do you know what happens after the service? It says, maybe they said, we'll have the meal to go. We don't have time to stay at the table. Put it to go. They, they, they put their, their food and packages and they ran out. Now they had something to tell. They reached the other disciples and they found the disciples gathered together. The Lord appeared unto us and they said, he appeared to us too. He's been preaching to us for four hours. And now we come from afar to tell you the Lord has risen. The quickening power is here. The male dove that died, the life that was in him has come upon us and we beat our wings saying, holy, holy to the Lord, his life is in me. That is our experience. Look, I'm not saying this to give a compliment, you know, to say or, or to show like, look, the brother is so old, but he he's acting like a young man. No, I'm telling you the truth. When Brother Samuel came up to pray or to preach rather and Brother Matthew came up to preach. I had like the encouragement that I wanted more. But, you know, the Lord is so good to us. So good. Imagine, look at what happened there. What you read in the Bible, you know, you read it and you're like, you know, four hours in a service, five hours in a service, and then they went back running. They didn't stop on the way. They ran. And when they got there, they had another service right there. And when they finished hearing the, the preaching of the disciples, they said, wait, 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 wait. We want to give our part too. We're going to testify about what happened to us. Look at what was happening. That's what Easter causes. That's what it produces. That's life in us. It can't be quenched. You know that the resurrection with that earthquake could take place right now? 
o en una semana, no sabemos cuándo. Or in a week, we don't know when. That's why our willingness, our expectation should rise. We're not talking, look, I say this, brother, and I'm saying this sincerely. Aren't we saying that our body is about to change? Aren't we, by repeating the words of the prophet, aren't we saying that there's a quickening power in us that didn't just quicken our soul, but all over our bodies, our spirits? Isn't it true that the saints are going to resurrect and our atoms are going to be changed? We would enter into Edenic beauty? So are we not the ones that have to tell this body that is dying? Hey, soon you're going to rise up. So subject yourself. Pay attention to the word. Lift your hands. Glorify the Lord. Didn't our prophet teach us that after the work goes out, we have to do the same thing that Rebecca did with the camels? We have to give them to drink because that is the beast that is carrying us to meet our, our invisible bridegroom there in the marriage supper? And the prophet said, how do you give the Holy Spirit to drink with glory, with hallelujah, with Lord? How good was your word, Father? That is the attitude after the service. No one is rushing to leave it's gratitude in our hearts that's what the holy ghost does with us look at where we are in different places and i heard this from brother vin he says where are they doing this kind of effort this kind of work among the the message churches who is doing this kind of a work where are you where else are you are you seeing this we're not saying this to boast this isn't to try to say like oh look we're something no but look at what god is doing with us everybody with the expectation to hear something that would place us in condition for the resurrection to take place and for the rapture to take place glory to the lord well i don't want to preach but i'm excited with the word that god has given us Glory to God. So I think. Ah, oh, no, I don't want to talk too much. Brothers, just to thank him. I'm happy. I'm happy for the meeting. And I believe, brother, we, we are about to go. And if we're about to go, if that quickening power is in us, you know, you know that this body opposes, resists the inner man, but you know that the inner man can put the outer man under subjection, saying, hey, lift your hands, thank him, say amen, say hallelujah. That is how we advance to the resurrection. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know, it's... I think we can sing a song. Um, there's so many songs to sing, but can we sing uh, Step Into the Picture? Aren't you the ones that the Word has spoken about? Didn't the quickening power come to you? Didn't it come to make a separation to you? Didn't it separate you from confusion? Hasn't He shown you the vision of the prophecy of Jonah? Didn't all these things come to us? He has spoken to you. He has spoken to me. This word is for us. He can say, you can look and say, look, the word, it's right here in the word. I'm the one that the prophet spoke of. I'm the fulfillment of what the prophet spoke of. That people that love the word. A people for whom the word is more important than the natural bread. It is the prevailing revelation. The one that makes us keep standing. That's the one that makes Satan go crazy. Satan doesn't want to talk about us, you know that? He can talk about the Pentecostals, he can talk about the Adventists, the nations, and say, you know what, I put fear on all of them. I put them all on their knees. They, they all obey me. And the Lord says, come over here, Satan. Look at this, people. 
Where is your deception? Where's your fear? You haven't put them on, on their knees. This is a, a people that remain standing. Not even the earthquake scares them. Not even the explosion of the United States. This is a people that know they're going to leave this world. You see what God has done with us? Don't look far to look for something. The Lord has been talking about you. The Lord is talking about you. He's saying, this is my son. This is my daughter. This is my people. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lord. So let us sing. Let's stand to our feet. Let's sing a little longer. Glory to the Lord. Step into the picture. Let's call the singers to place that song for all of us. Let's sing with all our heart. Sing it in your language. In Vietnamese, in Swahili, in French, in Portuguese, in German, in Spanish. Sing it in your language. Glory to the Lord. In English, sing it with all your heart, with gratitude to the Lord. The book has been opened to us. The quickening power came and opened the seven seals. The quickening power came and showed us in what part of the coming of the Lord we are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lord. Let's let the singers come. El ángel de Dios vino a William Brana a revelar su vida malentendida. Ese vio en la palabra en cuatro o cinco de Malaquías con el espíritu de Moisés y él reveló al hijo del hombre, fue segador principal. Pictures have come to life. Oh, reflection we can see. Mama, that is me. Step into the picture. See your name in the book. Look into the Después que el profeta se fue a través de su ministerio vindicado, vemos todos los tipos de la novia. Hablaban de ti y de mí. Salimos del libro de la vida.
yo. Mama, that is me. Ese eres tú, mi hermano. That's you, my brother. Aleluya. Aleluya. Gloria al Señor. Glory to the Lord. Ese es el poder vivificador. That is the quickening decía, power, Samuel, as our brother Samuel said. Más allá del gozo de los santos, del de las manos, the joy of the saints, the clapping de of the música, hands, the rhythm of the music. No criticamos eso, pero más We don't criticize eso, that, but beyond that, la del águila, rising above that, nosotros, it's the eagle anointing that came upon us. Upon us. Cosas, How could there be that there's an eagle that heard all these things and doesn't have joy in their hearts, doesn't want to clap their hands, doesn't find a rhythm in the music. How could that be? That would be a dead religion. We don't have a dead religion. This is a living religion. Glory to the Lord. We have something to say, something to tell. Go, tell. El poder vivificador vino y nos dio el mensaje, the quickening power came and gave us the message, gave us the book found Digo, our name. Vivo, he said, because I live, you live also. Cree, no puede morir. He that believeth Él, in me, he cannot die. His life is in us. Aleluya, Él Aleluya. he is risen. Cantando. Let's Aleluya, say it, Él singing. Resucitó. Hallelujah, he is risen. Let's call the canción. singers again to, to bring that song to us. You see, the sun has risen, he has resurrected, so let's say, hallelujah, he is risen. No one has overcome death, only he, him alone. And he is in us. He has overcome the death that was in our soul. And now he's bringing us soon to overcome death in our body until we have a body like his own body. Let's sing that. Hallelujah. He is risen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
nuestra tierra Señor. Glory to the Lord. Aleluya. Aleluya. ¿Sabes? You know, hermano, you know, brother, um, 
Um, sometimes they criticized us and like some time ago they criticized us through for having these internet services because they said it's not the same thing as being in a building and having the preacher there and hugging the brothers it's true that it is not the same but the same God who is in our physical meetings is the same God that is in these meetings because he said where two or three are gathered in my name there I am in their midst that is our God everywhere. And one of the things that Brother Branham says, he tells us of this time he narrates the girl that was in her home and she had the radio on. And the DJ, you know, the... MC was giving his greetings and putting the music and announcing where the dance was going to be. And that girl was alone in her home. Maybe in her living room, she was listening through the radio. The words of that MC, that DJ, that preacher. And while that preacher spoke, she was taken up in that inspiration. She entered into that atmosphere. And when she entered into it, the music they played, the words they were saying, she received it as if that preacher, as if that DJ was right there. And she blew him a kiss as if that kiss would reach him. And she went, I'll meet you there. If the radio with that DJ could achieve that in that woman, imagine what the Holy Ghost can do with us here. The virtue that can flow through a grateful heart. When we say that the sun came, came out and, and, and took us out from the denominational graves and, and resurrected us in our soul, he brought us out. That is our gratitude. How can we not, with this gratitude, how can we not let the Spirit move? There where you are, alone, uh, with one brother, one sister, there with a brother, however you are. But to say, the Lord delivered me, my God, my God delivered me. He's my God. He's your God. And we are his, we are his bride. And he is my God and he is your God. That God delivered us. No one else, only he could deliver us. Let's sing it, okay? My God, it's, he's my property. He made himself mine. He delivered me. He delivered us. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lord. Samuel, Alfredo, Mano Simón, Mano Vin, Mano Ido, el Señor me liberó. a time when I was deep in sin no place in my heart for the Lord to enter in no I was stumbling in darkness the way I could not find there was a deep in my soul I knew I was blind until his light did shine Stop praising Him. 
Ini aku prajurit yang di medan perang. Aku tak takut sebab ada Tuhan oh. kaptenku. Dia kan acungkan pedang perak itu dan tidak takat di firmanya. Tapi yang bebal tak bisa mengerti pemikirannya yang jadi daging oleh predestinasi. Melepaskanku dengan tangannya yang perkasa Tuhan ku melepaskanku dari pasir yang bergoyang Tuhan ku melepaskanku sebab itulah ku nyanyi Tuhan ku melepaskanku tak bisa henti ku puji dia Here we are, so great with child Resting on that seventh peak, waiting orders from on high To exercise the third pole, our inheritance But the wicked man cannot understand There cannot be any impersonation Saling mengasihilah saudaraku Selesaikan lomba ini Bertahan hingga kesudahan Kita akan lihat wajahnya Bertumbuhlah dalam manugrah saudariku Genapkan seluruh kebenaran Kita daging dari dagingnya Tulang dari tulangnya Kita akan duduk dengannya di tahtanya Tuhanku Melepaskanku dengan tangannya yang perkasa Tuhanku melepaskanku dari pasir yang bergoyang Tuhanku melepaskanku sebab itulah ku nyanyi Tuhanku melepaskanku tak bisa henti ku puji dia Glory to the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 hermoso, hermano. How beautiful, brother. We never imagined that these kinds of things could be done. To unite our efforts, sing in Indonesian, in English, in Portuguese, in Spanish. No, we never thought. And now to see that that is happening with us, we have to recognize it's only the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Well, you know what? Our boys, they got all together and they did a, a collaboration to prepare a, a medley, a medley of worship, and let's sing it, okay? And then after that, um, we're going to give our gratitude, our thanks to our brothers after that, okay? Let's sing this. Hallelujah. 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 
para salvar o mundo do pecado. Estou dedicando minha vida para servi-lo. Ele morreu para que eu pudesse viver. Sekarang ku tahu 
never saw the cross he carried up to Calvary's hill and I never saw the precious blood that my Savior spilled I never heard the mob that cried oh let I never saw it, but I believe it's for me he died. And every step he took to Calvary, and every
Sobrepasa todo entendimiento Te doy a Jesús Es el amor perfecto que ya fuera todo temor El agua que al beber nunca más tendrá sed Te entrego a Jesús Te entrego a Jesús Señor. Glory to the Lord. Aleluya. Cuán bueno Aleluya. es el Señor. How good is the Lord. Sabes, you know, eh, um, el Señor en estos días que nos dio su palabra aquí. The Lord in these days that he gave us his word. Me, me enviaron una nota. Es de I'm convinced. They sent me a note and this is only of the things that we know. This is the note of a brother whose wife was suffering an infection. And as Brother Vin was making global prayer, her sickness went away. She was healed immediately. How many things like that have happened in these meetings? And that's talking about the, the, self, or the healing of the body. But what about the security that has come to the soul? What about the effect of the word when it casts out all fear from us, when it takes away confusion, when it illuminates all of our understanding? Fear goes away. What gives us the security to face the challenge of the hour, what keeps us standing, what makes the, the weak knees take strength, what makes the fallen arms be lifted up again? That is the virtue of the word how can we not thank him when we say that the word was given to us he himself gave himself to us we read the book of revelation our part in chapter 10 when the lord jesus himself the mighty angel tells John, take, eat the book, eat it, eat it up. He himself giving himself to us, he giving himself to us through the word that has been preached. It is he himself giving himself to us, saying, you must prophesy again. You're the one through whom I will fulfill the final part of my ministry. That is the Jesus that has been given to us. So let's, let's just have a word of uh, prayer, thanksgiving. Beloved Lord, we bow our heads reverently and, and in humility. And stretching forth our wings, Lord, to go fulfill the work that you left for this day. As Isaiah, we send, 
here I am. Send me. Our lips have been cleansed with the coal. We have been given a message to go. Send us. Lord, we lead our wings quickly, taking the gospel with all boldness and believing, Father, that the signs, the wonders will, will follow, will vindicate the word that we preach, Lord, as this testimony of this sister being healed. How many people must have received the benefit of, of healing? How many must have received the benefit of the soul, eternal life in their soul? How many today have felt the quickening power even in their own bodies to shake off the exhaustion, the tiredness, and give you thanks for the word that has come to our souls. Oh, Lord, may your program, may your work not stop in us. May we receive an increase, a push, momentum to, be, to continue even more decided in this part of the journey. We offer ourselves to you, Lord. We know we have the thus saith the Lord. We know what you want done with your word. We know that, that it is you in us working your word. Oh, Father, we give ourselves unto you. We offer ourselves to you. We give you thanks for these days in which we have sat in these meetings, Lord at your feet, attentive to what you have for us, Lord. Grant that the things that we have heard, Lord, you may bring them to our remembrance and make them clearer as time passes. Make that word become life, that we may manifest it fully, Lord. Muchas gracias, Señor. Thank you so much, Lord. Gracias por tu gracias Thank you for por your guiarse. leadership. Thank you gracias for your guidance. Thank you for placing us under the divine headship, Nosotros that head that cuerpo, came down. Lo único que we as your body, Lord, Lord, the only thing we desire to do is to Padre, do your will. Nombre, Father, in the name gracias. of Jesus Christ, we give you Amen. thanks. Amen. Amen. Glory, Amen. Al Señor. Glory to the Lord. Entonemos... Let us... Let's sing one more song. You know that our theophanies are close by. We're connected to our theophanies. We're aligned to our theophanies. The closer the resurrection is, the closer the body change is, the influence of those theophanies is even more apparent, more palpable in our lives. In our lives. Let's sing that. Align me with my theophany, Lord.
Aleluya. Glory to the Lord. Tengamos un cántico más, ¿les parece? Let's have one more song, okay? Mientras que vemos el mundo juntando. As we see the world todos esos poderes uniting. Contra nosotros. All of these power, powers fighting against us. Que puede darnos valor, the only thing that can give us courage, the courage that we need, is corazón, to hear that word from our heart saying, I am no the resurrection. Maíz, Fear not, I am the resurrection. Es la, para, para eso vino el sol. That's what the sun came to do, to take away all fear. Cantémoslo. Let's sing it. Digámoslo de todo nuestro corazón. Say it with all your heart. Aleluya. Aleluya. I am the king's message. I must come forth to prove this resurrection. I am the resurrection. Hallelujah, I feel real good now. It's the king's message. Let's recognize it, friends. For we are called... Together, together, for the sounding of the trumpet. He does. How are you gathered against me once again? And yet this time, it is still in vain. Ejército Invencible. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Your wicked deeds I shall defy. For I shall live and prophesy. I am the resurrection. Ku senangkanmu, ku harus mati biar hidupmu dipermuliakan. Meski indraku melawanku, menekanku hingga ke dasar, kuatkan ku. Mereka Akulah kebangkitan Akulah kebangkitan Es él y su novia Akulah kebangkitan Kan orang-orang kudus yang tertidur dan takkan mati. Yo siento que estás moviendo en mi alma. Sé que pronto tú saldré de este mundo. Que tu poder vivificado Sorba mi mortalidad Porque debo romper la ley de la gravedad Yo soy la resurrección Resurrección 
kuasa menghidupkan Aku kan membangkitkan Orang-orang kudus yang tertidur Dan takkan mati I am the resurrection I shall raise the sleeping saints. I shall not die. It is so near, my brother. Hallelujah. Okay, now be seated. Afterwards, we'll sing a little bit more. <laughs> Uh, just to say to you, to give you a report of how wonderful these meetings have been, the way that the Holy Spirit is reaching his children, this cyber fellowship was sent in eight languages, English, Español, Spanish, Portuguese, Portuguese Francés, French, Alemán, German, Vietnamita, Vietnamese, Bahasa, Indonesia, Bahasa, Indonesia and Swahili. Eight languages. Glory, al Señor. Glory to the Lord. Hoy día predicaron Today, the ministering speakers for the Lord's people is Pastor Alfredo Perez from Mexico, in Spanish, uh, Pastor Samuel Roldao from Brazil and Portuguese, Pastor Matthew Bray in English from the United States, glory to the Lord. And you know what? Although these preachers are wonderful, how beautiful are the feet of them that announce the glad tidings, that bring glad tidings, that announce the gospel of peace. We're so thankful to them for having been a blessing to us. But you know, without the interpreters, this work would be extremely reduced. Thanks be to God that he gave us these wonderful helpers to do the work of translation. Look, the service began. They were already interpreting with me. Then, our brother Alfredo came. They continued translating. Then came our brother Samuel, and they kept working. Then came our brother Matthew, and they continued working. And now that brother Ever is back, and he's still making them work again. So, how much work? How much dedication, how much gratefulness do we have also for their labor? We love them very much, my brothers and sisters. Let's give a hand to our brothers and sister. We have our brother Miguel Perez, who does the translation from Spanish to English. Our brother Jonah Dale from Portuguese to English. Our brother Jason Pivot from uh, French. Brother Burkhard Cross doing German. 
Brother Daniel Sitangang, Bahasa, Indonesia. Our brother Everest Ruhazwe in Swahili. And sister Cherry Sam, Vietnamese. May the Lord bless your work. May the Lord prosper you. May the Lord, may the Lord pour out his blessings and make your cup overflow, my brothers and sister. Really, we love you so much. Hallelujah. And some churches were gathered. I believe it's 13. Zoe Tabernacle in Chiclayo. And the brothers in New York as well, in the United States. The church of our brother Alfredo Perez, Sunset Mountain Tabernacle in Monterrey and Guadalajara. Mexico, brother Samuel Roldao in his Voice of the Prophet ministry in Criciúma, Brazil. Our brother didn't have to lock the door. The soldiers of God are still there following the leadership of the pillar of fire. <laughs> you know, sometimes we, the preachers, we think that our people won't follow us if we do something for the Lord. Let's just do it. The people of the Lord will follow us. You know, Brother Random talked about the firefighters, and he said, you know, that company of firefighters came and said, cast the water here, the sand here, and the fire never went out. But all of a sudden, they called a specialized company. As soon as the vehicle came, the telescopic ladder was up there, and up there at the top of the ladder was the captain breaking the glass, saying, boys, follow me. And there was the team following him. That's something that's in us. You just have to say the word. We're going to have services. Brothers, take courage. Be ready. Wherever you may be. And there, there they will be. We can't do anything else. Just serve our Lord. When he said, when the Lord in David said, who would give me to drink a drink of water from that well? It was just a desire in him. It was a fervent desire. He said it without even thinking that they were hearing him. And those Gentiles hearing the desire of their king, they didn't even have to say a word. They just looked at one another and they began to go. They went there and back fighting against all those Philistines, fighting on every side, cutting. They only had one job in their heart, one purpose. We're going to bring, bring a drink of fresh water to our king. There's no power that can resist. No Philistine can kill us. We're going to bring the water that our king, that the heart of our king desires. And you know, the greater David is here, and his desire is that there could be a drink of fresh water, a revival, the revival of the righteous. There's no one that can stop that. Mighty Gentile warriors have heard the cry of the king, and here we are moving. God bless you, Brother Samuel, and your people there with you. After that, we have our brother Matthew Bray there in Revealed Word Tabernacle in Alabama, United States. Thank you, Brother Matthew. You are a tremendous inspiration. We also have Brother Vin Dale, our elder, who moved by inspiration and uh, infected us with this uh, desire to do this work. May the Lord bless his dedication and the group that is with him, Third Exodus, there in the Caribbean and the extended region. Regions. Uh, Pastor uh, Itok Rumbayan, there, a, a beloved brother from Flying Eagle Faith Assembly in Midan and in Jakarta, Indonesia. May God bless you, my brothers. Our brother Felipe Chiriboga, Tabernacle of the Lord Jesus Christ in Sangolqui, in Ibarra, and El Carmen in Ecuador. My friend Felipe, God bless you. You know, Felipe's time zone is going to sleep at 9 p.m. Later than that, he won't sleep, but there he is awake. <laughs> God bless you, Brother Felipe. 
Our brother, Simon Carrion, uh, it was such a blessing to hear him, how the Lord gave him courage to share that exhortation with us. May God bless your people, brother, there in Eagle's Wings, Eagle Wings Tabernacle in San Luis Potosí, Mexico. Also, our brother Sergio Parra in Salem Tabernacle in Puyehue, Chile. God bless you, brother. Our brother, uh, Pastor Germán Carreño of Jesus is God Tabernacle, Rio Caribe, Venezuela. They were also connected. Glory to the Lord. Our brother, Pastor Nelson Sarabia from Christian Tabernacle in El Salvador. Many greetings to you, brothers. God bless you. And in Vietnam, Pastor Tro Phan from Khan Son Protestant Church in Vietnam. And also Pastor Sao Van Noy from Suoy Mi Protestant Church in Vietnam. God bless all of them. Many blessings to all. And I know that there are other groups, brothers, that have been connected that do not appear here, but have been connected. They were writing, you know, some, me some messages in, in the beginning because of the connections. Many greetings to all in different places. Today, my brothers, we had 69 countries connected. Glory to the Lord. You must prophesy again. There have been more than 1,300 connections. This is the report. The connections were in Angola, Antigua and Barbuda, Argentina, Armenia, Australia, Barbados, Bolivia, Brazil, Cameroon, Canada, Chile, Colombia, Congo, Czech Republic, Denmark, Dominica, Ecuador, El Salvador, France, Germany, Ghana, Grenada, Guatemala, Guyana, Haiti, Honduras, India, Indonesia, Italy, Kenya, Malawi, Malaysia, Mexico, Morocco, Mozambique, Namibia, New Zealand, Netherlands, Nicaragua, Nigeria, Norway, Pakistan, Panama, Paraguay, Peru, Philippines, Peru, Philippines Poland, Portugal, Portugal, Republic of the Congo, Russia, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, Singapore, South Africa, Spain, Suriname, Switzerland, Taiwan, Tanzania, Thailand, Trinidad and Tobago, United Kingdom, United States, Uruguay, Venezuela, Vietnam, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. Glory to the Lord. Praise be the Lord. Let's give a, a good hand to our Lord Jesus Christ, our gratitude, our praise to Him. May this fire that is in us never go out. We're so close to leaving. Now we're going to display the photographs of the pictures of the brothers, rather, that were in the meeting. You know, very soon we're going to be gathered together. We will gather together after the resurrection. You know, I, I used to hear an expression that the brothers used to say when we would say goodbye. They said, brother, if we don't see each other here, we will see each other there. And I said, no, 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 no. If we don't see each other here, we'll see each other right next door or something. Because before we go to the marriage supper of the Lamb, we will all be gathered together. So many of the faces that we will see in the photographs, in the following photographs, are the faces that we will see here on the earth before we go. Just that they will be without any wrinkles, without any, any gray hairs, perfect bodies before going up to glory. So today we're just going to see a preview of the faces. When we see each other, we're going to say, 
Brother, where are your wrinkles? Everybody young. It's so close to happening. So let's see the photographs of our brothers. Until next meeting, my brothers, a great shalom. May the peace of God that surpasses all understanding keep our hearts in Christ Jesus. A great shalom. God bless you, my brothers. Let's see the photographs. Tantas portas abertas para desistir e retroceder A maior batalha jamais pelejada Cada instante é travada no íntimo do ser E os Eteus e os Eveus Zebos eus, tantos eus são meu maior inimigo Que eu preciso vencer Mas não fugirei da luta Não importa o que me custe Eu não vou retroceder Somente tem prazer em te servir, Senhor. Prisioneiro sou, pois tomaste as rédeas do meu coração. Estou disposto a morrer em suas mãos. Para onde irei? Só de te provei. Eterna Deus disse a Moisés Quando colocares os teus pés Na terra que te dei Além do Jordão Meu anjo irá Adiante do caminho Te fará lutar Contra os teus inimigos E os Eteus E os Eveus Zeus, tantos eus Cairão a espada Vencidos pela palavra É a promessa de Deus Então não fugirei da luta Não importa o que me custe Eu não vou Seu amor, teu escravo que somente tem prazer em te servir, Senhor, prisioneiro sou, pois tomaste as rédeas do meu coração, e estou disposto a morrer em suas mãos, para onde irei? Só de te provém palavras de vida eterna. A sétima pomba voa agora em minha direção e sob suas asas traz a plena libertação. Quero ouvir sua voz me dizer. Que 
se assente comigo no meu trono Prisioneiro sou Porque ele primeiro me amou Estou ligado aos grilhões do seu amor teu escravo que somente tem prazer em te servir, Senhor. Prisioneiro sou, pois tomaste as rédeas do meu coração. Estou disposto a morrer em suas mãos, para onde irei, só de te prover. Quão bueno e quão delicioso é habitar los hermanos em harmonia. Mira quão bueno e quão delicioso é habitar los hermanos em harmonia. E Oh 
cuán bueno y cuán delicioso es Habitarnos hermanos en armonía Mira cuán bueno y cuán delicioso es
Este es el año Cántalo hermano Cántalo con gozo Porque estabas ciego Cuando estabas perdido Él puso colir en tus ojos En el cielo una gran fiesta Será una gloriosa reunión Se reunirán de todas razas Los redimidos del Señor Cantarán canciones de alegría Lágrimas cielo una gran fiesta será una gloriosa reunión
fiesta nos espera Cristo Solo vencedores entrarán La orquesta del gran jubileo Notas de victoria sonarán En la fiesta En la fiesta nos espera Cristo Solo vencedores entrarán 